All righty. Welcome. Welcome. It is noon Pacific time and it is Lauren Hines and we are here for Album in a Day. Yep, that's right. Album in just one day. And I am so excited to be here to share with you process, process, process. And we are going to just hang out. Happy National Scrapbook Day. Should I first just say that? I just want to say a big welcome to everyone who is coming on and joining in the Album in a Day Challenge. I had such a good time seeing all of your faces today on Zoom, if you were able to join me for a little while to say hello. And now I get to see all of the people when you come on into chat and I kind of have an idea. I've seen some of your faces and that just, that just makes me happy. I'm so, so excited to share this day with you today. And this is going to be a live stream. I am going to be here working my process. And how do I get to do an album in a day? Well, that takes some, um, a little behind the scenes work. So it doesn't just happen mirac miraculously, <laughs> but it does take some planning. And that is what my album in a day class is all about, is getting prepared so that when we have a challenge like this, when I can push you to say, you can do this with me, we can do this together, that you can see how quickly and easily and simply an album can be completed in a day. So you got a little uh, view of my desktop and I'm going to click back over there so you can see this is the basis of what I was able to start getting organized. It was all of the handouts, all of the lessons. There's five lessons. So for anybody who is brand new here, kind of joining with um, with me and learning a little bit about uh what I do, my whole goal, my whole goal is to make scrapbooking easier, faster, and fun, and to be able to share tips and tricks with you so that you can take things that might be easy for you to uh, grab hold of and apply to your own scrapbooking, but also just to show you process. I get asked a lot, oh, Lauren, I just want to watch you scrapbook. And so guess what? We're going to hang out all day together. You can come and go as you like, but we're going to hang out all day together and just do process. So yes, happy, happy National Scra Scrapbook Day. So Ruthie's here, Debbie's here, Kathy's here, Amanda's here. Um, and I know we're distracting Amanda. She's got to work, but I know it's, it's uh, well, you can always come back and join us later when you're ready to scrap. Donna's here and um, let's see, Sharon's here, Mary's here. We've got two Mary's here, Ruthie's here. Okay, I am so glad all you guys, Connie's here, Terry's here, Laura Ann is here, and um, we are going to have some fun today. So let's just jump in for a minute and talk about the process. I just kind of want to, you know, for anybody new, we're going to be going for a while. <laughs> we're going to be going for a while because I got a whole album to make. Let me talk about the process. When I decided to, um, when I decided what I wanted to share for National Scrapbook Day, my goal was to do something totally different for you guys. It was to do something maybe nobody had ever thought of before, something wild and crazy. And I thought, what could I teach people? What could I, what could I do for National Scrapbook Day? And then it just kind of came to me. Well, you know what I can do for National Scrapbook Day is I can teach people. <laughs> Carrie's in the lobby. Let me go let you in, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can teach people that um, to, um, oh, Carrie, we're on Facebook Live. You don't, there's no lobby, I don't think, for Facebook Live. Come on in the other Zoom. Um, I'm going to teach people that um, album in a day can be done. I can teach people a process 
we're going to we're going to take the pop series we're going to take the progress on project series and really kind of take it from big picture to smaller picture how do i actually make an album and what are what are the things what are the tools that i need so when i was able to do that and hop in to understand the process of you know we've got to have a starting point we have to have an ending point and how do we get there that's when kind of this whole plan came about and we've had a really good time for those of you who joined from the very beginning we've had a really good time just um kind of understanding a little bit whoops i'm so sorry i i moved my picture and um <laughs> didn't mean to do that what i'm trying to do is is move my little album in a day over here so that it's not competing with the zoom <laughs> I hope that's a little better. Um, okay, so um, all right, let me let me get, grab my thoughts again. <laughs> okay, so I think Carrie's coming on. There she is. Hi, Carrie. All right, and um, hello, Carrie's here. Everybody know you guys are getting to know Carrie and. Uh, I couldn't do things without her. She's, I know she works full time. You guys, she's got her own awesome business and um, yet she jumps in to help me out and I'm just a lucky duck. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. We're getting organized. We're getting set up. Carrie's there now. We're, we're good. We're good to go. Um, where, where was, oh, look at everybody who's come on. Eve is here from Wisconsin. Jen Jeanette is here, Sandy's here, Joanne, Leah's here, happy National Scrapbook Day, Karen's here, yes, it is National Scrapbook Day, what better way to celebrate, just as I was kind of just chit-chatting about, what better way to celebrate than to actually get an album done, and that to me is what's truly, truly exciting, is to be able to grab that album on our bookshelf and say, that is what that is what I want to see. I want to grab those memories. I want to have that album in my hand and be able to um, share that with the people that I love. So, so excited. Thank you all for saying hello and for joining and um, saying, uh, you know, just keep going in the chat and we are going to get started on the process, process process, process, process. So I, I think what I'm going to have to do is share. So I've got my big box right here. So you, you guys know about the handouts. I've got my big box right here with all my pages ready to go. And what I wanted to also share, I've got my power blocks, which you probably, if you've taken album in a day, I've shown you how to do the power blocks. And I talked about this a little bit on Friday night scrapbooking. So we also have that. So I have a pile of these waiting to be used. I have got my little stash of adhesive right here, ready to go. I have also got my album. And so, and I've got mat, journal mats right here. I've, so I'm hoping I've got everything I need right here within hands reach lots of adhesive lots of refills i hope do you guys have your refills <laughs> ready and i've got extra all my extra decorative supplies so i've got i'm using the homestead collection and all these gorgeous laser embellishments right so i've got piles and piles of stuff all around me ready to make this album so um one thing I wanted to share is I have been talking about uh, the Homestead collection, but I'm not actually using the Homestead album. One of the things that I talk about and that many of you have already, already know about is that um, I have embraced the idea of Library of Memories. And this is from the wonderful Stacy Julian. And when I kind of started understanding a little bit about her process and kind of her approach, 
I thought, you know what, there's a lot of things that I could take and learn and kind of change uh, the way I want to scrapbook because, you know, we've, we were talking about this just earlier. You can't scrapbook everything, but when a lot of us were originally told what, you know, how to scrapbook, that was back in the days of film. That was back when <laughs> we only had, what was it? Um, I think, was it Carol, you were saying about 186 photos for an entire trip or something like that. And we just didn't have the volume of photos that we have now. So instead, what we have to do because of the volume, the sheer amount of photos, um, then we have to be selective. So one of the Library of Memories albums that uh, is in kind of this series, so there's places we go, people we love, things we do and all about us. And then I added a place called home because that's to me um, a fun place to keep everything home related, all our remodels and so forth. All about us is going to be um, where I'm going to put my album in a day. So I've talked, oh, it was a long time ago about how to do the custom albums from Creative Memories. And I did get a, another question on how to do this. This is all done on the Creative Memories website where you can create a custom album. So you get to, you can add in artwork. And I was thinking, oh gosh, what I should probably do is now that we have this beautiful homestead collection, maybe I'll make another all about us with all the beautiful homestead embellishments. And then it'll do all matchy matchy with my, um, with my pages and everything that I'm working on. So anyhow, and then I, I could probably just change out the spine, but the, the custom albums, you get to do the front. You could also include photographs, no problem. You can do photographs. It comes with the um, custom spine and then also you can print on the back as well. So lots of uh, different things you can do. I was kind of in a hurry when I had to make this one because I had a coupon that was expiring, but uh, there's lots of beautiful choices on what you can do with the custom albums. So this is where my photos are gonna go, but I am using a mix of the Fast to Fab Homestead collection, as well as I've thrown in some plain white blank pages. So my stack is, um, it is actually just over two sets of refill pages. So it's a lot. Okay, um, that is a little bit about where I'm starting, where I'm going. So my pages are going to end up in this album for now. I may redo another album, like I said, with the Homestead collection. You know, it's so fun. It's kind of like playing, you know, with all the embellishments. Carrie, you would love this <laughs> to make a custom album. And uh, you can pull in all, all kinds of doodads, layer them on top of each other and just go to town with the custom album. So that's where they're going. Okay. How are we doing? Carrie, are you there? Can I hear you? Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. I'm just um, going to bump up your class link in the Facebook group because some, some people were looking for the class materials. So ah. I'm currently searching through to find that to bump that conversation to the top. <laughs> Thank you. I know, you know, um, I was going to pin it and, um, but then I wanted to pin the Zoom link. <laughs> So yeah, no worries. I'll find it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. So, all right, you guys, we are going to get started then with um, working on the first pages. And one other thing I should say, oh, Sherry, um, I mean, Carrie, have you got a minute to uh, share your screen? What you, what you, I'm going to put this in front and, um, and just share for anybody who missed Friday night scrapbooking. How about I show you the real thing? The real thing. Yeah. Show us okay. the real thing. Let, let me grab that and I'll share here in a second. You'll know what we're going to, what I'm going to end up with on the title page. And, and so I'm not going to really spend a whole lot of time on my very first title page because Carrie has a surprise. 
there we go. And, and I did get my picture printed in five by seven. Oh, you're gonna to have to allow me to present. Oh dear, all these challenges. Let me make you co-host my, my friend. There you go. <laughs> have fun, okay. <laughs> all right, in just one second, right. I'll have it loaded. Alrighty. I just, I had everything on my normal projection screen. Uh, still... No problem. We're, we've got a, we've got a ways we've to go. All today, day. so, right. <laughs> we've got some fun going on. Okay, that Zoom moved on me. That was fantastic. All right. Let me go ahead and share my video. All right, so I don't know if you can pin me here or not. I'm actually working on just joining with my third device, so. <laughs> no worries at all. I'm getting While, while that happens, I'll share my screen then. Yes, okay. okay. All right, so this was actually a text message that I, I sent Lauren, but if you go to the Friday night scrapbooking, you can see where I started laying out some embellishments from the digital kit for um, mm. Homestead. Yes. So what I did was I actually pulled a couple different fonts and Lauren wanted the title When Lauren Met John. So what I did was I created uh, a title using two different fonts, one that's scripty and one that was serifed. And then what I did was I pulled in embellishments from the Homestead collection. So this is from the digital kit. So we have um, a, a swag, like a branch down here, and we have a swag of anemones. So I put one on each corner here and created a bunch of banner shapes based off of the pattern paper that were also in that digital collection. So um, I just went ahead and recreated on the mat, kind of if you notice on her page she had a, a, a right hand border so I put that down as a, as a, a placeholder and then she was going to use a five by seven picture so I made sure that the photo mat that I put as a, a placement here was was five by seven and then again I used the pattern papers from the digital collection to put texture behind the script names as well as create these banners. And then I did add one more thing afterwards, which was um, choose happy. So I made a fairly large circle here um, that said choose happy and that would be matted as well. So if I stop sharing and switch over to my camera now. I think I'm ready. I can. Okay, go ahead and. Uh... I see photo folders. Yes, yes, okay. Is that where you wanna be? Oh, and it looks like maybe I am hung. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I have the button to unhang it. <laughs> okay. Of course, we're going to have to have gremlins today, right? I know. It's just kind of a thing, right? <laughs> okay. So you can see Sher Carrie was just uh, sharing her, there we go. her digital, and then that was my page there. So, okay. You got it. Yep. It's back on now. There we go. So I'm going to shake my camera here. It's not quite straight, but here is the sticker sheet. So I went ahead and I did a print then cut on my silhouette cameo. And you can see that each of these banners and each of the elements is a sticker sheet. So I can actually pull it up if I wasn't bending my paper so much. So this is all on sticker sheets. Oh, so fun. So you can pr pretend that you have these three banners layered on the side. I was thinking that you would probably want to put this one in the middle on mm -hmm. foam squares. And then mm -hmm. definitely, definitely, here's the gray circle and the choose happy. You definitely want to foam square that. And then, of course, each of these, it's going to lay flat on her page. So like the when, you can see that's an individual sticker. So these are uh, individual letter stickers, except for where the script is, which is welded together. So this part of Lauren is all in one shape and she can pull that out separately. 
But what I really like is you can see that these anemones are larger than what is on it available in the embellishment. So I was able to, when I was designing it, size it to what I thought scale wise would look good with a five by seven. So there you go. Isn't that fun, you guys? So there's your little uh, tech, what you tech can minute. do with tech, <laughs> what you can do with tech. So I'm excited. Carrie's actually so sweet. She's gonna send me that printout because I was having technical challenges myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's and, all right. Um, but that's what, what I'm gonna do with my page. And um, so I'm going to switch back over to my desktop, but mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to um, thank Carrie once again for sharing her awesome abilities with, with all of that, right? <laughs> with just um, so much. Thank you, Carrie. And let me, let me see, am I spotlighting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see what I can do here. Um, Apparently yeah. Zoom made it backwards. <laughs> it, it, I'll, I'll flip it back again for the next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, on YouTube, I'm kind of going over to YouTube. It looks like, am I, I'm spotlighted again. Yes. Is that me or is it flipping back and forth? No, you're, uh, I can see you. So I'll wait a second to make sure that I don't come up. But if I do, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. There we go. And I, I did. Got, yeah, I think I've got it. I, I had us both spotlighted. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I've got it now. Boy, there's a lot of buttons in Zoom, right? You guys, there's a lot to learn. All right. And Zoom likes to reverse things. Yeah. And so Diane is asking, why is it backwards? Yes. <laughs> because what you think is forwards on Zoom is backwards. On Zoom. <laughs> and what you think is backwards, like when I look at album in my little album in a day circle, it's backwards <laughs> on Zoom. But then when I stream it, it comes out frontwards. It's crazy. Okay. So here we are, you guys. We're back. So I just wanted to, um, kind of let you know what's happening on my very first page and why I'm not going to kind of go into all the details for the very first page. So I'm going to wait and get all those goodies from Carrie, but I'll share that later with you. But this is the photo. I scanned it and, and reprinted it as a five by seven. And, and then I'll add the laser cut embellishment over here. So what I want to do is just kind of put these little pieces aside because I'm gonna come back uh, and work on the, the title page. And what I'm gonna do is start on the back of my title page. So for those of you who remember uh, when we were doing our power layout, <clears throat> I taught it a little different, right? I, I, um, I taught it a little different because I said, do board page. And why do we do that? Do board page, because if it's on the board, now I know I'm going to slide all these photos right onto the page, right onto the back of the page, and I'm good to go. And I know that if it's on a board, it's on the back of the previous page. And it just kind of keeps things a little, a little more <laughs> uh, organized because I know some, sometimes we do get confused on um, if you're just doing boards and boards and boards. So that was a little twist. I hope, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed that little twist. So, <clears throat> and one other thing, because I do like two page spreads, I'm, I'm gonna pull this over to the side and I'm actually gonna grab the next page. And you can see, since this is a fast to fab collection, the, the base pages actually match, right? But that doesn't mean I have to, you know, necessarily just leave it at that. I can do some other fun stuff with it. And um, just as a reminder, one of the uh, challenges when we first decided on what, and you know, on album in a day is deciding what 
what project, what project can you commit to that you want to see on your bookshelf for one, but also what project can you commit to um, that really is also doable? And this was a project I had kind of been wanting to do. I had started. So some of my pictures you might see are already cut into a shape and so forth because I had started this project and um, then uh, re-decided this is something I want to finish. I want to revisit all this good stuff from when my husband and I kind of first met. Okay, so I think that, Carrie, does that look good? Am I pretty much in screen? I'm a little barely off, right, for two pages? <laughs> yeah, it, I don't think you'll be able to put it all in screen, but it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just buzz me, you know, buzz, buzz. <laughs> if I, if I move out of screen. Okay. So what I'm going to start then is just really working the process now that I have, and, and I'm sorry, some of these have the um, glare from my lights, but I do know you need to see. So I'm going to work the process and that's just simply, simply going through and putting things in the album in a very simple manner. I'm going to use my snap to grid. I'm going to add my places to journal and add my power blocks of strips as we go through. I did end up using a lot of peekaboo pockets um, and I'll probably end up pulling in more just because uh, the, you know, we had a lot of memorabilia. We wrote each other notes kind of as we were, we worked together. I met him at work. So he would come by my desk and leave a note and so forth. So I had a lot of that fun stuff and I wanted to include it in this album. So kind of a fun way I thought we could do that would just be to put it in a peekaboo pocket. But yet I still have um, some area here to use for photos as well. Okay, so that is uh, how I'm kind of getting started. I'm going to grab my adhesive and um, Carrie is going to work too. So we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on chat, but I want her to have some fun in this process as well. And um, oh, I also just want to mention one thing that I do have for reference and I have it handy is my album map. Okay, so it was really good. I think Kristen said this earlier, how when you start writing out all your pages, it kind of feels good, right? To see everything that you want to include, the whole picture of what you want to include in your album, page by page. And that really helped to try to get me organized as well as my project timeline. And let me just take a, a second here and, and mention about the timeline. So this album is spanning from uh, late 1989 until 1993. And it was very, very interesting to see as I was pulling out those photos. And remember, this was film days, right? So I had less photos than digital days. But what were the things, you know, what were those little um pockets of photos that I had. And so I tried to go down. I used my columns down this way when I was making my timeline for this project only. And, um, and I ended up finding more. And so I had to come over here and use part of this. And then what I found really helpful is, um, let me grab my pencil. Once I had put, when I was doing my power layout, once I had used one of these pockets of pictures that I had, I put a little check mark. And, and as I went down, I was like, okay, yep, those are in, in my pile that I have off here to the side. And I've got those pictures accounted for. I've got those pictures accounted for. And so it kind of helped me. Um, this wasn't necessarily an album order. This was just as I was, it was, I was trying to make it more chronological, but as I was finding things, I wrote it down just so that I knew I wanted to include these things in my album, if that makes sense. So even there were things on here that I didn't have photos for, which would, um, uh, let's see, what did I, oh, like when we went to go see George Winston, 
Okay, those, I don't have any photos for them. We didn't have our phones back then that could take photos. So I just have brochures, but I wanted to make sure I included that. So the timeline to me was really um, kind of a, a dump of everything. And then my album map put it into order. And then the other little reference I have is my journaling and title tracker. So, you know, when I was kind of going through again, um, I think, was it, was it Kathy, I think was asking, did it, you know, in going through this process, did you remember things that you had forgotten? And absolutely I did. We, we, you know, talking with my husband, going back through, it was wonderful to kind of revisit. And I know some of you are making, um, albums that were, you know, from years ago. And so kind of having a place to jot down your notes when you remember those stories. Oh yeah, I've got to, you know, I've got to remember to write about that. And, um, and having the pictures help tell that story. So, uh, you know, that was a good little place to kind of add all those details as well. Okay, so I've got those kind of off to the side that I may be referencing in this process, but once I created my album map, that helped me get my power layout project done. Now my power layout is in the order my book is gonna to go together. So that's kind of, you know, a little snippet of what we did in Album in a Day. We also talked about color theory and we talked a lot about why we journal and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, kind of giving you the, the foundation for all of that. And now, now it all pays off, right? Okay, so that's the intro. I'm gonna get started and figure out how we're gonna put these pages together. One of the fun things when uh, John was down here, my husband, John, looking at this, he goes, yeah, this was the very first photo I had of you, the very first one. And I think he had it up in his office for a while and he goes, I remember. So that's the kind of thing when I go, okay, you know what? He is going to fill out this journal box. So today I'm not going to have all the journaling done, but like I said, I've, I've written some notes. He's going to fill out this journaling box because I had, um, luckily I had found a little, I'll share it later, a little note that I had written when I first met him. So he's going to have to go back in time and write that. But I think it's really good in this kind of a process, ask people to share their side of, um, you know, what they remember with you as well. Always fun to have that. Okay, so we're going to get started. One of the first things, you know, I love to do is take a photo and just back it with some paper. So I think I'm going to start by adding a backing strip here. And let's see, I'm trying to figure out where we're going to put it. And I hope you guys are scrapping along with me. This is going to be way more fun if you join me in the process and we can do this together and, um, and just kind of hang out on National Scrapbook Day. I'm so excited. How many of you guys are actually working? Give me a, a heart in the chat. Are you working or are you just hanging? Because you could hang with me too, but I, I'd love to know if you're actually scrapping along with me today. It's kind of fun. All right. And Carrie is going to hopefully scrap too, as well as keeping, I don't want you always just looking at the chat. Look at how many folks have joined us. Isn't this exciting? So exciting. Yay. All right, you guys, here we go. So let's see, I like, I like this as a start. So I'm gonna get going. We've got a lot of pages to make. You can see this was one of the photos uh, I had started with in the original album. So we had a question, um, the class surprise for, uh, from the Zoom earlier today, is that gonna be posted to Facebook or is it gonna be posted to the classroom? It'll be in the classroom. And I'm so sorry, I was, I was kind of running. I, we went a little over on the Zoom but I didn't okay. want to give it to you ahead of time. So um, I, I'll, if I take a break, maybe today, I'll try to run in and put that up, but it'll be in the classroom. Fantastic, yeah. thank you. Yeah, and, and the link to the stickers too. So that's just an, an, oh, look at all the hearts we got. Okay, we got some, we got some scrappers working, Carrie. Excellent. 
I think I'm going to start by making a custom border for my page. Okay. okay. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I think this photo is crooked. So I've got my trimmer, my trimmer's right here too. Um, oh, my picture is crooked. Repositionable, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know. I, I, I actually should grab my repositionable. There we go. Okay. So this was uh, where we met. This was the building we worked at. And I'm just going to trim that down. Where is my repositionable? Here we go. Here's my repositionable. Trim this down. So well, I'm, you know, I'm really, when it does, when it comes to where I really do enjoy uh, getting in the flow of things, I really am a simple scrapbooker. I'm, I'm really kind of more on the simple side. So, you know, these, this, this challenge, don't expect the full carry treatment. Okay. But we'll get to carry treatment. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of a lot of embellishments or anything because we're just going to we're we're working on process of getting this in in the book. Okay, so this is going to be um, I had started this way. We might we might be able to squeeze that in for the journaling, but I'm just gonna yeah I kind of actually I like it this side better. I'm gonna leave this for my husband, like I said, and. A trick for journaling boxes also. So I'm, I'm going to give this to him to write on. But if he makes a mistake, remember, you can still just cut out. I, I've got my, um, my little box of journaling cards. And you can also just cut out, you know, dot grid and stick that in there. I was thinking for his handwriting, he might work better on like a dot grid. <laughs> and just add that in there. Um, I don't know, he has little tiny handwriting. Sometimes the lines are too big for him. So we'll see, or maybe like a grid, something like that. But you can always add those in, or if you make a mistake. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of tuck this in just with a little strip of repositionable adhesive here, and then add in this little guy. up here. So super simple, easily, easy, easy, easy. And might do something fun, like add a little embellishment. Why not? All right. I feel like we need music, Carrie, but I know YouTube is so picky about, um, you know, making sure that your music is licensed and all that. I just, I don't even know how I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 we could sing, huh? I'm not a very good singer. So, <laughs> but, um, okay, so this is a card. And when I'm adding in cards or memorabilia, I'll either do it with a memorabilia pocket or I'll line up my card on one of the edges. So if it's a card that opens this way, that way when I slide the page protector on, um, it'll still cover the inside, but the top will fold over, if that makes sense. So I think this card needs to go, because I remember this was one of the very first cards John gave me as we were uh, getting to know each other. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some more different pieces of paper over here. All right, and I've got this big, I think actually I may work on this first. Let me, let me add in. So I had added the memorabilia, as I mentioned, and here I'm gonna add some more Rico. Funny, we had even um, directions to his house when we first met. This is just kind of a little different, different stuff on there. And then I found some black and white pictures of him when we first met. So I think I'm going to add these in here. 
And since this is over here on this side, I may do, oops, add a little something fun. So we've got that. I'm, I feel like I need a little contrast over there. And, oh, I think I'm gonna bring this strip of black. That's beautiful, right there, right along there. Okay, make that simple. So I'm bringing the black across. I always like to do that. Because I do, I do like using two page spreads, but here's another example where these are different uh, events, right? They're not the same, but we're making it work as one. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of, oh, look, I have, <laughs> have another black square, but I think I actually want just plain black to back that photo. So I'm gonna grab some black cardstock. Mm -hmm. Isn't black, blacks are funny, aren't they? They, um, at least with my lights, We have black sparkle. We have so many blacks. That's a nice, rich. That's a little, I think that might work. Hey, and we get Cranberry back. Are you guys excited for the new products? Brand new products releasing on Monday. That's exciting. And um, oh, I think I'm going to go for this little scrap of black I have right here. Brand new, exciting products are releasing Monday. I can't wait to get that little cup holder. How about you, Carrie? Are you going to get the little cup holder? <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get that punch, though. Oh, I love that punch. Oh, I love the punch. And the circle maker. I think we're going to have fun working with the circle maker. I'll wait till you enable me on the circle maker. Okay. <laughs> <You're gonna laughs> and, and play with it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's usually what it takes. Yeah, as soon as you see it, then you're like, oh, I gotta have that now, right? <laughs> okay. Stuff I never knew I needed, yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I'm just adding a little um, paper to the background because these were not cut the same size. And that way by adding the background to this skinnier one, and I don't have duplicates of these, it's going to help me line these up um, because I do love my lined up look. So that's all I was doing with this one. Just giving a little mat to the story here. Okay. This scrap was a piece of, um, Okay, any any of my oldies, do you guys remember when Creative Memories had the Canson paper, C-A-N-S-O-N? -S you know, that company is still around. They still make beautiful paper. But that was a scrap from the original Canson, Canson paper line. So fun. Sometimes you need that rich, rich. Black is hard, right? Because such a saturated color and... Uh, I know when, when I was working, doing design work, it was really hard. Uh, <laughs> you have to actually do a color formula for black. You would think it wasn't as tricky, but it is a little tricky. Okay, so there's my, the front of my peekaboo pocket and it's gonna go right in here. And then I've got all that fun little um, memorabilia stuff I have stuck on the back. So I'm just gonna, it's kind of like a little smash, smash style. And then this is gonna slip right into the peekaboo pocket. So this is gonna go on the right-hand side. And I'm, I'm actually, if you know um, the trick for page protectors and peekaboo pockets, I get asked this question a lot. Can you still use page protectors with peekaboo pockets and I do and I love it but there's one trick when you use these beautiful 
six by 12s, if they are on the outside of your page, the page protector does not want to fit over the top. Okay, it doesn't want to fit. So if I stuck this down, I couldn't slide the page protector, even if I opened it up, I couldn't slide the page protector on. I would have to actually go from this side. Actually, I could do that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just do that. I can stick it down because I can always, my, my pages are loose. So before I put this in the album, I'm going to have to take my page protector and slip it this way. And so to get the card on the top, I'm going to open it up and then I'll slide my page protector with the card open on like this all the way over. So yeah, that's just the little tricks of the trade. So when I had this, um, laid out, I thought, okay, yeah, I do want to put this right on the right hand side, kind of as a fun little design element, but also just to add this right on here. Okay, so yeah, if you if you've ever used the six by 12 peekaboo pockets, you'll know they're just a smidge taller. I'm gonna have to go this way, just a smidge taller. So you really wanna get them lined up. So um, the same, there we go. The same amount is on the top and the bottom. Just have to play a little bit. But once you get it down, so easy. And then flip that open, isn't that fun? And we can add the photos. So there was one here that I wanted to add. Okay, so I'm gonna add the card now, add this back down. This poor card, it's been pulled in, pulled out. <laughs> and then I have another place for a journal box right here. Okay, so let me see, I'm gonna grab Um, of my choices I can go. I think this paper is just, it's under my left elbow, Sue. I'm gonna have to move my paper. <laughs> or it's all gonna end up on the floor. There, I'm gonna put it up there. Okay. So that one's done. Ta -da. Let's see, might be a little too big. I think I'm gonna need to go down to the four by six instead of the four and a half. Oh, this one's cute. This one's really cute because it kind of looks like a little file folder too, which is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here for journaling. All right, well, we're almost got two pages done. Hey, you know what would be kind of fun? When you guys finish a page, uh, throw it up. In the chat, go woohoo! Finished a page. Okay, we're gonna celebrate you guys today too. I really, really want to do that. I want to celebrate everybody for your making progress. Or if you get some things, I know some of you are organizing, right? So if you get some things organized, let's celebrate that too. Throw it up in the chat. Let's celebrate today. Every little bit, every little bit. Everything you're doing is going to make a wonderful impact on sharing memories for others. Everything that Sue is using is under both of her elbows. It's under both her elbows. <laughs> ah, and mine was soon to end up on the floor, Sue. So, <laughs> so Sandy has a question. She yeah. says, uh, I've seen other people put the peekaboo pockets on the top of page protectors. Mm -hmm. Which is better on top or on the base page? And, and it's a personal choice, really. Total personal choice. Um, I, I, my go-to, if I, if I can, I love lining it up and then sliding the page protector and then having it as a flap on top, kind of like what I'm going to do here. Um, the reason being, when you put a page protector on, then this weight is now all stuck to that thin page protector. 
So for me, it kind of makes a little more sense if you can. And, and sometimes we want to put a peekaboo pocket like right um, on top, right? Let me grab one. Like maybe I want to put a peekaboo pocket right here. And so the only choice you have is to stick it on a page protector, you know, and then it's like a little peekaboo kind of thing. Otherwise, I, I like to adhering it to the page because I feel then it has more stability because there, once you get all that stuff in there, they're kind of heavy, right? So that's just my, my, what I've learned, what I kind of enjoy doing there. So, okay. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to actually, I usually don't back photos, but I'm kind of feeling the need to back a little bit. <laughs> some of these. Let me see. But I think I've, I don't know, we'll see. I, it might be too many patterns. But can we have too many patterns? I don't know if I need more black up here. Oh, well, that actually does look kind of nice. Yeah, I think I will. I'm going to add this little mat. I'm going to trim it down just a smidge. I do love this black plaid paper from the Homestead collection. I'm a, I'm a plaid sucker. I'm a sucker for plaid. Okay, there we go. I don't think I cut that straight. Ah, I must have lifted my finger. I did. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that especially just because these are kind of the, you know, first pictures, maybe, yep, maybe I do spend a little more time adding those mats, but not a typical thing. Okay, so the last thing I would probably want to do uh, is add maybe a little tab here for um, for turning the peekaboo pocket because I love tabs, um, but I can always come back and do that. Or let me just check the stickers. Let me just check the stickers really quick because they might just have something fun that we could use right in here. Oh, look. Oh, so many cute stickers in here, huh? Mm. I think there's one other. Wait, which one am I missing? Oh, this one. Oh, very fun. So, oh, look at, here's your choose happy, Carrie. There's the choose happy. But we're putting that on the front, right? Oh yeah, and it's going to be much, much bigger. It'll be much bigger. So that's another fun thing we could use for tabs for the um, for the peekaboo pocket. I think actually I am just gonna, I know this is my giant punch. I, I've shown this to you and someday maybe we'll get one from Creative Memories, but I do, I love this thing. I love this punch and I'm gonna, just going to use this really quick and well, if you remember too for our class we have a yeah. digital file full of tabs I, do. I can't wait to share that we we've got that going on too we got so much going on for you guys oh it's just finding the time to do it right carrie i think i'm going to add in bring in a little green in yeah and why aren't days like 48 hours i know I always thought that they had it backwards. You know, we should have two days of work and five days off, right? <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> Why do we have to have our, our weekend so short? Okay. I'm going to punch this. That's a fun little thing. All right. And then I got to pick up the pace, don't I? I need to pick up the pace. So this is just that little punch from the giant punch out. And, and you know what? These would probably be nice to do as a cut file because you could also do a little scoring. I probably should have scored this because I used a cardstock. 
to make that fold. All right, anybody ahead of me? Has anybody complete, completed any? <laughs> yes, Kristen's happy you're doing a class. We are, we are all over that. Okay, so that gives a little color. I'm just gonna add this on here. As a little tab, a little color, and a little tab. All right. And we're done. Okay. Log in. Two pages for me, Carrie. Ching, ching. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I know there was another, uh, there was something else I wanted to bring in. Where did I put that? There's the, um, well, we're going to have the new pack of word art and oh, I'll just grab my, my title binder. We're going to have the new pack of uh, titles. I can't wait to get that, but I know I have happy over here, but that would be the only other thing. Like if I wanted to add um, a cut title into into this. All right, let's see. This is kind of cute. We could do this is us. Now that's on the card. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's kind of losing itself over there. that up there. Uh -huh. Now, let's see. Well, I'm going to leave that out. We might come back and figure that out. Let's see. Or, mm -hmm. let's see. There was another one. Oh, this one, Memories. This one has a little more white in it. Oh, that's kind of nice. So I may just tuck so then it's happy memories. I may tuck this in with my repositionable. I'm just gonna slide that right in, just as a little finishing touch. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this upside down and backwards right in here. While you do that, we have another question. Do we know the biggest circle, the new circle cutter will cut? Oh, wow. That is a good question. I don't know. Maybe does someone know? <laughs> well, I know that they put out a training video on the advisor site, but I haven't watched it yet. I haven't either. So let's, let's archive that question. And um, I want to say the smallest, I heard someone mentioned the smallest was three inches. So it, I don't think it goes super small. Um, but it looked like from the display, it looked like it was, you know, big on the page, right? Oh, we got a shout out. Pamela yep. finished her title page. Awesome. Yay, Pam. Yay. All right. Here we go. Okay. How did I have this in backwards? Oh, I, I stacked these backwards. So here again, I flipped over. So I've got, this is my two completed pages. So here's the next set. Don't those empty boards, that just feels good, doesn't it? Empty boards and empty pods and empty photo folders. That is, that's what this is all about. <laughs> <laughs> and that has posted that the circle cutter goes from three inches to 11 and three quarter inches, just under wow. 12 inches. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Annette. That's big. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So this was one of those where I was mentioning how um, a photo jogs your memory. And when, you know, so we worked 
and it was small little offices and cubicles, right? And you would have your little visitor chair. And that's kind of what I remember getting to know John was hanging out and sitting in his little visitor chair. So this is a picture of me in that visitor chair <laughs> at work. And um, those are some of the early memories, early, early memories. And Joanne says it goes to 11 and three quarters. So it'll, it's big. It'll cut big. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. So I'm just kind of moving things around. And like I said, I had some photos already cut. I do have, this is that little note that I found. So I ended up putting this in a five by seven peekaboo pocket. So again, I'm just gonna put that on an inside so you can flip it open since it was double-sided way back in there. Okay. Oh, and I have this little photo too. I think this was another one. Um, I think John had up in his office for a while. Ah, there we go. Just one of those fun little snippets. Okay. Still not quite ready with this layout. I think I need some color. We're gonna add in some blocks. This just in, Laura Ann finished title page and a two-page spread. Two-page spread. Oh, oh my goodness! I better hurry up. I'm getting, I'm getting competition. <laughs> <laughs> Noting down all the completions too, so we'll have a grand total at the end of the day. That is so exciting, so exciting. Okay. Way to go. I think I'm chit-chatting too much. Okay, you better watch out. I may have to stop talking and get to work in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just using another one of the power blocks that was cut. And, you know, these were all in different sizes. So really what I'm looking for is just, um, you know, things that kind of enhance uh, the area that I'm trying to use for my page. So kind of adding these little goodies in here, just like that, adding this down. Hey, I have a visitor. <laughs> Cindy just finished a two-page spread. Woohoo! All right, you guys. Love it. It feels good, right? It's finally happening. Getting these pages done that we've always thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Okay. Adding in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this peekaboo pocket in. Those little um, pieces that come off the adhesive strip, they're like electrostatic charged, right? <laughs> they stick to you. So fun. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is again, use some black. Where did that black go? Here we go. Is that enough of a... Nope, I need to look bigger. Leanne just finished a title page and two pages done. Awesome. Woo! That is great. All right. I love hearing it, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right. My brain is dead. Your brain. Under and that was Kathleen. Was it Kathleen? Was it Morgan? 
<laughs> but she finished a two-page spread. Oh, yes, it's Kathleen. She put it in her note. Okay, good. Kathleen finished a two-page spread. All right. That is so awesome, you guys. Love hearing it. Love hearing it. Okay. So, so fun. Okay, so the nice thing too, these pages that some of the homestead have grids so you can see if you're straight or not <laughs> on your putting your pictures down using the little lines, right? Okay, so this is another page. Kind of adding in. Simple, easy, and done. So I'm going to add this little journal box. I think it's going to work perfectly just under my little notes here. And then I'll add some more thoughts on this journal paper. I, I, I have been finding the larger peekaboo pockets, the five by seven and the six by 12 have been just super necessary for adding memorabilia. So easy. All right, let's see. So oh, Mary, we might have to do some clustering. My, my clustering girl, Mary, I'm looking for something to do somewhere here. And this one, this was a nice uh, surprise when they were doing a brochure to try to get my husband's an engineer retired now, but um, they were doing a brochure and they said, Hey, John, would you come be on the cover? One of the little pictures, you know, there were a bunch of little pictures of the brochure. So this was the photo that they took for that. Okay. So this is going to go nicely right here. The finished layouts are pouring in. Karen <gasps> finished a two 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 page spreads and did her title page previously. I think we'll still count that. Yes. And uh, Sandy finished a two page spread as well. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> that is so awesome. I love it, you guys. It was so fun to see everybody's face this morning, except do you know what I realized, Gary? I forgot to put you on. <laughs> I forgot to put your face on there. So, but they've seen you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm on often. So you, you guys have gotten a chance to see Carrie that way, but yeah, she was there. She was there in spirit with us, right? Chit-chatting. Okay, I'm going to add this. Oh. Layer to go right under here. Mary's done a two page spread. All right, Mary. Now, Mary, you've got to add those clusters. <laughs> I think it's interesting how um, I love hearing what people need help with. And Mary was the one who got me working on, you know, how to teach clustering. And um, who was it? Leslie, I think, was the one who said, I need help on titles, right? When we when we did the whole title workshop. So it's it's good to know, you know, what you guys need help on and you know what you can. Um, figure out, you know, what you, what you, different things. Let me know. You never know what might show up, right? 
That's cute. Today is a good day for a good day. I think we're gonna add that in there. I love the uh, little sentiments from Homestead. So many choices, but you know, we do need, we do need a little bit of a cluster going on here. Oh, I was gonna, let me see, do I need to, yep. Yeah. Ah, I think I forgot to grab my foam squares, you guys. I gotta go grab my foam squares. not ever too far away. All right, how are you doing, Carrie? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually moving the totals over into a spreadsheet because I don't want to add all day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene, she just finished a two page, two two page spreads. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's amazing. Beautiful. I love, love, love hearing all that good stuff. Okay. Oh my, <laughs> Kathy just finished two two-page spreads as well. You guys, I, I am, I am like a proud mama hen hearing all of this. Seriously. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Let's keep going. Carrie, I finished two. Ta-da. Here we go. So my board, board goes on the left. And then the page goes on the right. It's so kind of weird. The only weird thing about this is not working in an album. <laughs> right? I'm so used to working in an album. But that'll come. That will come. Okay, so here we've got some more fun notes and cards. Oh, I was gonna kind of. Uh, so when we um, when we were at work, like I mentioned. Um, He was, uh, when I first, my, I met John my very first day of work. And if I stood up in my cubicle and looked across the hallway, so I, I wasn't in the same, I was on the same floor and it was open, but I could look all the way across. And um, if he stood up, we could eat meat eyeballs over eyeballs over the cubicles. So <laughs> that's how close we were um, when we first started working. And then uh, let's see, I think I was the first one. I switched to a different job. I moved. And um, when I first started working, I wasn't, you know, I was fresh out of college and I didn't know kind of what I wanted to do. And I was doing a lot of administrative work. And then um, I quickly realized I actually enjoyed working with people. Funny, huh? Funny how that is. <laughs> I enjoyed working with people. And um, there was a group that I um, was waiting for there to be an opening in called the Organizational Effectiveness Group. And um, that was the first move I made from the administrative position. And I was so happy to not have to do administrative, like, I mean, you know, budget, right? I, my brain just, you guys, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a whole, I, I can only take so much of that <laughs> budget stuff. And so, um, I thought I've got to do something a little more fun and work with people. So I ended up uh, finally finding this job 
with the organizational effectiveness group and um, I, I interviewed and I got the position and that's when I kind of started my training journey, which was really fun. And that, that's where I, I kind of learned a lot more about what I enjoyed doing. You know, I think, right. I, I mean, I don't know, Carrie, you probably kind of knew what you like to do from early on, but I did it. I, you know, I was a business major in school and it wasn't until later that I thought, oh, yeah, you know, I actually really enjoy teaching people. <laughs> and sometimes they don't, they don't, I, I don't know, in some majors, yeah, you do find out easily what you're interested in, but sometimes you have to kind of do a little more discovery, right, to truly find out what you enjoy. So as a group, we're up to 32 pages. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. Love it. Love it. Okay. We are making progress on our projects. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just playing around a little bit more. Here's one of those power blocks. Remember how we cut this one and so that you could go across pages now that I'm bringing these back. Unfortunately, I'm kind of having to work with photos that are <laughs> already all these older photos. They were just so teeny tiny in a certain size, but maybe I'll just have to work with that, right? kind of figure that out. Let me do something like that. Come on. Oh, there's a nice brown. There's a nice brown. Maybe. I think what I need to do on this one is go this way. I think, yeah. Okay, I can try that. Let's try moving that this way. Cohesive. It's like a puzzle. There was a whole little thing about somebody doing puzzles. working on puzzles. Nancy just finished two page layout, two two page layouts. My oh. word, I have to catch up. Okay. <laughs> Stop counting and start doing your pages, Carrie. I think I'm over. I'm still designing my border. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> my goal is two pages. <laughs> That's okay. We embrace any kind of scrapbooker. We embrace all kinds. No judgment. Okay, I'm going back to this way. I'm committing. I'm putting this down. I do like these black blocks in the center here. Okay, so I have to ask, are you committing with repositionable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, busted. <laughs> okay, just thought yeah. I'd ask. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe we have commitment problems. <laughs> I I buy more repositionable than permanent now. I do. It's just a thing. Well, Gwen has done a title page and a two, a two page layout. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, love it. That's what National Scrapbook Day to me is all about. Really getting in, getting some work done, getting your projects done, having fun. I hope we're having fun. And Kathy's finished a title page and a two page spread. Wow. Goodness, that is awesome. 
We are at 42 layouts done. <gasps> Woo! Oh my gosh. You guys, this is so exciting. What are we going to do? We need to have a celebration. Maybe we need to go back on Zoom and have a party. We should have a cocktail party. <laughs> we can all go back on Zoom. A beverage party. Maybe I should just say we can have a beverage party. Enjoy your favorite beverage and celebrate everything that you've done. There's a five. So Joy has a, a great question. Does re repositionable turn permanent after a while? You know, we've, we've had this, um, a little bit of this discussion and I think what, well, I can't remember the official answer, <laughs> but I do believe um, what happens is uh, the, over time, it doesn't, it's not as movable but I do know nothing has ever fallen out, right? With a repositionable adhesive. So that's not even an answer, is it? It doesn't, I don't think it actually becomes what you would call permanent, but it does get less, less repositionable. But if anybody else knows the, the true answer, I, I think I was supposed to ask Marnie that question. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer either, but I think um, I think that sounds like a, a, a good answer until we get the official wor word. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at least for today, I, I can rest in ease of my fear of commitment yes. <laughs> using re by repositionable by using repositionable. Oh, Kathy's got a good point. She says that any after party is going to be a scrap tail party. <laughs> I love it. So Joyce mentions that that's her worry about repositionables, that things are going to fall off. Mm -hmm. I've never had anything ever, ever move. So, yeah, that's what I would... That's what I would say. I think uh, this talk about repositionable. This was one of the first pictures. I was going to scan that. I didn't, I forgot to do that. So I think repositionable, I'm just going to tuck it in here, but I'm probably going to end up grabbing that photo back off and scanning it. You know, Polaroids, they're better than they used to be, but um, they still, I don't know, I just would prefer a more permanent solution to my Polaroid. So I think what I'm kind of playing around with here is this idea of in this bottom corner, having like a double flip <laughs> because I want, um, although I don't really have, no, I might just leave it actually. I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it with the card maybe. And then I'll do my journaling down here. Yep. The good thing is too, if you do use repositional, like, like, I, like we've said, I've never had any problem with things coming unstuck with it, but you know, without waiting too, too long over time, if you do want to change something, it is very forgiving. And I do like that part of it. This is kind of not my usual to um, tilt a photo, but it kind of, it just kind of works for me today there. And then this one, I think I'm gonna trim this one down. Just too many of those yellow lights in this picture for me. I love little three by three squares. That's what this one's ending up. It's gonna be a little three by three down here. Much better. Okay. So we've got this kind of nice. Now, how many of you, here's a question for you guys. How many of you are, are journaling? How many of you are gonna come back and promise me you're gonna journal 
later. We've had this little journal question going on too, right? Hopefully some of you, I know to get, get things into an album, you know, I know for me today, that was my goal, get the album done, but I do, I love having the, the journal prompts and having thought about the stories I want to tell. So definitely want to come back and put that in. Flipping through some more um, titles. Quite a few people are journaling now. Okay, good. That's kind of cute. <laughs> good looking. I think I need it right in there. So this guy, I, I'm going to have to work on him a little bit. There we go. So what I'll end up doing here is um, scanning and then it won't be white on white just so we'll get that contrast going on over there <sighs> just have to tell you my thought process all my thinking and thinking thinking okay <clears throat> i'm gonna grab some of my journaling down here Actually, I think maybe the ruled paper might work well there. Might end up putting some, some ruled like that. The dot with the little hashes are just a bit much, so I think I'm gonna go to ruled. Yeah, now I'll use the other one. So many choices. And, you know, for anybody who hasn't found it, I have a free dot grid handout on my website because I do love dot grid. I think I'm getting too many piles, Carrie. I need I need a, another six foot table. <laughs> yes, you and me both. <laughs> So Terry's finished a two-page layout, title and journaling included. Oh my gosh. I love it. Go, 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 my friends. Go. That and Kristen is, is like me. Oh boy. It took me this long to find the cord to my cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, you have an excuse. You have two little ones at home. I remember those days. And Carrie, you work full time, right? I mean, more uh, than full time, yes. <laughs> but I'm not working this weekend, so. Yes. When you own your own business, yeah. <laughs> but mind you, I looked at myself on Friday and looked in the mirror and said, Can I have the day off? And I said, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one fun thing about having your own business, right? You're going to take time off. My boss is pretty awesome. Your boss is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoops. That was my turn. Oh, phew. Okay. That's funny. I love it. Carrie, I don't know if, have you ever mentioned exactly what you do? You guys ready to get your minds blown? Well, I know Terry knows what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Not only does Carrie like to play with stickers and paper, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so I am a software engineer, a data architect, a trainer, anything techie. That's what I do day in and day out and overnight. And for my friends in Australia, the last two weeks I've been teaching Australia. So <laughs> he knows, right? I totally understand and I get your nap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you guys have heard of coders, right? Carrie, Carrie has gone on Twitter, twi twi Twitch, not Twitter. Twitch, yep. To do coding. Isn't that fun? Do you have a Twitch handle or can they just yes, find it's, you? Yes, it's actually pretty close to my uh, crafty YouTube one. It's Coding Bandit. Oh, Coding Bandit. Oh, isn't mm -hmm. that cute? That's yep, cute. I've been uh, just did a codeathon last weekend for for a disaster readiness application that we're donating our time and skills to. So it's pretty cool. That is so fun. So wait a second. Tell me how how does that work if you do a codeathon? Do you actually code during? Mm -hmm. Yep. And yep. what code? Build it live. So we are building right now, it's for Humanitarian Toolbox, and it's actually Washington State Disaster Preparedness, so the military in Washington State. So primarily it's for earthquakes, but it can be used for any type of disaster. And what it is incentivizing is that everyone have a family plan, plan put in place in case of any disaster scenario. So that could be like forest fires in your case, and it could be earthquakes it could be um Both tsunami is another big one um so like tons and tons of them so we have family plans out there that you can share with your family that are going to be available offline and synced to, to people's phones so if the grid does go down that uh, people will know where to go things to do oh uh, my goodness where can where can wait people need to know about this yeah, we're, we're building it right now. So it's not, it's not quite ready yet. But if you know your coding people or design people that, uh, you know, we're always looking for volunteers. Woo. Yeah. Is it, is it hard to kind of like, do people, I know there's coding languages, but really there's also like people have their own way of coding too, right? Yeah, there's styles. <laughs> styles, right? And and yep. do you find that it's hard to to work with no. other quote no, styles? Really. So no? okay. if, if somebody thinks that something should be done in a better way, we usually have a discussion about it and we could change gears. Otherwise a lot of times what people do is look what's there already and then follow that same style. Ah, okay. That's cool. Really interesting. Okay. So All right, Julie finished her first two pages. Awesome. Is that Julie R? Julie R. Yes. Woohoo, Julie. All right. We're gonna make you work through your, your product, Julie. <laughs> That's fun. I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna pull in a little smidge of green. I'm not liking that green in there. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna fuss with it. I think I'm just gonna leave it. And so what should we make Lauren do when we hit 50? Oh my gosh. Are, are, am, is it something embarrassing? No, don't make me do something embarrassing. <laughs> What, what can we do? Oh, we'll do something. Okay, Annette has done two pages and journaled, which is a first for her because she usually goes back and does it later. Awesome. Okay, so question, have you, um, how, how, for those of you who are journaling, are you just, is it just kind of thinking about it right now or have you, have you used some of the notes and things? I'm just curious. Just curious for you journal or you just, just getting down and dirty and getting it done or um, did you have some ideas first? There we go, that, that works. 
Okay. Ta-da. I think we're done. We're moving on. I, although, you know what? I feel like I need, I don't know if I need anything. Uh, I'm looking for some more strips. Little strips. You need to tell me when you're done, done, so I can add them to the total. Okay. Almost. Am I going to change my mind? Terry M. just finished two two-page layouts and a title page. Okay, oh. well, that definitely sets us over 50. Oh, that is so exciting. Okay, am I going to have to do something embarrassing or are we good? <laughs> well, I think we might have to wait for the next milestone because nobody's posted yet, but I don't know if it's the chat's caught up to our live yet. <laughs> <laughs> There goes my sticker strip. Hang on. <clears throat> okay. So we are at 51. Oh, wow. Way to go, you guys. Way to go. 51 pages. Ta -da. So Kathy journaled as she prepared her power layout. Oh, good. Good. And uh, a lot of people chiming in on the journaling. So uh, Mary document already documented on each day. So she would remember what she wanted to say when she's journaling. Mm -hmm. And Morgan says that journaling uses a different part of the brain. So for me, it's easier to do it all at one time after the pages are complete. Oh, yes, that's so true. So true. And Sandy says, since my book is from 1997, I'm journaling under the pictures, but we'll go back to full journal later. I need to reread through my travel journal. Ah, oh, yes, yes. And Pam says, I've done my journaling as I prepared my photos. I needed to make sure I had enough room to say what I wanted, what I needed to before I put things down on the page. That's so exciting. Yes. And Chris has finished two pages without the journaling because she's going to have a journaling with a mom. It's the wedding album. Yes. How fun. Okay. I love hearing that. So some of you prepared ahead of time. Some of you are just doing it as you're, as you're making things happen. So awesome. Okay. I think if I were, you know, if I had, if I had the time, if I were to do it, I, I really, I, if I had had more time, I'll just say for myself, if I had had more time, I would have liked to have actually written out those, those blocks, those journaling blocks ahead of time as well. So Love that some of you have had the opportunity to do it ahead of time. And, and wow, doesn't it, that truly makes things go fast, super fast. Okay. Oh, here we go. I love this laser border too. So pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is another one of those pages with so many little tiny photos. I, I actually, you know, having, having gone back to have, having to use some of these smaller photos, I really enjoy the four by six <laughs> format. It's just so nice to work with. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I think, you know, when way back we, um, when, when we were teaching scrapbooking, uh, we, there was a, I think a handout that taught us uh, when we were 
teaching how to um, crop your photos. And, and this was post, you know, when we first started, of course, we had to have every shape imaginable, right? Like a heart, a circle, a rectangle, a square, every single shape on a page. And then we got to the point and got a little smarter and we said, no, you know, it's probably better. Let's, let's keep most of our, our photos straight rectangle. And then, uh, you know, just pick one that you're going to trim into a shape. And that helps in a few ways. One, it makes it much easier to lay out your page when there's only one quote shape to lay out. And um, just ran out of adhesive. Woo! Um, but then uh, they also mentioned in this training that I, I remember reading that a rectangle is one of the most pleasing shapes to the eye. So uh, it, it's just easier to follow when you have less shapes on your page too, when with someone looking. So um, you've got a couple questions about the borders. So Yvette asks, do you just sit down one afternoon and make borders? You seem to have quite a few prepared. Oh, these are um, laser cut. Oh, wait, the blocks, the blocks are from power blocks. And these beautiful cut pre-cut, these are from Homestead. These are the laser borders. And the, the borders that are on here, this is the fast to fab page, remember? So we've got that already done for us too. But sometimes, you know, I did a few borders uh, for, for this, but I actually, I really wanted to keep this simple, really work on keeping this layout simple for you guys to show um, there's, there's not a whole lot that you have to embellish with. You can just use blocks of paper you don't, it doesn't have to be those layered, layered borders. Yes, they're beautiful and they're fun. And there's, you know, I love doing them. But for an album like this, I'm really also just working on the process of getting things accomplished, getting them in there. Jane finished a two, two pages with her journaling. Awesome. Woohoo. We had uh, quite a few people print out your dot grid for journaling as well. Good. And uh, Kristen has a couple. Uh, I guess, what should we say, uh, landmark, I don't know, maybe the landmark's not the one, when we hit good numbers, how's that? So oh, yeah. Kristen offers that you have to tell us an embarrassing story oh, or a no. challenge, use two peekaboo pockets on one page or cover a page in too many hearts. <laughs> Cut out too many shapes out of my pictures. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay. Oh At my. 100 pages, you need to get out the glitter. Oh, that one's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> spread some, spread some glitter. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. You're funny. <laughs> fun, fun. I think I, I've, my vote is for the embarrassing one. Embarrassing. At 100 pages, oh you my. need to tell us an embarrassing story. Story. I'll have to think about that. There mm -hmm. were a lot of embarrassing, you know, okay. <laughs> Just because, you know, my husband is one of seven and I grew up as an only child. So there, <laughs> that makes for a lot of like, you know, like when you have siblings, right? Things just happen differently. <laughs> so, um, yeah, his family is a hoot. I'll say that much. <laughs> There's, there were a lot of embarrassing things from his family. Okay. Did I put that? Oh, no, I haven't stuck that down. Okay. This one I love. There's just that little bit of touch of blue in the Homestead collection. I would have liked a whole paper of this blue. Well, we could print one, couldn't we, Carrie? <laughs> oh, yeah. I made that create, um, what was it? Uh, the smile sticker. I made that pretty big and it's the blue. The blue. I love that blue. And it's in this um, laser border too. 
So Pam has finished another two, a two page spread, journaling included. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, these, you guys are giving me a run for my money. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still working on my border. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am going to put this fun little embellishment. So this is kind of, you know, you, you see the difference between how you can do this super simple, right? And then if you, if you ever are in the mood to get challenged, just hop on over to the virtual crop because some of those challenges in the virtual crop are pretty challenging. <laughs> I'll just say, I, I took a look at them and I thought, wow, that, that's a challenging page. Like cutting, I don't know, have any of you guys done that? All the little blocks? Or there was one where it was like this mosaic. I think it was the Earth Day one. I didn't even look at the instructions on how to do it. I took one look and I was like, oh my goodness. Wow. Um, but that looked like it was, it was quite a... Um, Uh, lots and lots of cuts, tons of cuts. Do you know which one I'm talking about, Carrie? That Earth Day one, it was on the virtual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, even the, some of this, like it's like a shamrock type thing and yeah. kind of has like a, like a sun behind it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. And see um beth has finished a title page and pages two and three she's going to do her journaling later and nancy offers up maybe do a happy dance at 100 <laughs> okay yeah i like it okay maybe i need to just finish first and then i'll come back and Put on these little things. Let me do this other side. I need something right there. And then, oh, I do, I do love that plaid. Plaid. Yvette, I have Lauren down at three pages right now. Three, well, three double page spreads. Oh, you've done three double page spreads? Mm -hmm. So six total? Okay. I got to update yours. <laughs> I guess I've been concentrating so much on the chat ones that I've left you out. Well, I, yeah, I guess because when, when I'm done, it's usually a double, a two-page, two-page spread, two-page. All right. I've updated you to six. Thank you. You know, that just gets you closer to 100, right? Uh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. And this is the problem when you don't use repositionable. I just stuck. I grabbed the wrong one. Oh, I've got to find. All right, now I'm going to go find that paper. We're up to 63. Wow. All right, you guys. Would you like me to show where I'm at with my border? <laughs> yeah, go for it. All right, I can do that. Are you on, on silhouette? What are you, what are you working in? Yeah, I'm working on silhouette. So I am doing an uh, a dance so it's my parents 50th anniversary and it's the res like we did kind of like a reception for them so I have a two-page spread that I'm going to add a dancing border to so I went ahead and grabbed some silhouettes of people dancing and I stuck them on a on the lower end a uh, lower end like a ground I grounded them <laughs> yeah so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I make this 12 inches. So right now it's sitting about almost two inches in height. So let's see how big it is when I get down. Now it's one and three quarter inches. So that looks pretty good to me. So I am going to actually add a little bit of uh, a decorative board, like decorative end to this floor part because you know just a rectangle doesn't look too great. So inside, I think it's designer and business edition. You have some additional blades, if you will. Oh, kind of like so, our, our um, trimmer blades. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is those really important is take off this auto apply because that is my fear of commitment. So I'm going to uncheck that and I want the wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold my shift key so things go in a straight line and I can bring this over. Now, because I have the, the um, auto apply not selected means I can move it around and adjust it. So I'm going to unselect it here and now I can change things up. Like if I wanted it to be closer here, if I wanted it to be more of that type of wave, I think that looks pretty good. Can you zoom in a little bit? Can, or let me see, can I remove? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that uh, maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. I think that I think that I can commit to. Okay. So I'm going to hit apply here. And what the knife does, it actually chops that off for me. So now I have two shapes where before I had one. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. That so now good. I don't have to take my decorative <laughs> trimmer to it. When I actually cut this, it's already going to have that. So I think that's what I'm going to use. But anyway, oh, Scrapper Mav has, oh, so that's Scrapper Mav is Zadita. She yes. has seven pages done. Woohoo! So okay. I'm going to add that in here. Total. So Edita, you, are you, I thought I, I thought I remembered you saying that she was at a crop. Is she, are, are you at the crop? Did you walk in with your power sort box done and everybody's mouth dropped? <laughs> Seven pages. Yeah, we're at 70 now. Oh my gosh, so exciting. All right, I stopped my share so you can go back to you. Thank you, Carrie. Looking good. Okay, I want to see it on a page now, so get to cutting. I will. <laughs> Carrie, we want to see it. That'll be fun. What, are you going to cut it out of paper? Uh, yeah, like that's, that's my next thing I have to think too hard about is what I'm going to cut it out of. Right. <laughs> okay. And Yvette's asking, when is the tutorial for the cricket coming? So we actually did, no, last, this week we did silhouette again. And then it was two weeks ago was when we did the cricket at your um, Friday night scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. But the classes were, were definitely, we were still putting together the classes. Mm hmm and Sandy finished another double page spread. Oh my goodness. So exciting. You guys. Oh, wow. So that means Sandy's up to four. Awesome. So we can say, I hope, well, for those of you who, you know, used part of the process to get you there, it works, right? It works. I think the proof is in the pudding here. <laughs> People are getting stuff done. And that is, oh, that's just, that's just awesome. And Adita says, uh, yes, she's at an in-person crop and I brought my box. It's much easier to pack knowing what I need to bring. Oh, fun. Okay. Okay. That's, I thought you, I thought you had said that. That's fun. Love, love it. Okay. So because there's just so many photos, I want to tell this story and I need some space. So my go-to is a peekaboo pocket. And um, that's what I'm going to end up doing is kind of layering some of these photos. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. Wait my hun Yeah, my honey got me some food. <laughs> it's almost time for lunch here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to layer some of these. Um, 
photos because I've got so many on this page. It's kind of too much. My, my eyeballs are jumping all around. So I'm just going to stack some of these by creating a peekaboo pocket. And then that's also going to free up space for a journaling, areas for journaling. So are you seated? Are you seated? Am I seated? Yes. Okay. Sue has finished a title page and five double page spreads. What? Sue? Oh, oh man. Wait a second. That is awesome. That is so great. Love it. Tell me more. I will tell you more. Darlene <laughs> finished another double page spread. Oh my goodness. So one trick also remember, you don't have to use the title blocks because they do move them inwards. So if you wanted to cover them up, you can. So I love, I love that they think about all that stuff for us. And I have, I, I have another set. I do like that title, but for this page, I, I just want that extra pop of navy. So that means Darlene is up to six now. So fun. And we're up to 85 layouts completed. Well, page is done. We'll count them individually. <laughs> so 85 individuals. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> That's so great. I have this title over here. Let's see. to throw some of these out here too and remember to use these guys so i have all the cut embellishments mm -hmm. i think we're going to go back for stickers And that one goes, where, where's my foam squares? Oh yes, here's my foam squares. 85, was it? Unbelievable, you guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so there's my cute little puppy, Misha. And then I've got my roommate Jackie so we let live together um for five years she was she was actually a college roommate and then um originally from Florida all you west uh, east coast Florida folks she was um from West Palm Beach Florida and then um she came out to California we went to school at Pepperdine we met there and then um, we ended up being super good close friends. And after we graduated, she decided to stay out here in California. So we lived at this, we rented this little house from my parents and This is when sometimes I don't like shapes. <laughs> Too many shapes. It needs to go over here, I think. And uh, we, we stayed at this cute little house until I got married. Okay. Mary B, Mary Berkland, she finished another two page spread. So she's up to four. Awesome. 
feels good. That feels so good. There we go. I copied and pasted my border. Does that make it two? <laughs> Gary, we have to give you an allowance, right? <laughs> Nancy finished her first page. Awesome. Actually, that's her fifth page. <laughs> I looked on the list. She was already there. Goodness. So fun. Keep changing. I can't commit to my layout today either. I think what I need is... Um, I need one more space to ground this too. So this was the story when I went to go visit John's parents, the first time meeting them and his mom's dog had just had puppies which this little black blob right there. And I thought, yeah, I want to bring that, that little black blob home with me. And I named her Misha. And I already had a dog at home named Susie. And Susie was a little bent out of shape when I brought Misha home. As you guys know, with fur babies, they always like being the number one, right? <laughs> but she quickly... Um, quick, quickly learned to love that. And they were, they were big friends. Love that little girl. Okay, so I'm going to add some more space for journaling in here and just trim this down. That's also gonna help me kind of anchor this photo here in the corner. So I think down to this one. Karen has six more pages down. I think that makes her at 11 now. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot wait to hear how many in total. You guys, I hope, I, I, I'm going to have to brag about it. I'm going to have to brag about it. I'm just going to have to do that. Somewhere, somehow, maybe, I don't know, on the advisor site. I don't know where I'm going to brag, but I'm going to brag. All the pages. One of, um, one of my friends, Tammy from Creative Cafe, you guys know Tammy, she, um, she does uh, boot camps and she takes a picture. She gets like the total of all the pages that are done at her boot camp. And then she holds a sign and takes a picture with how many pages. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll have to do that with you guys, all your pages. how many we can complete. Something is crooked. Okay, these are crooked. So I love this. These background pages are reminding me a lot of um, the travel log, you know, just kind of a simple basic pattern to have in the back. And um, that, I, I just loved that collection, kind of as a nice neutral background. Okay, Carrie, count me up, two pages. Will do. So this one I decided, like I said, I added the, the background little peekaboo pocket. So I've got even more room right here if I wanna do some more journaling or 
something else fun there. Oh, I forgot a photo. Wait, wait, <laughs> I forgot a photo. Okay, almost back up. Okay. Lisa says you need to put it on the creative members advice, created members, creative <laughs> memories <laughs> advisor site so you can get in the newsletter. Oh, right. Yeah, that'll be fun. I could also do some of the screenshots. That would be, that would be fun that we took in the Zoom. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Oh, I was going to finish something over here. Okay. Chris did two more pages. Woohoo! Awesome. Oh my goodness. Thank you, food. Mm -hmm. Yay! Oh, it smells good. I got it. Thank you, hon. All right, so you're going to he hear me chomping in a minute. Uh, <laughs> since we've got, um, add in though here. Ah, that's what I think what I want to do. I've got this one over here. Let's bring this one down. All right. Are you seated? Yes. Julie R. just provided the last two layouts. We are at 100 on the button. Oh, woo! Okay, happy dance. Da, 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 da. I oh, don't know. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not that easy. <laughs> um, embarrassing, huh? I, I, I was still thinking. Um, the one time, and I can't remember all the parts to the story, but I remember one of the first visits I went up to uh, meet. John's family and we were playing a card game and I won't say the name of the card game <laughs> but it was like I said his his family was um they're they're a hoot and you know you have to think of the perspective I'm coming in as an only child you know kind of a sheltered only child into this family and it's not just he has five sisters and a brother his mom and dad and then he, he, you know, a lot of his sisters actually had had children. So there were kids all around and uh, significant others and, you know, so forth. And, and we were playing this, this card game. Well, they all gang ganged up on me, you know, me, the new girl. Right. And, um, and they all decided to um, just like, <laughs> make that card game. I'm, I'm thinking this was the, the embarrassing thing from this time and um and I remember I was like I was so I I didn't I you know I didn't have a thick skin so I started crying and it was really <laughs> embarrassing in front of all his siblings and then they felt really bad for doing that to me <laughs> and then they kind of said but you know what this is just kind of what we do to each other right I mean that's just that was just part of what they do because you know, it's a big family and, and, you know, they pr play pranks on each other, but I had not, um, been raised, you know, with siblings. So anyhow, that was, that was very embarrassing. Kind of my first thing. Is that good enough, Carrie? My first, uh, <laughs> encounter with the family. I think so. <laughs> I'll have to think of some, you know, my husband can probably come down here and go, oh, I can tell you some embarrassing things that happened. All right. So Diane Heck finished four pages. All right, Diane. Mary did two more double pages. And Sabine did a title and a two-page spread. And Deanna just completed all 12 cards from the Blue Jeans card kit. Oh, fun. That is a cute kit. Yeah. I'm going to add 12 cards in the second column. Okay. Yeah. Why not? We got to add our card makers in, right? Mm hmm Very fun. Okay. I'm going to stop pedal paddling with this page and call it finished there. And I got my little doodads over here. Okay. So now I'm official. All right. You got anything to share? I'm going to take a quick little minute and, and grab some bites out of my lunch over here. It smells so good. I'm having um, well, 
I can share my screen, but all I'm doing is <laughs> updating our counts. <laughs> so you wow, can see look there. at that. That's <laughs> exciting to see though, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting to hear back from Laura Ann because she said she has uh, four pages, including fussy cutting and gluing. And I just don't know if that's four pages, including the three things she's already done or four pages new that she's done. So I'll update that as soon as uh, as soon as I know. Very fun. But yeah, we're already cruising past past 100. So this is amazing. Mm. So good. Oh, Beth just says she has two more pages. So let's go ahead and find hers. So she's up to five now. We're up to 110. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Do I need to spotlight? Are you okay there? How's yeah, that? I think so. Yeah, I'm just, I'm reading and, oh, it's four new pages. So Laura Ann, I can get to up her numbers to seven. Look at that, 114. <laughs> and I'm working on my borders. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to switch the, my share though, because I think I shared my Excel instead of my screen. But anyway, I need some ideas for some titles. So as soon as I find where my actual thing went, I'm going to stop the share. And I'm going to share again. Because why do they always move things around? <laughs> I know. Okay. Here we go. All right. So the title that I want to have is kind of a long one. So I'm going to need some ideas. I'm probably going to split it in two. Um, so you know the country song, Could I Have This Dance for the Rest of My Life? Mm, mm -hmm. I have a two-page spread so I can see it being on the left side being, could I have this dance? And then on the right page to say, for the rest of my life. Yes. So... Obviously, I'm going to do some scripting. Mm -hmm. But what I'm debating is because there's a lot of words, if I should just do a print in like a like a, a square with text in it, or do I want to cut out the whole thing instead of, you know, mm -hmm. printing portions of it? So let's go ahead and mess around with that a little bit. Mm. All right. I think that's a great idea. You know, when we were talking about journaling, I forgot to add that song titles right mm -hmm. well i think it's just very fitting because i i have uh, like two four six eight i have eight pictures of couples dancing at my parents 50th so i'm going to probably go back i'm really hooked on this antonelli font right now so I'm going to put this dance in the script. Is that the one you used for my name? Yep. Love that. I was going to ask you. I should mm -hmm. probably get that font. Oh, it is gorgeous. I think this one's in the Silhouette store. So again, when I typed it out, what I like about Silhouette Studio is it, it tends to put the letters already connected. So I like that. You can see that there is like the cut mark in between them. So to bring that together, what I'm going to do is select it and then I'm going to weld it. So here is this modify panel and I can weld that. And what it'll do is every overlapping section will turn into a solid thing. So there's this dance. And could I have this dance for the rest of my life? That is a lot of words. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking is I might do some text. Obviously not in this font, though. I'll change the font. So I'm going to say, could I have... Did I put that in? Yeah, that's uppercase. 
And what I'm thinking is I can print this as a label, right? Put that in a rectangle or an oval or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to change this font though, for sure. Mm, nah. <laughs> this is the one that I used on yours. No, was it the Julian? Mm, it had a serif. Yeah, it was. That one, I think. Yep, it was. Just the A kind of looks a little weird. Mm -hmm. Maybe Times New Roman. Meh. See, this is this is why it takes me so long to do anything because I can't decide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really like that one either. Look at, why does it have like the little, that's a weird cut one. All right, so Terry has finished another two page layout. I need to update that. And I know I have here, so she's up to four. 116. Wow. I'm impressed, you guys. That looks kind of nice. Should I script and script? Hmm. Might be. I don't know. Let's continue. Whoa, no. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Carrie's showing some silhouette maneuvers here <laughs> but I can like make this small and this is going to be print not cut so what I can do here is how's it going so far mm. we are up to if that's Audrey we're up to 116 Mm -hmm. Terry's asking if there's a contest. <laughs> 116 pages. All right. Well, I'm not going to, I'm going to think of a shape though, but I'm thinking. That's 116 pages already. Wow. It's mm. Don't you have just to. Of, and then put my life. I'm going oh, okay. I like that font, Carrie. Okay, so I'm going to add my life here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Audrey's embarrassed. She's like, wait, they heard me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Audrey. <laughs> <We're> live. <laughs> All right, let me pull this down and I am going to weld this as well. So let's go to weld. Oops, I didn't group it. <laughs> so I'm going to group it. So I, when I move it around, I'm moving it around as one. What I might do though, I might ungroup this here in a minute because I think that, of course, I might need the, uh, the tittle of the eye in the group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So grouping makes things move together. But what I like is if I did cut this out, like say on a rectangle, mm -hmm. of course it won't be a black one. Let's go ahead and change the color of this just for looking. And I want to bring the text in front. So let's bring to front. Oh, Amanda has an idea. Let's oh. see. She says, I see the full title printed across two pages, then the words dance and life cut in script and place on top of the printing. Okay. Well, I think that's a little bit of what I had in mind because I was thinking that this can overlap well maybe i'll yeah, i like that i like layering i mean you're not going to cut it that way but you can layer after you've cut it yeah yeah mm -hmm. 
then I can also provide like the the shadow layers on this as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gwen finished two more pages. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm done eating. I better get busy and catch up with you guys. Yeah, I, oh, so she's up to five. I don't want to override that one. Sweet. All right, I will send it back to you. Hmm. Isn't it fun watching? Excuse me. Isn't it fun watching people work? I mean, I get the feeling like when I know people, you know, enjoy watching other people's scrapbook, but I also, I really enjoy watching you, Carrie, work in studio, in the, you know, Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space. It's just fun. You learn a lot by watching, right? I think. Oh, yeah, that was totally my mind process. I said everything that was coming to my mind. Yeah, and that's how we learn. And because I'm using the Little Dreamer, I have the Little Dreamer collection, so I could actually even print it with pattern paper behind it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Very cute. Oh, Kathleen has two more pages done. Wow. Awesome. Woo! So she's up to five. All right, you guys. I love it. I think somebody's ahead of me. I can't remember who it was, but someone has passed me up, which I'm okay with. Go for it. I gotta find my paper. There we go. I should have cut more power blocks. <clears throat> oh, I love this wood. Mm. I'm gonna put some of this wood on this page since we were hiking. Now that's the thing when we're working with smaller photos like this, these are, you know, the old three by fives, you don't need that four by six block. You could go a little smaller and get that same fun across two page look. I think I'll do four. Okay, and it does help to cut, <laughs> to line up my paper straight. Oh my goodness. You're gonna need to spotlight yourself. Am I, I'm not spotlighted? I just saw it flip on YouTube, so. Okay. Ta-da, let me do that. Thank you, Carrie, keeping an eye out for me. Okay, so I'm gonna, Bring in some of this wood. Isn't that pretty? That's a, such a pretty paper for us. We're gonna do a banner, a four inch, four inch banner strip all across. So I think, let's see, let's see if we can remember what everybody was using we I heard um wedding I heard 2012 all the different types of pages right um like uh so some are doing big moments or or just chronological albums um I remember Yvette was saying she was working on her running book, right? We have so many different memories being saved. It's so exciting. Oh, lots of grandbabies. I remember grandbabies being done. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I was going to go, I was going to print that too. I need to get a big old journal box going on here. All right, so Kathy finished four more, and Darlene finished two more, Pam finished two more, so people are really, really getting good progress. Uh -huh. All while I was just having some lunch. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Wow. So what Lauren, I have you at eight mm -hmm. and Karen has 11 and Sue Floyd has 11 and wow. Deanna has 12 cards. Okay. They certainly have the eyes on the prize. I'm not sure what the prize is yet though. I know. <laughs> But as our group, we're at 128 layouts. Wow. Oh, Sandy just finished two more pages with journaling. <clears throat> so exciting. So that makes it 130. I actually did that math without the spreadsheet. thought I printed this photo again. Hmm. So, oh, I was going to chat a little bit about um, the process, you know, having going through, gone through and trying to figure out uh, where all these pictures were and some of them being not in the best shape. Uh, I I went down the rabbit hole of um, negative scanners. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I'm kind of, I am crooked. I am crooked and hold on, let me see. <laughs> there we go, you guys. Sorry, Where's that was my, my buzzer? Bad. Where's my buzzer? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> off, screen, off screen and crooked. I, I was updating spreadsheets. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, so I went kind of down the idea of what would be a good way to scan negatives. And I think I'm going to kind of dig into this a little bit more. Uh, but what I did learn is kind of there's, there's, the main three ways that you can scan negative. So, and, and you know, you can also scan photos, right? There's, that's an easy thing to do too. You can scan photos. Um, but I thought, you know, I have the negative, so I probably get a better picture from the, the negative, a better scan. So what, how do you do that? So I looked into um, some, easy scanners and then uh, the ones that were a little more complicated. And I, I, I kind of learned a lot. Um, there is kind of the, the highest rated fancier scanner is the plus tech. And um, it's, you know, it's yay big, it's a rectangle. And it, it, it has software. So for me, the plus tech, it gave really, really good results, but the learning curve was much steeper than the other choice, which I also tried, which was the little Canon. And this is similar, I think, to the Wolverine. I'm gonna show it to you guys, the little Canon uh, film scanner. And 
this was if you if you do not want the the challenge of technology and kind of that bigger learning curve this is the ease of use is unbelievably easy literally you plug in the power into a, a usb block and you've got you power this thing up you put in a sd card in the back and you put in this little tray and you just slide your negative through and it'll show a nice big picture here in the front and if you want to digitize it you hit okay it has some very basic um adjustments with light and color and then it does ask you what kind of um, media you're putting in here is it a film slide you know is it 110 135 so forth so very very easy to use and the results were actually not too bad so like if you're looking at this page these were some of our original photos well this is one i scanned in i didn't have this picture anywhere but i found the negatives so I scanned it in and I printed it with my little Canon printer. So, you know, came out okay. The main thing you, you, you're you dealing with when you're scanning negatives is dust, right? So you don't wanna make sure everything's super clean. You have a little blower or there's something to get all the dust. So that was kind of my learning lesson. And so I'm looking at some of these and this one I remember scanning in but I'm not sure how come I didn't get the larger print. So I think I may, you know, I've got this in with, with um, repositionable. I'm not committing because I may go back and, and print this one a little larger for us. All right. Um, um, so Sandy, I think I already mentioned Sandy finished two pages with journaling. Anita has three pages, a title page and a two page spread. Nancy finished another two pages. That's Nancy G. Got them separated now. And Diane is asking if you could put the name of, of that piece of equipment in mm -hmm. the chat. I guess I was doing other things. So if you say it again, I'll type it. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the one that I ended up using, the, the user-friendly, let me say the user-friendly version is, I still have the box. I just literally started this this week. This is the Kodak slide and scan. And you know what I'll end up doing? I'll, I'll pop a link in the description at some point too. Um, and super easy. So the learning curve on this, super easy and fast. And the results, I was actually, you know, the results are not bad. If you really care about the quality, then I would say go to the Plus Tech or Epson flatbed scanner, which has a negative carrier. There's a bigger, there's definitely, definitely a bigger learning curve for both of those. So, you know, you have to kind of know what I was thinking while I was doing it is you have to know what kind of a person you are, right? Like I started getting, me, I started getting frustrated with the software program that came with the other scanner because it wasn't intuitive. It wasn't, you know, I feel like I'm sort of okay with tech, but it wasn't intuitive for me. And I got really frustrated, but yet my husband said, that's okay. Let me, let me take a look at it, you know, and, and he's a re, you know, engineer, researcher, you know, let me go figure this out. And uh, it, it was good for him, easy and good for him. So know what kind of person you are. That's my biggest uh, recommendation is if you, if you are not going to be patient with yourself to learn, and, and it is pretty techy to learn the software, then go with something simpler. The other thing I always like to say, I, I think, I don't know if Donna is still on, I, I think I saw her name pop up, but I always remember a conversation I had with Donna that she used, it was the Wolverine, I think is the one she used very similar to the Kodak one that I showed you. 
And the idea was to um, get an idea because it's really hard to look at your negatives and know what's on those, right? And a simple little machine like that can show you very quickly uh, what, you know, what's on your negative strip. So I remember her saying that she used her Wolverine and then she went ahead and, and the ones that were meaningful to her that she wanted to keep she sent those off to forever because forever has that service. If you'll remember on how to um, scan. So if you want like a really good quality scan, it, maybe it's something, uh, you know, an important event, then you can always do that too. <clears throat> Jessica asks uh, how much and where did you find it? I'm guessing that's the, for the Kodak. The Kodak I got on Amazon. Yeah. And it was, um, I think it was less than 200, but I want to say maybe just slightly more than 150. I can't remember if it was 160 or 170 around that. Um, so yeah, that that's, um, you know, you look at it and you go, wow, that's not much of a, of a, um, what do you call it? Like you know, it, it's very light. It feels very plasticky. And you're like, is this going to do a good job? Is it even going to be worth it? But I was, like I said, I was kind of pleasantly surprised by the quality um, of the results that I got. And they were, it was not bad, not bad. The plus tech, on the other hand, uh, we're, we're looking at closer to anywhere from $350 to $500 for that kind of a scanner. Now, <clears throat> the other option also is to use the Canon, uh, no, the Epson. I think they're up to the V600 or 650 or something. It's a V something. And those, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely the thing with a Canon scanner, it's going to take you longer to do it. It just will. Because, um, you know, with the ones like I was showing you, there's kind of a carousel that you just pop the negatives through um, the the Canon. Well, maybe the it might be the same uh, as the Plus Tech, but it's just it's a longer process. If you want quick, definitely something like the Canon or the Wolverine. So, yep, right on Amazon, delivered to your door, super fast. All right, Don finished five individual pages, and Laura Ann just in with four more. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. I love it. I love how many people are scrapping today. Yay! Getting things done. Okay. Okay, so this one looks a little bit different. So, did you finish two more? I did. Okay, I will add them in. Thank you. Are you going to share, show us something, Gary? I have been spreadsheeting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm oh, still. Yeah. I'm, I'm adding some swooshes to my letters. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Kind of feeling like I need to do something. Different over here. I think I need a little strip of black. Here we go. Here's the black. So Julie A is probably napping since it, she was up so early Australia time, but I did want to mention, I just dropped something. Ah. Um, this is a, this is a blank pay, page I'm weaving in, right? So this is the printed page. This is the blank page. So you can see 
what I'm doing is I'm pulling some of the design elements from that page over onto this page. So I think what I want to do on here, this is kind of going to, again, one of those um, notes pages where, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time kind of writing notes and leaving stuff for each other on our desks. So because I didn't really have a, um, a page to go with these photos, I thought, okay, I can add in memorabilia over here. So that's, that's kind of what I'm working on. Um, all these fun little things. So I'm probably gonna grab another uh, peekaboo pocket six by 12 and work on those again, like I did the other ones. <clears throat> yeah, so scanning is, um, it's a whole new ball game. Woo! Learning how to scan and figuring all that out, <laughs> all that good stuff out. All right, so we've got this giant big pocket and now we need the paper to go in it let's see over here okay so wouldn't it be fun if we had this polka dot that would be awesome i could probably make that dot grid but for the sake of speeding things along, let's see what else we can pull in there. Oh, the green is nice. You know, I think I might add some green in here. That's kind of pretty. Jane has two more pages. Woohoo! I'm going to trim this to a six inch. I'll go in the six inches. Okay. So, has anybody hopped on over to the virtual crop? I didn't even realize till late on that Creative Memories was doing a virtual crop today, too. They're probably having some fun with that. Okay. <clears throat> it's funny. So we <laughs> call me anything you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Right. <laughs> That's one of the notes. And then John would say, call me. And then my boss would come by and he goes, call me too. <laughs> All the post-its. Are you guys, were you like me? Did you guys save all these funny little quirky things? It's just so fun, right? Looking back. I like it. Looking back, seeing all this silly stuff that we used to do. Reminds, reminds you to tell the story of it. Memorabilia definitely challenges you. I, I at least it challenges me when um, when making an album. I would leave notes for him. He would leave notes for me. That would make it all the day a lot more fun when you have to work, right? With uh, Annette's finished two additional pages, we are officially at 150 layouts complete. Wow. Well, pages, pages. Pages in a day, 
in a couple hours, right? Not even in a day. <laughs> you guys are so great getting this done. I'm gonna wait, wait, wait. I've got to put this in the right way. That way. And I'm gonna slide in. Oh, so fun. Oh, so fun. So this is just going to be kind of a base page. We're going to add some designs, bring that pattern across. Simple page. Okay, and this is going to go down here. Ooh. All right, another one of those. Got to get it in the right place. So Patricia says, just a fan from California checking out the queen of scrapbooking on NSD. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> All right. We are working it. We're making pages. And I just love hearing that number go up and up and up. So exciting to hear. So this is going to give me some fun little places to add in. So I know I've got, if I have more memorabilia, I can add these in. And let's see, get some more interesting pages done over here. I think I want to bring some black. I love this. Okay, Patricia said Canada, not California, she wishes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> come on down. You can come on down, California. Love to have you. When the world opens up again, right, you guys? Oh, we need to have a big party. Wouldn't it be fun to do this in person? Like, I've been thinking about that. How do you actually like, get all these people? I mean, we heard, remember all the places from where everybody was from, including Australia and Canada? How do you get everybody together? Do we say meet in the middle of the United States <laughs> and come? I don't know. I just think big sometimes. It would be so fun to actually see your faces, but like see your faces. So if anybody knows how to teleport or, you know, <laughs> do it so we can be in the same place, wouldn't that be fun? We well, have I a first completed project. So Jessica has finished two title pages and eight double layouts. So this went into a Fast to Fab wedding album, volume one with 32 pages, double books, one for her nephew and one for herself. Wow, beautiful. So 
So check that off the project list, right? Check it off. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. Cindy says, have a scrapbooking treat and I will come. Okay. <laughs> Is this Cindy from Canada, Cindy would come? Or Cindy from? Cindy Bridges, I'm not sure where she's from. <laughs> okay. We've got, we've got a few Cindy's, huh? And Nancy's. Right, yeah. Jessica said we wouldn't get any scrapping done. We'd be chatting and having a big time catch up. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, I know. Oh, you know what? We could take a cruise. Remember, are they still doing those? Remember when people used to go on cruises? Scrapbooking. I can't imagine though nowadays because, well, you'd have to have a lot of power layouts, wouldn't you? You'd have to have a lot of power layouts done because you couldn't carry the weight anymore. You know, back in the day, we could carry all the weight we wanted, but um, I don't know. Yeah, we could go to Iowa. <laughs> Can't be much more in the middle of the country, right? Just plop in the middle of the country and say, everybody just grab your ticket and come have some fun. Wouldn't that be, that'd be kind of fun, kind of fun to do. Um, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if they do cruises anymore. Does anybody know? Do they do cruises? <sighs> that was back in the day. You know, even like not only cruises, but remember they would also do uh, semester on cruise ships and things like that. I mean, wow, wouldn't that be fun? Okay. So I have a lot of, uh, you know, I think what's really great just as I'm working this process is realizing that I have places to come back and tell more of the story because I definitely, this type of a project definitely needs a lot of story told. So very fun. Let's see, what can we add in? as a little fun piece. I loved saving all the ticket stubs too. That, that also helped bring back some memories of what we did when. And um, Chris finished two more, so they're up to six. Wow, wow, wow. I'm wondering, that's a little much, I think, but I like the wonderful life idea. Hmm. Maybe. No, no. <laughs> Looks like everyone is voting for the middle of the country. Middle of the country, right? Then it's less. <laughs> Since Iowa, it is. <laughs> that would be fun. I don't know. We'll have to work on that. Put our minds together, figure something out. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I know that what they're, they're doing for advisors, you know, we're going to have a... Um, I didn't get that. Oh, no, not, not you, Siri. <laughs> um, a getaway, but, you know, you have, to, you have to earn that. So I just like something where we could all just go. Whoever just wanted to go could just go. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. 
I think I'll tuck this in here. Okay. All right. So we're making a another decision. We're just rolling along. Okay. I found <laughs> some of these photos. I found, I, I showed it to my husband and I'm like, why did I feel like every picture needed to be cut into a shape? I had a little heart and I had like the teeniest, tiniest little, like, uh, why, what, why did I want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. Because you look back and you go, oh, I want to see what that context was, right? You want to look back and you go, well, yeah, it's just him. But what was the context of that picture? So, so funny seeing all those little things. Okay, Carrie, I'm moving on to my next set. So that's two more done for you? Four. Okay, you're in the lead. By one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Show how it's done, right? I can't get too complicated here. <laughs> Mary B finished two more, so she's up to six. Awesome. Here we go. And then some of the color choices. Oh my. <laughs> what I picked. What I picked. Okay, so we're back in. And Kathy finished two more. Awesome, you guys. This might actually be a case for a bigger piece of paper. Let me see. Oh, I can tell. I love that black plaid because <laughs> that's the paper I keep trying to find and I'm running out of. So let's see. I think I have an idea. I'm going to go into my braids. We had that one color, I think it's gone now, the light gray. No, that's silver, I don't want silver. Silver should not be in my gray file. Here we go, I'm gonna bring some gray in. I think it's going to be funny. You know what else we should do is take a picture. I don't know. Maybe you guys are a much neater scrapbooker than I am, but I thought it would be, you know, I should take a picture of my scrap space when I'm done because it's going to be a hot mess in here when I'm finished with this album. And we could, we could go, yes, my my space is a mess, but I have an album done, right? So how about that? I'm kind of changing my mind here. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. So I think 
this is going to go. The nice thing about repositionable too is when you, if you put your adhesive on the wrong side, it's forgiving, <laughs> which I've done all too many times. Forget to flip it over. Okay. I guess you're being asked to zoom out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let me grab, let me see if I can put my Mevo on my phone. I wonder if I am zoomed in. Let's check it out. Oh, sorry, it was zoom out. Ugh. <laughs> I, just yeah, I mean, it's looking like, I know, I don't, I wish I could make this go higher, but. So is it zoomed out all the way? I, I'm going to check it on my phone. Okay. But my arm, I know my arm, I wish I could go up just a little bit. Oh, Terry wants to see your mess. Ah, oh, my mess. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I know it's getting, it's getting. Uh, a little bit of a craziness over here. I, actually, I think you're going to have to pan and zoom for that one. I know, right? Here, let me see if I can. Can you guys see a little bit? Oh, yeah. That's the shrapnel. How's that? Can you guys see? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Does your space look like this? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't too bumpy of a ride for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real ride though <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm seeing it now there's like a 30 second delay so there you go do i did i make a lot of you feel much better <laughs> <laughs> well I, I can say i'm much cleaner but i haven't really <laughs> i haven't cut anything yet <laughs> all right carrie <laughs> Yeah, that's the way it goes around here. Oh, there's all kinds of fun sayings about, you know, creative people are messy, pe you know. I know I know exactly where everything, what are those fun sayings? I know where exactly where everything is, even though to you, it just may look like a big pile of piles, <laughs> pile of piles. Okay, just, so the whole goal, like for Julie, when she comes back and watches this, I'm doing these ed page additions in here. So the whole, for me, when I, when I weave in a plain page, I kind of want it to have some kind of a balance with what's already printed there. So that's just what I'm doing is kind of playing with the papers and the different choices we have to uh, give some fun to the other side of the page, even though it's different because, uh, you know, we, we can't, we don't have this paper necessarily. We have, you know, something like that, but it's just not the same. So, you know, being able to balance when we're working with uh, weeding those pages in, that's the whole idea there. So, all right, I'm getting these in here and I'm gonna need another, this this page has a lot of peekaboo pocket, uh, a lot of pictures. So I'm gonna need peekaboo pockets. Oh, this is, that goes on that side. My husband too, he's so funny, he's like, Oh, you know, again, context, right? So we took a picture with the restaurant we ate at in the background. 
And he grabs his phone and goes and looks it up. And sure enough, I think it's still there. It's in, he goes, oh yeah, that was in Morro Bay, Dorns from Morro Bay. So it's fun to see those little details in our photos that help us remember the story that um, we're trying to tell, right? All right, so Terry has two more pages. Beth has two more pages. Julie R has two more pages and it's a new personal record and it's her <laughs> first Fast to Fab album. So she's officially a fan. Great, Julie. Kristen okay. finished two pages. Awesome. And Kathleen Murphy finished two more pages. And I think I'm caught up. <laughs> hey. That's exciting. I'm a fan of Fast to Fab too. Mm -hmm. And they cost the exact same as regular refill pages. So why not? Right. And you get all that printing for free. I have not, you know, the one thing I have not tried, I'm wondering if anybody here has tried, has anyone here tried the printed refills where you can print your photos on the refill? Anybody try that? I'm curious. Carrie, have you tried? I, I would think you might I actually do. like to be kind of have fun with that maybe. Yeah, I probably, I probably would. Um, so Sandy's last two pages is more than she's done in 17 years, and we are at 180. You guys, come on. Let's give it up. Throw some hearts up in that chat. Woo! <laughs> um, that is music to my ears in 17 years, and you've just made, isn't that, isn't that awesome, Carrie? Isn't that awesome? I it, love it. Where'd you go? <laughs> Was that me? I, I didn't hear you. Oh, I said, yes, it is. And then, then everything went silent. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Um, that's so great. So great. Okay. So I've got all these, I've got that. I want to do these funny little photos here and I've got that and then that one can go down. I love peekaboo pockets. Oh my goodness. Ah, there we go. Peekaboo so, pockets. Oh yes. Peekaboo peekaboo. So Pam uh, said she did some of those printing on the refill pages. Mm -hmm. She didn't like how the photos looked on them, but you could just do the paper prints too not necessarily the photos but you have her addicted to the red river paper now <laughs> <laughs> yes i know it's kind of a thing it's kind of a thing oh that reminds me so you know uh i may have mentioned epson uh contacted me as far as they wanted to send me a printer, right? And I was like, okay, but I, I'm really hooked on my, my Canon, really love my Canon. So um, I looked at, you know, they had, they, they sent me a link with different uh, printers, Epson printers to look at. And I picked one that I thought would be kind of similar, although it doesn't work for 12 by 12 paper. So I was kind of curious from you guys, would you be in, like, if I, if I were to get a, an Epson, what would you be interested in kind of knowing about? Would you be interested in like a, an all-in-one or they, they have a wide format printer. I think it's, it's similar to the Canon Pro 100. Or would you, do you, is 
the 12 by 12 formatting important, I guess? I'm wondering. Just curious if you have any thoughts on, or if you guys have an Epson, is there one that you prefer? Carrie, you have an Epson, don't you? I have a workforce, but uh, I struggled trying to get it to print 12 by 12, but I can honestly say I didn't spend too much time on it. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I'm sure like it's a wide format, so I'm sure I could figure it out, but uh, I just haven't yet. But the print quality is pretty good. You saw from the sticker sheet mm -hmm. earlier. So um, I have no complaints. It's a dependable printer and it has the, the scanner and everything on it too. Yeah. I don't know if that was one that they said, but I can look. I'd, I'd like to, I think part of what I'd like to do is maybe, you know, kind of compare it like, okay, because, you know, the Canon, right? The Canon just seems to always be out of stock. <laughs> so if Epson had one, that maybe we could find a little easier. That would be interesting. So Jane has fin finished two more layouts. Woohoo! All right, you guys. Oh, I love hearing those numbers climb. Margarita has an Epson all-in-one and she wants to do the 12 by 12. Mm-hmm. Okay. I need to spend more time with my printer, I think. Yeah, and I think sometimes it has to do with the driver, right, Gary? Like, um... It's possible and it could be in the operates operating system too where i need to add different file like file sizes mm. not file form sizes form paper size you know what i mean <laughs> uh, well and one of the big surprises for me when i got the you know, my first purchase was the Canon Pro 100, which is a gorgeous, monstrous printer. I mean, it's, it's huge, but it makes beautiful photos, but um, the, it didn't have a 12, 12 by 12 borderless driver. It didn't have it. Now, I don't know if they've updated it since then, but so here you had this gorgeous big large format, like you could print a 13, 11 by 13 on it or bigger. No, what like, even, like huge, right? But they didn't have the formatting or they didn't have the, the driver so that you could print, what am I saying? A 12 by 12 borderless. It always had this crazy little tiny border. So anyhow, that's why, that's what originally got me searching for the Canon. That's, that's how come I originally found the Canon because it had the 12 by 12 borderless feature. And mm -hmm. I love Laura Ann has the same printer. I think she loves her crafting Canon because she prints her 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts that she completes. Oh, awesome. And what paper? I'm curious, what paper do you use Laura Ann? wondering oh these stickers are so cute just have to say okay i'm going to step away and grab some dinner okay carrie thank you because it's three for you but it's six for me yes <laughs> yes thank you all right Oh, so many choices. I think I'm going to go with remember this. So on um, this one, I ended up just doing a little bit of um, kind of a collage on the back. Sometimes I feel like having too many of these um, little tiny photos. And, and again, maybe you don't have the same issue because, you know, nowadays we have nice, big, juicy four by sixes. But to me, that's kind of a way to clean up a page when that's what I have to work with. And, uh, and then just 
you know, tuck it right in here. So kind of, kind of fun, like a little collage in here. And so I'm going to tuck this into the peekaboo pocket. And then we're going to add, whoops, and I did that backwards. I want the other one on front. I thought it was kind of cute putting the coffee cup with the restaurant picture. That's a really cute little icon sticker. There we go. Okay, so then that's going to go there. And then we've got the whole rest of the layout ready to go. I'm going to have to keep up with the chat now and find all the pages you guys are doing. Okay, so I'm going to stick these down and then I'll check who's made some progress. So I'll start with this one, getting this in place. Okay. One of the things I realized too from the original album, like I mentioned, some of these photos I had already started in an album. <clears throat> it was very um, fragmented when I when I went to take some of these photos out. I was I was realizing that I didn't have the big picture when I was trying to make that original album, and that's one thing that I've really, really. Uh, found helpful with the album map and the project tracker, kind of the timeline is, is getting very clear on <clears throat> what I wanted to include uh, for the story to tell the story, right? So that was a big, big help. <clears throat> and, and I feel like this album now is much more cohesive so much more cohesive than the original album. I think so I'm gonna do a, maybe do a journal box down here. So I'm gonna add this underneath. And did I, I didn't stick that one down. I'm gonna put that page aside. Okay, did anybody? Okay, so Anita, you only use Red River? Yes. Jenny, they have not sent it out. Well, the one that I requested, they're, they they went and they, I guess they were looking to see if they had that one that I had requested, which I thought was most similar to the Canon. And then they said they didn't have that one available. So, um, that's what I'm asking. Kind of, they said, well, we've got this large format if you want to review, or they have kind of some different ones. So yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll look and see if their, um, their larger one has, has the 12 by 12 capacity. And then, <clears throat> And then if they do, then we will, then I'll get that one. Okay, the polar mat, yeah. Use the metallic, yeah. Oh, Laura Ann, I know, I love the metallic. I love the polar mat too. So definitely, definitely fun. I, I ended up using, um, for those of you who saw my little uh, Zoom this morning, and I shared the, the card, um, the, my little gift to you, I used the polar mat to print the artwork for that. And so pretty, it's just so pretty. Okay. Love that Red River paper. I do, I do. 
All right. So sometimes, you know, you think a photo is going to be in the layout and then you go, I don't really need that photo to tell the story. There's another photo that's very similar. And then I ended up having a duplicate in here too. So got a couple extra rogue pictures that I don't need. Those will just go back. Boy, I went through so many photos. Probably you guys too, getting ready to make a project. You go through so many photos. <clears throat> okay, yep. I think another uh, tool, I, I, I always have to kind of remind myself that things that we know, not everybody happens to know, right? And I saw a post on the advisor, Creative Memory Advisor Facebook page, and someone was asking about, um, you know, the little uh, plastic dividers for the power sort box. And they, someone said, you know, does anybody know where you can find extra dividers? And I want to purchase them because creative memories, you can't buy extras, right? And I thought, oh my gosh, they don't know about photo folders. I have to tell them about photo folders. Like that little super easy technique for me is what made such a huge difference in only having to touch my photos once to get them into a folder and get them labeled and organized. And then they're so easy, you know, versus putting it behind like an index card, right? It was still a stack of photos that you were always having to flip through. And I just, I love being able to grab a pocket, that little photo folder pocket, and then, um, no, those are the, those are the photos that I'm going to be using. So definitely, I always just have to remember not everybody, not everybody is in the, you know, the orbit of what we do here at Craft Some Joy. Sometimes we have to keep sharing out and sharing, um, sharing the good things. So I appreciate all of you who do that for me. I just, I love it. And I try to hop on some of these other pages and um, uh, forums and different things because I know for sure people struggle with some of this, right? You, it's not always easy knowing how to um, organize your projects or organize your your thinking about how you should how you could or should or want to scrapbook, right? It's not easy. So being able to share things that we've learned, that just makes me feel good. And then people having aha moments, like people responded, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. And, I, and I'm like, wow, they really, they had never heard of it. They really hadn't. So keep just a reminder, keep sharing. Got to keep sharing. Okay, I'm going to put um, a journal box down and I'm going to check in with you guys. See where you are because uh, Carrie's going to have to come back in and probably update her master list there. But I at least want to give a shout out for those of you who have finished pages. There's the dot grid and same like with the dot grid. If you don't know about it, go get it, go get it. It's so fun to have a little different place, different look to journal. Okay. So let's see, I don't know if there's any room for anything. Let's see. Well, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing my oh, 
my long borders. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Sometimes these are just some fun little things to add in, right? Oh yeah, I like that. Just a fun little touch. Okay, let's get this down. So many pieces from this homestead collection. You have to keep reminding to pull those out and use. So fun. And you know me, I love getting my doubles so that I can keep the pattern going across. Okay. All right. There we go. Ta-da! And that's a good for that one. Okay, let's check in. Photo folders, photo folders. We were talking about photo folders. Yes, borderless. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting we're getting kind of. We, these were still the younger days, Jenny, when we were oh so young, right? <laughs> but it's fun, fun to see it. Okay, uh, Beth is asking, what do we use the Red River heavy cardstock for besides picture page organizers? Oh, actually, yeah, um, the heavy cardstock, I, I would not, that's not from Red River. Don't spend your money on the Red River. Red River is a photo quality paper. So if you want to print photo quality paper, then grab your Red River. But um, the matte, like a matte photo paper works just as beautifully. Um, uh, or like a matte, uh, uh, like a less expensive matte cardstock uh, for, I, I like using it for printing digital designs. So like what Carrie was showing, if you want to print, um, uh, you know, like the little anemones from this collection, any of the stickers, you can print those. You can then use your, your cutter to cut those. Uh, and, and, you know, we'll kind of, kind of see um, the mat. I, I don't know what I did with them. The examples I had, you guys saw my table. It's a mess right now, but I had some examples cut from earlier today. I'll have to find them maybe in a bit. And the, the quality from printing on like a matte photo paper is just wonderful. So photos, photos like the more expensive paper, I usually just print photos. And then um, like a matte paper just would be for, you know, any kind of like a design or what I was showing was for cards. I don't even know where I put those. I think I shoved them far, far away. Yeah. They are hiding now for sure on my desk somewhere. Okay. You know, I ran out of layout boards and I had to switch to cardstock. And now I've got all my layout boards again because I'm making pages. It's so fun. So, so fun. Okay. Let me keep going here. I've got to grab some more paper. Bring in, I think I'm going to bring in some green over here. And possibly some of this black. There we go. So this is another hybrid page where I have uh, another, I'm adding in uh, a white page into the design, the Fasta Fab. Okay, so yes. Okay, so you guys are, yes, fans of photo folders. Yes, love those photo folders. They've definitely 
helped out. Okay, I was gonna, I think for this one, I was gonna go on the inside with my big peekaboo pocket. So I had a lot of photos, um, but I didn't want, you know, again, looking at the album mat, map, if I had taken this and made it into a two page spread, it was going to leave some of my other layouts a little light. And so um, I made the decision instead, I'm gonna put a big six by 12 peekaboo pocket to help uh, with some of these photos. Cause I definitely, I wanted to keep some of those in here. And um, that way I can, have a background and do that. Okay, so I have choices on what I'm gonna do for kind of this simple background. I think I'm gonna go with maybe a simple, or we can pull in, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my trimmer again, six by 12 peekaboo pocket, so I'm gonna cut this at a six inch. Strip and then we're gonna build, it's kind of like building mini pages, right? You're kind of like building a page in here and then you build on the page outside. <laughs> I've got two pages to build on. So on this one, I think what I'm gonna do is work on some of these photos. And then on these, tell more of this story underneath the six by 12. And I know some of you shared um, earlier today that you know, there've been some recent losses and, you know, I hope the scrapbooking process is, is just kind of helping you with that. And I look at these pictures of my mom and, you know, she was such a part of my life that I really enjoyed. And um, it's hard. It really is hard to lose someone. But in the process, when we can go back and I don't know. I, you know, I think when I, when I would go back and look and find cards that I had written her, you know, because like I mentioned, I'm an only child, right? So I've got all of her stuff. I, everything came to me. And um, when I can go back and re and remember yeah, she knew I loved her. You know, I would tell her, I would write it down. I would do things for her. And, you know, those little, all those little things add up. And I think that, um, you know, it just makes you, it makes, makes you feel good that you, knowing that you spent the time to do that. And um, yeah, I guess that's just what I want to say. <laughs> Remembering, remembering those good moments, just it warms your heart, even though, you know, I know for some, your loss is very recent, but over time, it's such a therapeutic process. It's so, so rewarding to go back and just see all of it. Love it. I love doing that. So... I think I'm going to get just some plain black cardstock now. Oh, where did my oh, it's down here? There's my blacks. This is just going to be kind of a background, a back mat, mat, mat background, kind of as a background. 
as I slide this in. So I've got yet another surface. Kind of fun. I really like those six by 12 peekaboo pockets. Even though this was a book really about John and I, you know, I, I kind of went back and forth and debated about, well, do I add in the photos of my roommate and my friends? And do I add in pictures of my mom and, you know, those kind of things. And, you know, as I worked through the process and as I, you know, was writing down the events and the pieces of our life, it, you know, made me realize they were all part of our story, right? All my friends, my roommate, Jackie, who was my roommate and good friend, my mom, you know, the parties that my th friends would throw me and, you know, things that I would do. It, it was all part of our story. So yeah, it, it's definitely, I wanted, I decided, yep, I want to include that in. and have that, that all be part of this. So, okay, I don't know if I'm overthinking this a bit. Let me see, I wanna add, oh right, I was gonna add this one. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at this circle. <laughs> I think this was before pre-Circle Maker. I'm going to have to maybe come back and take another look at that. <laughs> that was one of those. Uh, remember the templates you would trace and then you have to cut it out? Yeah. Yep. That's what that looks like. Okay. So I have one more space here. I'm going to add this little photo right up here top. as a little extra. And then I think I might just dig into my titles and see if there is. A quick little, birthday. Although I'm on black, so hmm, let me see. Might have to look really quick and see if there is a celebration. Congrats. Here we go. Oh, this one's cute. So again, I know I've shown you guys a million times, but this is my title binder with my stickers. So I just found this cute little one it says party time. So I'm gonna just add this in here. Actually, I think what I'll do is move this and just have that up at the top. <clears throat> so, so quick to find my title stickers now, so quick. Okay, so this is just gonna flip in here into the six by 12. And <clears throat> so this is going to have kind of a double door. And I have decided uh, to try something new, which is to take a card. This is the card John wrote me for my birthday and put that on the inside of the peekaboo pocket so that you could actually flip that open and read it or not you, but anybody, <laughs> when someone looking at the album could flip that open and read it. So that was kind of the idea for that and using the peekaboo pocket kind of as a, as a base instead of the page. And that way it gave me the, the underneath of the peekaboo pocket um, 
for my for more photos for all these photos. Okay, so that's how that's going to go down. I'm going to put this here. I think six by 12 was my go to peekaboo pocket size for this album. I just had so many things to include. Okay. Add that right there. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. Flip that open, flip this open, flip that open. <laughs> all kinds of fun, all kinds of fun. All right, I'm gonna get these down then check in with you guys. Get this side finished. Definitely, when you're working with memorabilia, it just takes a little more thought where everything's going to go. Sabine finished two more pages. Oop, probably if I grab my microphone. Sabine finished hey. two more pages and so did Chris. So we're up to 186 and I think uh, you look like you're on a different page too. So do I add two more to your total? I can't remember, Carrie. Let me flip back. Let me get these down. I have you at 12. I think you might be at 14 now. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to check the chat myself. Okay. Photo folders. Yeah, we, our last conversation when I stopped, we were talking about photo folders. <laughs> so you guys, if you're, if you're finishing, Carrie's back, throw it in the chat. Finish. Let us know what you're doing. Okay. Mac, oh yeah, Rachel is talking about mm -hmm, looking back at those pictures and it's over time it just gets easier, right? But it, it makes you feel, feel good about that, um, the times that you were able to share together. Totally, totally get that. Okay, so Carrie, let's see. Let's go back and count. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is, yeah, 15 and 16 is what I'm working on. For me. Got it. Thank you. And Sabine, I think I saw her pop in there. She finished. Yeah, I got hers and Chris's. And uh, Kathleen finished two more. They're, now that you're back, they're all perking up, Carrie. <laughs> well, I'm still, I'm still eating leftover Chinese, but yeah, I'm here. <laughs> sometimes I wonder, sometimes this food is better the day after. I know, right? It's true. Well, Karen Lyles has a total of 19. Whoa, Karen. Okay, she's our star. Go girl. <laughs> Love it. Making it happen. That's my, the words coming to my mind. Making it happen. Serena finished too. Oh my goodness. Oh, if I didn't have to spend time pulling off tape runner off of old photos, right? Oh my goodness. And 
And Mary is asking, can you show us how to put a put two four by six peekaboo pockets together to fold them out? Two four by six to fold out. Two four by six. Um oh I think like a like a gatefold, a gatefold. Um you one has to go on top of the page protector and then one can go underneath the page. So um, one, you're gonna have to save, if you have a, a peekaboo pocket, you're gonna have to save that one for when you slide the page protector on. So you have one here and one here. This one on top is gonna need to be on the page protector. I think I, I think I shared that in my peekaboo video. I still need to do my second one, right? And let's see. So the gatefold is where you can have one like on the, the side next to your jeeping. And then you can put the other one, but this one has to go on your page protector. Or if you're really super fancy, I did share this in the video too. You can actually cut a slit in your page protector and then weave this up and over and through it. So a couple techniques on doing, I think that's what, what your question was on the gatefold. All right, we hit another milestone. So Sabine had, uh, sorry, it was Sally. That's uh, Sally. My gosh, Sandy. <laughs> I'll get the names right. Sandy <laughs> finished a double page spread that brought us to 200 and Mary finished wow. two more pages that brings us to 202. Wow, over 200. Oh my goodness. That is super exciting. And Sandy says she's waiting patiently for the second peekaboo video. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I just over I I yeah. I know you guys. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> Mary was clarifying her question on um, more like an accordion. Ah. Oh, the accordion. Yeah. That one, um, that one is in my fun and clever video. I go over how to, how to make the accordion. And it's, uh, that you have to, um, the, the best part about that is, is the, the adhesive here is so clear, right? So you, you just figure out, um, you know, how many folds you want to have, and then you, you stack your peekaboo pockets on top of each other, and then figure out which side you take the adhesive off. But this adhesive is going to stick directly on top of the peekaboo pocket, but it's so clear, you don't see it, right? When you put it on, it's so clear, you're not going to, you know, barely notice that that's there's a tiny little seam. So yeah, that's a fun one. Accordions. I know, so many, so many choices. Okay. And now I have these to get on here. Okay, Kathy says she has a total of nine finished so far. She has to leave in a bit, and she, but she's claiming she's a slow scrapper. She has nine complete. Nine! Wow, that's... <laughs> I don't think you're slow. I think you are planned and prepared. Wow, that's exciting. Wow, congrats. And I know some of you, uh, you always, you know, welcome to come and go as you need because... We're just here hanging out. 
I think I, I really underestimated how long this was going to take me. I think because I didn't realize how chit chatty I was going to be in this whole process, right? So, um, yeah, I might be here a little longer than what I originally thought. Because I still have, I'm looking at a pretty big stack. I need to either speed up, stop talking, <laughs> get moving. I got to catch up to Karen. She is going, going to town. I just realized something. I need some. I need some room to journal. So I think I'm going to have to grab a peekaboo pocket. This is kind of fun. I do need a peekaboo pocket. I can tell more of. this story here. So these are just going to go back to back. And I don't know what we ever did before peekaboo pockets. Oh, I do. We just added more pages, right? <laughs> more and more and more pages. But I love having this option. So we can do all the things we need to do, tell the story we need to tell, but still keep it within a two page spread. Okay. Let me add this. Okay, and so now we've got this. Now I've got so much more room. At that, just like that. Okay. I can't remember, Carrie, was this 16 then? I was finishing 16, maybe 15. 15 and 16. And Annette just finished another two pages. Rolling, you guys are rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. Do kind of like that over there, but let's see. So Sandy asked, do you usually add some kind of tab to know to flip the peekaboo page out when people are looking? Uh -huh. I do love that. And I may come back, you know, when I'm, you know, I'll probably come back and do some finishing touches on the album when, when um, I'm all finished. But uh, when I did the original one in the very first page, yeah, here's that little, I love just doing a punch tab. So it gives that fun little design element, but it, it also uh, gives you something to hold on to when you go to flip the page. So very fun. I, for some reason, I'm just really liking this clock right here. Just kind of like, it's time, it's birthday time. Time is passing. Anyhow, we'll see. <laughs> Come back to that. And I think this is, oh, I need a, I need a, peek, a journal box in here. That's what I need. Okay. 
paper. Make it a little larger than that. All right, I'm gonna cut some ruled, white ruled paper to go in there. So Margarita says she needs to get a, a punch tab, but not necessarily because you could even, you know, cut a circle and fold the circle in half or even a little rectangle. Oh yeah. I love the, uh, the circle punch, you know, from long ago, if you have that oldie but goodie. Oh, that's a fun one to use the circle. Sherry asks a very good leading question. Do any of the cutting machines have files to cut tabs? Woohoo! <laughs> and Carrie, what do you say about that? <laughs> I say we already have a file full of tabs. Yeah. that we're going to provide in our digital cutting class. Oh, yes. Yes and yes. Hang on, it's coming. And and that's part, you know, part of uh, uh, the behind the scenes stuff, right? To bring you guys a, a class. And I know some of you had a little trouble understanding so you know, when I've made our album in a day class, the album in a day class, it is behind a, a gated, we call it a gated uh, password protected web page. But some people were not, they, you know, I know they struggled with the idea of that. Like, what is that? What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> what do I do? So when you purchase the class, what you're purchasing is how to, you know, where that page is, essentially where that page is and how to get into that classroom. And that's kind of the workaround that I've had to use recently, but hopefully in the future, what I'd like to do is move to more of a, what they call a membership site where um, it can be largely just done with a, a name and a pass like you would you would choose your name and password and call it a day and then you could just access that and go in there and access that that's where I, I'm hoping we're going so anyhow it's all progress in the in the scheme of things <clears throat> This is nothing new to Carrie. Carrie knows all about that though. The title for this one should be Strawberry Fields Forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Be awesome>. right? <laughs> In fact, that could be something fun. It, wouldn't it be cute, Carrie? Look at that. You could cut this in half, right? What if you cut some, it'd have to be on a smaller scale. That would be so cute. And do that as a little title block, but make it go in these little white, like on top. Do you know what, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. It's probably easier just to get the digital kit and put the text on it and just print it. Oh, there you go, right? Yep, you can crop it and print it that way. That would be fun. Nancy just finished another two page layout. Wow, we, you guys are rolling. I love it. So knowing that I'm probably going to leave some room right up here for um, for the title. And leave that there. I 
Okay. I really love the wood, the wood paper with the strawberries. Oh, I should also remember those cute. Remember last National Scrapbook Day? Last National Scrapbook Day was all about strawberries. That was a cute collection. I think it's still available too. You know, it wasn't, it was originally only available for advisors and then they, I think they opened it, right? Can't anybody get that now? I think so. I don't know. I think, I think. Oh, I know who I'm gonna do. Look at this gorgeous. I love this sticker. Look at that, just makes a beautiful layering edge right here. Super simple. Remember our pages? This is just about simple, simple pages today. We'll get into fun pages, borders and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, that's always fun to do. Strawberry fields. That was fun. That was really fun. Sharon says that, yes, they can. I'm assuming that's get the strawberry collection. Ah, yeah. I thought so. I thought that was available for anyone. It's cute. It's a cute collection. I did a card class on that. And I never taught it. <laughs> I made the most adorable cards with that collection. And I was thinking, you know, I, I now that you've confirmed that is still available, I should um I should teach that card class. It was it was cute. I probably I wonder if I have those. You know, with those little strawberry accents. Oh, darling. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember, remember? So cute. Mm. I just knocked something else off my table. Oh dear. My title binder is now on the floor. <laughs> okay guys, but look at how cute these were. Remember these? Look at that little strawberry. So cute. So I made this whole, you know, kind of like I did the Croptoberfest. Was it Croptober? No, I did the Love Wins. Um, this collection though, so, so cute. So I did a whole set of cards. Yeah, maybe I need to revive that. <laughs> cards are fun to make, right? Especially when you need a break from thinking about albums. And also just when you need some fun sentiments to send out to people. Always, always good. Pam finished two more pages. Took a while because she had to die cut a very long title. Ah, wow. And Terry has four more. Awesome. Wow, what are we up to now then, Carrie? Still putting it in, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know now. I don't have it alphabetical, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I get so anxious. <laughs> We're at 218. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to just move these down a little smidge. Don't we all love repositionable? Okay. So now I have just kind of this fun little area up there I want to save for the title. We'll have to do some fun up there, Carrie, huh? 
Strawberry fields. Definitely. You have to sing it though. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't want to. You don't want to. <laughs> okay. Are these? These were three and a half. These photos were three and a half. Do I have other green thumbs out there, folks who love to just play in the dirt? I that's one of that was one of my absolute favorite things to do until I moved where we live now. And I struggle with the deer. I think I've mentioned this before, right? The deer, the deer, the deer. I don't have just any deer. I am, I am convinced that the deer that go through my property have incredible bulletproof stomachs because the things that are supposed to be deer resistant, they just come in and eat anyhow. They just come right up and eat. It doesn't matter, you know, they go, oh no, deer don't like that. No, they do on my property, they do, they'll eat it. Why? I don't know why. So, you know, the, the, some of the neighbors, uh, they take care of it by getting big dogs. <laughs> yes, Jenny. Oh dear. Oh dear for my dear. They, they take care of it by getting big dogs, which you know, I, my dog is little, you've seen Marshmallow, and she, she could really care less about the deer, <laughs> but some of the, my neighbors, they have like, um, uh, German Shepherds, yeah, that kind of thing, and that's how they take care of the deer, because they are a real problem, we did also for, we hadn't had one in a really long time. We had a bear. We had a bear here two nights ago. Um, and you, you guys have heard my bear stories, right? We, um, when we first moved here, you know, we, we never thought we'd have such wildlife here where we are, but the bears would, um, they loved coming up here. And um, I, we had a carob tree. Some of you may have heard this story, but we had a carob tree right outside our, our door. When you would open the door, huge canopy, huge carob tree. And um, carob are those long pods. You know, they, they are similar to chocolate. So we would open the door and lo and behold, like the little, the little cubs, like when the mamas had the little baby cubs, they'd be sitting up in the tree, in the carob tree, like grabbing the carob pods down from the tree and sitting on the branch, you know, just kind of relaxing their, their back up against the, the trunk of the tree and eating carobs, eating the carob pods. <laughs> it was it was kind of a thing <laughs> it was kind of a little scary but um yeah that was that was interesting that was definitely interesting having the bears but we we ended up getting um a bear proof trash can that all in all really made a huge difference with how many, you know, how, how, how much we would have visitors, bear visitors, because their whole thing it was all about trash. They wanted to get into the trash and have a picnic on our yard. And um, when we shut that down, they kind of stopped coming here. 
It's kind of funny. No, Sharon, I Sharon finished her first page and she's asking if Julie's awake yet. I don't think I've seen her yet. I think so. And um, Kathleen says that she's using her very first peekaboo peekaboo pocket. Oh, yay! Awesome. And Julie R broke out the electronic cutter and finished two more pages. <laughs> awesome, Julie. Jenny says that she can't get her head around bears roaming around. She can understand kangaroos and koalas maybe, but bears would scare her. <laughs> and I, I would just say that the uh, the snakes and the spiders, <laughs> those scare me. And uh, Sherry has hawks and bobcats. Wow. Fox? Fox? Ooh. Hawks. Hawks, the birds. <laughs> hawks up here too mm -hmm. they are actually really cool to watch fly aren't they i mean amazing and uh my my kids at elementary school they were called the highland oak hawks because the hawks would fly around but you have to um Definitely be careful of small animals <laughs> with, those, with those guys. Okay. Yeah, wild animals are, are such a crazy thing. But do we have do we have gardeners? Do we have folks who who love the garden? Yeah, Sherry does. Sherry says that since she retired from teaching, she's gone back to hobbies of scrapbooking and gardening yard, yard work. Oh, I love it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Our, our biggest issue is getting a fence. You know, if we could just get a fence to keep those guys out. I think that would. That would be the thing to do. Okay. <sighs> ha ha. Carrie, you've got me spoiled on being able to print whatever size photo, um, sticker I want. And so now I'm like, I don't want that size. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm have to come back and cut it and put it the size I want, right? Okay. You spoiled me. Here we go. And sometimes these fast to fab pages are so pretty. Just as they are, you really, you hardly even need anything with them, right? I mean, truly. Darlene's finished four more pages. Woohoo! Okay. So that brings up us up to 225. Wow. <laughs> Julie says her garden is pretty much to solely feel, feed her bunny lots of herbs and lettuces. Oh, yeah. We were adding up. So my son, my son has a bunny and we were... <laughs> We were adding up, you know, they're not inexpensive animals. <laughs> By the time you pay for all their goodies, boy, yeah. They've got, they've got a lot that they like to eat too. We, we kind of, we kind of spoil our guy. Oh, look at that. There's a note on the back of that one. Oh, now am I going to want to put that in a, I don't know if that'll fit in a six by 12. I'm going to have to see. I think you bought a tool that you can use a page protector and make one. 
I know. Shh, Kara, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to tell them that yet. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> don't hear that. Unhear that. <laughs> no, we've got a surprise. Should we tell them? Should we tell them? I don't know. I guess I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> um, you know, part of what I, I really enjoy doing is, you know, kind of seeing what's happening in the uh, scrapbooking world and, and outside of creative memories, and then bringing it into the world of creative memories, you know, kind of, for example, you know, Allie Edwards is the one who pioneered December Daily, and she's got her own way of doing December Daily. But then how, how can we um, have fun with it you know, using creative memories products. That was, that's always kind of been my spin on things. And um, so one of the, the new little, it's not new, right? I'm late to the party, Carrie. <laughs> really. Yeah, I've had mine many years. <laughs> Is uh, the fuse. Okay. Let's just let the cat out of the bag. How many of you guys have seen or heard that you can use the fuse tool, the fuse tool um, for making your own custom sized peekaboo pockets. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. That's what it is. Custom, custom. So in other words, I could take this and I could use the fuse tool and and fuse this bottom so that it's sealed. And then I could save this other little piece and maybe put that somewhere else. Does that sound so much fun or what? <laughs> I, got, I got really excited about that. So, <laughs> Annette finished two more pages. Woo, all right. So that's what, well, Carrie, Carrie, have you, you, you said you hadn't tried it, hadn't tried fuse on um, the peekaboo pockets yet, right? No, no. The only thing I've used it for has been shaker cards. Okay. Or shaker pockets. Okay. So I think what's really fun is learning how to use things that are new in some respects or things that have been around for a while <laughs> that uh, like the fuse tool that um, give us a lot, lot of right? Oh my goodness. If you look up the videos, oh, people have been using that tool for a long time, but I thought, you know, I kept thinking, Oh, we're going to have creative memories is, um, going to come out with four by fours and they're going to come out with that and then you um you're like well maybe they're not remember in the uh happy happy album kit 13 they had four by four and three i think three by two peekaboo pockets which were so fun to use but then when Happy Album Kit number 13 sold out, they were no longer available, right? So then you start looking around and you go, oh, Fuse Tool, fun. Okay, so we'll have to do something, a video on that. That'd be Jessica fun. finished two title pages. Oh, awesome. Wow, hey, you guys. Oh, that's on the road. This is Hearst Castle. Okay. So Oh, I think I know what I'm going to. I'm actually that would be fun. You know what? I'm not going to stick this one down because you know what, Carrie? I want to try that fuse tool and make this a custom just for this postcard so that I can see the back. And then I can put this right there. So, so I'm going to cheat on this page and I'm just going to save that because I think that would be a fun uh, one to try it on. It's a perfect, perfect example there. 
Sue now has 24 total pages and used her first two peekaboo pockets. Wow. She's taking, had to take a break to put all my eye drops in. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, you are a trooper. 100% trooper. Nothing's going to stop Sue from scrapbooking, guys. So watch out. <laughs> I love it. Chris asks, where do you get the Fuse tool from? Oh, you know, pretty much anytime you ask me, Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Um, I actually, I looked a few places. I looked at scrapbook.com and a few other places, but Amazon just, you know, for, for a lot of stuff, they have the best price, truly. So, um, do you guys want to see what it looks like? I'll show, I have mine here. Yeah, I'll grab sure. it. And Lisa has a fuse tool and has no idea how to use it. No um, idea. Isn't that part of the, the challenge, right? Is learning. It is. <laughs> And Sandy just finished two more pages. Woo! See, this is why I'm not getting anything done is because I'm, I'm taking too much time to play around. Okay, now I thought I had it. It was right here. Oh, is this it? Oh, I found it. And you'll know, <laughs> I have been working hard on album in a day for you guys. So you'll notice this is, this is just my last little, um, you know, idea. This is what it, it's still in the box. And then I ended up getting the little um, extra tips. So I think it looks like it comes with that little wheel. So it makes kind of, you know, you see this little edge right here, it kind of makes that. And, but yet you have, you know, I go, well, decorative tips, I got to have that too. Anyhow, that's what it looks like. And, um, uh, you know, uh, what they sh they've shown it with is making waterfall uh, pockets for your scrapbooks, but we can just do that, you know, with our own peekaboo pockets, just kind of the way they are for us. <clears throat> but uh, what I do definitely want to use that fuse tool for is custom sized. I mean, I just can't get over that. That would be so fun. Custom sized peekaboo pockets. So fun. Jenny's asking, show us how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> right now, right now, forget your album. I know, I want to, I want to, I want to. Um, I will, I will, I will, I promise. I'll come back. Yes, like Carrie said, how many, how many hours in the day do we need? 48? And then yeah. <laughs> either that or just, you know, not have to sleep. Why should we have to sleep? <laughs> Faithful mom says, in the old days of scrapbooking, we would put our pocket in between pages of a phone book so the edge just barely stuck out and then used a candle lighter to melt the edges together. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that sounds dangerous. What? <laughs> so she would put her pocket in between the pages of a telephone book so the edges would barely were, were barely stuck out and then use a candle lighter to melt to melt the edges together. Oh my goodness. Okay. I would light that thing on fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sounds, sounds interesting. Yeah. So now technology has given us the fuse tool, right? <laughs> yeah. Jenny agrees to do the, the fuse in a different video and Margarita says, enable me on the fuse tool. <laughs> I, I will, I will. I for sure. I know. Oh gosh, it just sounds like so much fun. The other um, kind of 
Well, Carrie's helping us with, in all things, you know, cut files and digital. But another uh, really interesting concept I have seen, and and I, I I also want to try. I'm a little bit of a, I'm a little bit of a, um, what do you call it? Uh, nervous, nervous to try is the. Hot, uh, heat, heat, okay, heat press, heat press for album covers. Have you guys seen posts on that? Like, wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, where you can, um, what am I saying? I'm not saying the right product. Carrie, do you know that what I'm- saying? heat press, yeah. Press, heat? I have the Cricut one. I haven't tried it on an album though. Yeah. They're using it on albums. Like if you, like on the front cover, you can do a big old um, quote and all that. So that's another thing I, I think would be really fun to try uh, at some point. Interesting, right? Yeah. And the faithful mom says phone book paper doesn't burn easily. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I would, yeah. Let's just say, okay, here's an embarrassing story. Oh, Let's oh, just say yeah. that um, my middle child has got culinary aspirations. And one day we decided to have um, baked potatoes. And I thought I would show him how to do it on the grill. So we went ahead and, you know, sliced open the, uh, the potatoes and wrapped them in the tin foil and all that fancy stuff. And I said... The good news about potatoes is that they're hard to burn. <laughs> Famous last words. It wasn't even five minutes. And I don't even really know what happened. But uh, I turned around and started preparing. I think I was preparing a salad or something. I can't remember. And then it hasn't, hadn't even been five minutes. And my son comes up to me. He's like, flames, flames, burn, burn. I'm like, it's potatoes. <laughs> I look around and the whole grill is like up in flames. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. So apparently potatoes can burn if the whole grill goes up. <laughs> but anyway, I discovered that our very old fire extinguisher, even though it was past expiry, did work. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> but anyway, my, my son has never grilled baked potatoes ever since yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if he believes me that potatoes don't burn <laughs> that's funny i don't know if i've ever well i don't know if i've tried baked potatoes i mean it sounds delicious carbs are delicious yeah yeah 100 mm percent -hmm. uh, <laughs> right there Okay, so you guys will stay tuned for using the fuse tool to make a custom peekaboo pocket, but I like the idea of being able to do that. Hey, you know what? That can be in my peekaboo version two video. Go. We'll talk about that. Okay, so now I really do have to get on that video and make that for you guys. So um, that'll be fun. Oh yeah, all about custom, 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 custom. Okay. Oh, Jeanette has done four pages so far. Love the prep and was able to do it with journaling. Thanks to Lauren. Yay. Yay. I love hearing that. <clears throat> yeah. The prep, it, it does, makes all the difference. I think I need a larger piece of, I like that wood, that white wood paper. Let me go searching for that one. Oh, 
it's on the other side of the wood. Why am I not finding wood? Oh, is it this one? Oh, it's this little green paper. Oh, it's over here. Let me see. And Sue, it's under my left elbow. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is where we can do one of the um, power blocks. Remember how we talked about you can, this was one of the cuts and you cut this little piece off and then you flip it over to get that coordinated other side. This is a perfect chance to use that right here. On this side, so I'm kind of bringing some of the design elements from the printed page onto the blank white page over here. Oh, I need to add two more to your total. A, yes. 16. Okay, why does it feel like I'm just going slow? It's because <laughs> Karen has 19. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Karen, Karen, you're making me feel, feel the pressure. Some of these though are going to be, when I get through some of all this memorabilia, this memorabilia slows me down just a smidge. Um, hopefully I'll be able to go a little faster with getting these in. This is another great one. What do you think, Carrie? Yellow fields, flowers. What's a something fields, a title with fields? I know we've got <laughs> strawberry fields, but <laughs> something cute. We can do another title for this one. Well, there's uh, the movie Field of Dreams, right? Yeah, Field of Dreams. And I think you're, uh... Oops, excuse me. I was going to say the wheat field punch on this page. Oh, Carrie. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, wait. Where's that one border I did? Ta -da! I got to step away for a little bit, but I will be back. Thank you. Oh, look at that border is perfect for this page. That is when you love having stuff done already. Ta -da! What a wonderful life with the wheat border. So perfect. This would be a good one, just kind of looking at the space like, again, on the second pass, I may come back. I'd like to see this enlarged. Wouldn't that be nice as a five by seven? I could see that go right there. So that may be a modification later on. I'm just gonna add in a little postcard. There we go. Oh, that border just kind of Brought everything together, tied it all together. All right, and we've got more memorabilia into the peekaboo pockets. And let's see, this one is another blank page. So we have all kinds of things to work on here.
And the Monterey Bay Aquarium. This is a neat place to visit. Definitely neat, neat place to visit. So this one is, is, I do have quite a few pictures here. So these are gonna be kind of fun to add in here. And then add some more, let's see, on the, on the front here. So I think I'll do like these two there. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this one here. Or maybe put this here. Or maybe this here. I think maybe do a title up there. I am gonna use the whole, um, the whole six by 12 peekaboo pocket. So on the inside, I'm gonna put the brochure for Monterey Bay, but then on the outside, I'm gonna put some photos and then I'm going to have underneath that whole space to do some journaling, which will be super fun. Okay, so now we got to pick the paper. I'm going to pick the paper to go with this. I'm, I'm looking at these gorgeous uh, laser cuts. This one might be kind of a fun piece to bring in as a layer. Oh, I've also got, you know, this is another one I think is really pretty. Ah, kind of like the dark blue. I think I'll move on to the dark blue. That's another neat little laser border there. Okay, so we've got that. I'm kind of in the mood for wood again. So I think I'm gonna look for some more wood paper. And kind of tie this, uh, all this in with some, some wood. So I think I'll cut, so I can either go across Actually, I might do that. I think I'll go across the bottom and just kind of build like a strip along the bottom with the wood. And then I'll use a complimentary paper inside the peekaboo pocket. So I'm cutting two strips of three inches. paper here. So this is kind of, you know, I'm working on two uh, blank white pages, right? So how do you make those come alive and feel fun and make it seem like they are pre-printed just like the Fast to Fab? <clears throat> and part of that is you know, just <clears throat> pulling it across both pages. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> I keep switching my adhesives up. All right. Oh, I see, I've got some chat things to read. So let me get these down and I'll pop in there. I'm so glad you guys are having some fun this National Scrapbook Day. That's neat. I like the blue with the wood. I think I think that's a great combo there. Contrast. You guys know me. I love my contrast. Love the contrast. 
And then these are going to go up here in this corner. Here. It was funny, I had to, we, you know, I was asking my husband, so how does it go, right? When you're going up the coast from where we are in Southern Cal, then you hit Monterey, Monterey. Well, first San Luis Obispo, that's where my husband, that's his alma mater, San Luis Obispo. Then you hit um, Monterey and then San Francisco and then Napa. Like this is, this was our, first trip up to Napa. And I'm like, I can't remember which came first. We had to look it up on Google. Thank goodness for Google, right? <laughs> Helps you remember where everything is. Okay, so here, now I'm gonna start with this corner right in here. And go right along. And then this one here. Now we're going to come across the top. Snap to Grid also has really streamlined how I scrapbook, just kind of keeping that simple element to the pages and also kind of knowing what to expect, right? Just super, super knowing what to expect. Uh, it's a cohesiveness that you can add to your albums. So there we go. Scoot these guys over just a smidge here. All righty. So that page is fun. Yeah, I'm not sure. Might have to have some kind of a fun title in here. I think a cut title would be kind of a neat one. So I've got this. Now all I need to do is come back in. Let me find a kind of a fun complimentary paper to put in there. I think one thing that really does appeal to me is um, when I go back and, you know, flip through my album and notice how, you know, there's like that similar look, similar component to the pages as it, as we go through. I, I don't know, for me, I just, I enjoy that. I like the way that looks. So here, I'm just going to add a really simple gray plaid to the front. Doesn't really compete with anything going on, but gives it a nice soft background for these photos. So I'm going to add this. And then this one, uh, I think I might add, let's see, might add a little bit of blue. How's that gonna work? I think I need the darker blue. And this blue is kind of cool too. I'm going to just try to find that darker blue. Where'd it go? I might have already used them. I'm, I'm kind of liking that dark blue color. Oh, there we go. That's kind of nice. And I want to say this is a, let's see, how big is this? So I'm just going to cut these so that they line up. Give a nice flow. So this is 
Oh, very odd sized photo. Hmm. Wish I had that. Cut a little differently, that would make a difference too. It's about three and three quarters, not even four. I love four by fours, but this is not. All right, so I'm just measuring that one more time. All right, so I'm getting this just to give it a little weight and color, that blue color. Okay, so I've got this. All right. Oh, I hope Carrie's okay. Hope her son is okay. She had quite a scare with her son. You guys might have heard. He had a seizure and that was really scary. So I hope it's nothing serious. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's going to go in and then I'm going to put these two pages together and then check in with you guys. I bet you more pages are flying through. More pages flying through. So that's going to go there. Oh, I forgot. These guys have to go in here. So I'm probably going to need just a sheet of gray to go on the inside of that. Okay, let me check in with you guys. Let's see. Two more pages, woohoo! Well, okay, so Jenny says, watching you scrap shows how well the pop preparation works. Yes, okay. You opted in to album in a day late and my idea is to watch and learn and then put into practice. Thank you, yeah. That's that, you know, there is no time limit on album in a day. You can, you can learn it and you can use it over and over. And that was uh, kind of one of my reasons for just having this be on YouTube also. <laughs> it's that, you know, you just kind of can come back and whenever you need a friend to scrapbook with you, this video will be here. Even if you want to go all weekend long, right? And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you are seeing how it all does kind of come together once you get the pieces into place. It's really fun. Really, really fun. Okay, so I'm just sticking some last little things down right in here. And then these two pages are also finished right in here. So I've got a nice big spot right here for a journaling box, something fun we can just add in, tell the story of the aquarium. And then Add that in. All right. More dot grid, my favorite. Okay. So let's see, what else have we got? All right, Nancy just finished another two pages. And now you get to go be grandma. Oh, how sweet. Mom and dad have a date night. Okay. You are so nice to do that, Nancy. Oh, I know they will be so much happier with a little time spent to themselves, right? And Kathleen has done dinner, uh, two more pages, but a dinner break. It might be that time, right? 10 pages, Sue. All right. Wow. Sue, that is awesome. 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 That is so good to hear. 
Love it. And let's see, Val, the sea otters at Big Sur, they are the cutest, I know. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, and I, I don't remember, I remember, uh, let's see, up in the, in San Francisco Bay too. What are those guys? Those aren't, they're loud. Are the, I don't think they're otters. You're going to have to help me with that, what those guys are. Um, but there's up in, in San Francisco area, a whole bunch of uh, the, the little sea critters and they hang out on the rocks and they're loud. They're cute to watch too. Okay, fun. And let's see, oh, we've got more. Um, one, Cherie says one of her dot out in Palmdale. Yeah, never been to California. Okay, so awesome. Come on out to California. Yeah, it's gonna get hot here really soon though. Oh boy, probably the sooner the better once we can travel and feel comfortable and all that. Oh, you know, you can travel. And let's see, see, uh, didn't see them have smaller than four by six peekaboo. Yeah. Remember they were in happy album kit number 13 and I keep crossing my fingers that they are coming back. I keep crossing my fingers, but as of yet, I haven't heard. I mean, I kept thinking, oh, they'll just add that. Right. Cause it's you know, they've made them before. They just have to add them to the product line, but they haven't yet. They haven't yet. So um, I do hope, I do hope they'll bring them back. Okay, let's see. Are, am I tired yet? <laughs> I can't be tired. I've got half an album to go. Yeah, wow. Julie says, to keep running, turning invisible. <laughs> It keeps hiding from me. Yes. Seals. It could be the seals. Oh, the sea lions. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, they're up by you, right? Sea lions in, in, in the Bay Area, like out on, is that Pier 40, 42? Is that what it is? Pier 42? Um, yeah, they are, they are a sight to see too. Fun. I haven't been up there in a long time, a long time. San Francisco is a fun place. I think there's a, well, the last time I was there, there was a hard rock cafe on that pier. I think we, we ended up going there. It was with my daughter's um, soccer team. We ended up going up there and uh, kind of did a little sightseeing. So um, Diane, maybe you can, maybe you can come out. If you come out in your, would you drive your RV? Would you take your RV? Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. You got to come see me, Diane. If you make it all the way out here from Pennsylvania, you got to do that. And Carrie's back. Oh, Carrie, we were, I was a little worried. Everything okay? okay? Yeah, yeah. My mom called. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's all good news, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yep. That's fun. Carrie, you should tell the folks what I love your story of how you and your mom and your grandma. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, with uh, my mom lives a, a 10 hour drive from my grandmother, and I live four hours, but across a border for my grandmother and a border of which has been closed for the most part of the last year and is currently closed. So we had to get creative on how to stay in contact. So what I did was I, um, from bestbuy.ca, I went and I purchased my grandmother, my mother and my brother, all uh, a, a Google, Google Nest Hub Max. And what that allows us to do is after you get it set up, it's completely 
voice controlled. So my grandmother had absolutely no trouble getting used to this piece of technology, but we use the Google Duo application to video chat like a few times a week at least. So we, we can all be on the same call together and we're all on camera together and we'll actually do knitting and crocheting and just talking. Like when I just went um, to talk to my mom, we were we were face to face across the screen. So yeah, but yeah, we do that uh, quite often. We have a, a knit and crochet date tomorrow night. Oh, fun. I just love that just brings such a neat little picture to my, you know, just fun, fun, fun. You know, there's ways around staying in, in touch and enjoying each other, right? Yep, yep. All right, so Annette finished another two pages and that brings us to 266. Woohoo! Oh, and I did too, Carrie. I can't remember when I was on. You're up to 18 now. Was I on this one? No, I was on Monterey, right? I think I finished. Well, yeah. Yeah. I got you up to 18. Woohoo! Yay. So you're only one behind Karen, unless Karen has uh, finished more since. Probably rocking and rolling it over there too. <laughs> She's probably like stockpiling her finished pages so she can say I finished 10 more <laughs> oh this is fun so these are some black and whites and remember we talked about an album in a day about all the different sizes that have the brackets lined up in the same place where our 12 by 12 brackets are. So I'm throwing in this little eight by 10 kind of flap over page um, as a little bonus for, for this. And I also thought this is actually a really cool kind of a border treatment. So I might add this in as we're going across pages. Pam finished another two pages. Woohoo! Pam's getting up there too, right? I think she's another. Big page accomplisher. I have her up to eight, so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I have Pamela at eight right now. Okay. Hey, that's awesome. Now, why can't I find the other one? <laughs> My other border. Mm -hmm. Carrie, is it under my left elbow? <laughs> <laughs> Remember the other left? <laughs> Oh, here it is. Did the gremlin take it? The problem is the other side is this kind of mustardy color, right? Oh, so if you don't know, you don't know what to look for, you won't find it. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna put this lone cypress on this really cool green. And that's right where I punched out the hole, remember? So you pull that in and it reusable. You can just add something right on top. So I don't, I don't ever have a problem punching things out because I know, in fact, I'll probably make another punch before I put my picture on it. Well, let me cut it first and then I'll punch it. I don't know where I have to cut it first. And that way you just keep using up all the different patterns that they give you from the mat packs. The mat packs are always really kind of fun because they give you different 
patterns to use. Terry's up to a total of 10 pages now. Woo, Terry. Now Terry, she you're Terry is using the um, travel log, right, Carrie? Yep, yep. I actually watched that on her YouTube channel yesterday. She oh. was uh, talking about the class and showing the collection. It was pretty, pretty cool. I know. We should get um, give give Terry a shout out if you guys want to go check out her channel. Or could you pop it in the chat? Oh, oh, oh. what is that? <laughs> Are you okay, Lauren? Light. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I was get my. You guys will know when I get it why I had to go digging over on the other side there. You know, I love the rounded tab, right, Carrie? I love the rounded tab. Yep. That's one of the ones similar to that is one that we've designed. So I wanted, I actually wanted to punch this green before I stick the photo on it. Um, I want to punch some rounded tabs out of this, right? So we just have those ready to go. See, so now all those punches are right in the center. Oh, I hope I put that in the right place. I forgot to cut the other side. I think I might have messed up right there. I did. Oh no. Is it noticeable? Not too bad, huh? I can I can make it work. Yeah, I should have cut the other side so I know knew exactly um, what to cover up. Okay, Karen has finished well, semi done pages, so she has to embellish and journal, I think she's done 27 pages. What? I told you she was stockpiling them. <laughs> yes. oh. <laughs> I am putting her total to 27. Beth has finished two pages. <laughs> Karen, watch out. You're coming on. Craft some joy, okay? Yes, I know. I have to see this being done. We have to get Karen um a, a zoom link and am i embarrassing you yet karen <laughs> and get you to come on and share all your amazing what you've done that's so amazing Okay, did we give a shout out? I, I know I got sidetracked. It was hard not to get sidetracked by, by, oh, by the I lights know. falling. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I just did. I, I, I posted. I don't you. know if she's got a, a, what do they call that? A slug on her, her channel, but I copied, went to her channel and copied it. Okay. All right, there you go. Diane's asking, is that a laser border? Yes, this is from the Homestead collection. It's cool, isn't it? It is. It's, it's very um, eye-catching. I think that's what I would, I would say. It's almost, I, I kind of want to design around it. I usually don't, don't do that, but I kind of do. on this because it's so cool although i don't know how i'm gonna do yeah this has just got to kind of go in there anyhow jessica just finished four more woohoo Okay, here we go. Karen says that she's accomplished this much all due to your amazing inspiration. Oh, so sweet. Well, we, yeah, that'd be fun. We've got to have our success stories. <laughs> C 
super fun. You know what I was thinking um, we could try, and I, I'm actually going to try this with my customer group for the first time, our Facebook rooms. Remember, Carrie, we were talking about Facebook rooms. We could try that an album in a day, too. You know, like have to, there, were, there was something blocking you from coming in, though. But uh, we can figure it out. We can figure it out. And then and then we can have a little like show and tell day. Whoa, that'd be kind of fun. We could have a show and tell day for album in a day. <laughs> I like that idea. Okay, so this page, I think, oh, I think I'm going to flop these. I'm going to put these up here, and then I'm going to do a nice journal box down here. Okay. Well, Karen's my hero so far. Wow. Awesome. 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 That's a lot of pages. Okay. I need another journal box. Maybe we'll just kind of bring some color, some green color over here. Oh, maybe we'll do this. There we go. Let's do that. Diane asks, was that photo big or did you enlarge it for the album? Um, I enlarged this eons ago and um, way back, way, way back, um, I, I, I was really into photography. Like for high school, I was the photo editor for the yearbook and um I knew how to, you know, go into the dark room and enlarge. And these, uh, the, when we first, you know, started working at, when I first started working, where we worked, they had a whole, it was like a whole photo shop, a whole photo center. And, um, and I asked, I, I got to know the guy down there and I said, oh, I got these, you know, this is with true black and white film, right? This was not digitized black and I said can can I and you know I've got the negatives can I go in your lab and enlarge them and he was so nice he's like oh I'll do it for you so so he just the the um, guy from work photo lab manager just enlarged that for me I think maybe because he he also Remember the five by seven in the front of John, he, he had been working with us for that photo too. So he kind of knew, he kind of knew John. He's like, oh, I'll get that for you. It's always, always fun to have friends <laughs> who can do that. But, you know, I, I think that's just so hard to do nowadays, other than if you, you know, did it via computer. If you have black and white film, you're gonna have to digitize it, right? to get a print nowadays. So Don says, I love it when inspiration hits and you come up with an awesome two page spread idea, add another two pages to the books. Yay! And he's saying, uh, just because it took what, two hours to do? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, <laughs> that's okay. They're two pages. 
that are finished and that's what matters. And I don't think it's Dawn. Who is it? I think, I think it's someone using her husband's account. So tell us who, I'm gonna look it up really quick, maybe if I can get there faster. Dina, it's Dina. That's Dina, not Dawn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have that happen, right? Where it's like, oh, we've just got to use the account that we know and um, that's okay. We're going to do it. Okay. So much fun. All right, you guys. So Dina, congratulations. Two pages. Well done. Carrie, I'm done with that one. My black and white pages. All right. I'm going to add another two to yours. Okay. Here was a technique from long ago. I'm wondering, I so I pulled this one out of our album too. <laughs> oh, I think I threw all these photos in here. I was gonna try to figure out what to do with these. Okay, this'll take you guys back, right? Remember when we used to do this? <laughs> and I thought, oh, I'll find the negatives. I couldn't find the negatives for these photos. So I may have to just use what I have, these funky cut photos from San Francisco. And um, I don't know if you can see, this was another technique we learned, oh gosh. Um, I think it was late nineties uh, we were circulating, circulating this technique down. Did you, can you guys see it? How you cut a frame around your photo? That was kind of a thing we used to yeah. do. It looks pretty neat. That's kind of cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that idea. I'm just going to move it off of this light blue paper. But it was it was fun. I I think it would be uh, something maybe we should revisit with the new trimmer because we've got that awesome blade housing where we know exactly where it's going to cut. Right. I can't even remember. I did this so long ago how I did it with. I don't know what trimmer we had eons ago. to help us with that. Whoops, sorry. But we'll, um, I mean, you have to be pretty precise, but it is very fun. I might put that down there. And get those up there. And then I think what I need is this little green. Uh, I gotta find that paper. Where is that paper? Here it is. Look at that. Right here. Oh, oh, oh here's a thinner, thinner strip. So I'm just gonna cut a one inch strip. Yeah, I loved working with the travel log. That was one of the first videos I made. Um, my how to scrapbook. I, uh, one of the first, one of the, the early, early versions. And loved using travel log. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
I need my mini tape runner for this. Oh, I don't know where that is. Oh, those were the days. We just spent so much time. Well, you know, some people still do spend a lot of time on pages. We're not saying <coughs> Carrie, anyone <laughs> by name. <laughs> All right, Carrie, you know what? We're going to have to make you show and tell. Have you done your two, two pages? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I did uh, choose some more colors. Dancing? Your dancing border? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got those ready to cut. I haven't cut them yet because I'm working on the title still. Okay. But uh, Julie R. has two more pages done. Way to go, Julie. You know, I, I kid you guys, I kid Carrie a lot. You know, I kid you, right, Carrie? But the main point I want is for you to enjoy the process and have fun. However, whatever that is, especially in a job like you have, you just need time to play. That's what I say. That's just what I say. We could make a title, find kind of a title on this, making it golden. Something about the golden gate, right? Just something silly and fun. Making it golden. Golden roads. I just don't like those cut out pictures, but you know what? That's just what we have to do sometimes, right? Okay. All right. On the road, this could be on the road also. I think this has, uh, maybe that's it. This has to go over here on this side. Mary's got two more pages done. Woohoo! Love it, love it. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Okay. I'm just going to roll with it. And if I find the negatives, I don't know why I couldn't find the negatives on these. I could always update it, but it's already done. There we go. Okay. Um, I think. Yep, I'm changing my mind. This is gonna go over there. And we'll probably 
put another photo here. Or not, maybe we don't even need that photo. Probably just that, keep it simple. Nice big journaling box. Tell that story there. I keep wanting to use this windmill. <laughs> no, it's just not appropriate yet. That's just a cool laser cut though, isn't it? So we'll find we'll find a place for some of these guys. <clears throat> All righty. Pamela's got two more pages. Woohoo! Where are we now, Carrie? Where are we? Where are we? Tell me, tell me. We are two away from 300. <gasps> wow. Wow. <laughs> We are at 200. Sandy just finished two. Oh my goodness. 200, 300. 300. 300? 300. 300. <laughs> Ooh. That is unbelievable, you guys. All right. I'm going to say these two are done now, too. And we're going to make sure that's stuck down and move on to Napa. My pile is getting bigger. I'm liking it. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. This was. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to move all this up. And I think my Christian brothers needs a little face. These are pretty. I haven't seen this design before. It's like the leaves are gray. That's kind of cool. You know, I thought I was going to pull in a lot more from some of these other packs, but I'm I'm actually really kind of just sticking with um you know, the base pages from the Homestead collection, and it's all working. It's working really well. So, oh, look, I already have this cut over here. I think I'll just bring this over, bring some color on here. Okay. Working on that. Bring this up here. I haven't heard my buzzer go off at my. <laughs> <laughs> Still in frame. <laughs> yep, yep. You're you're doing you're doing pretty good. Good, huh? I know. Okay. Sandy asks, have you eaten or drank anything? Yeah, I had my whole lunch. It was delicious. 
my my hubby brought it down and I've got my tea. Thank you. How about you guys? What have you been, what are your favorite things to enjoy? I'm going to pour some more tea while we're talking about it. Carrie, we know had Chinese food. Yes. <laughs> I do have some salted caramel too. <sighs> so milk chocolate. Yum. I'm a chocolate girl. I do, I do love my good chocolate. Yeah, your M&Ms were showing, I think, in the last uh, Friday night scrapbooking. Were they? <laughs> yeah. One of them, yeah. <laughs> My daughter loves, I don't know what it is about. Um, you know, I, I shared on one of my lives, the, uh, the M&Ms that Creative Memory sent me, which were so fun. Uh, when my when I reached 100 on my Creative Memories team, they sent me these really cute M&Ms. And um, my daughter, she loves these. Like, they taste different. You know, they taste different than... Um, I, I think she was saying, like, the shell is not... The shell is not as crispy, maybe, as thick. So they taste good. Probably more like a Canadian Smarty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about what are good um, candies that you can get there that you can't get here. Smarties, and I'm not talking about the Rockets. Coffee Crisp. Mm. Coffee Crisp? Yes. Ooh, Delish. Raisin butter tarts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yum. Ketchup chips. Ketchup. Okay. Oh wait, didn't one of your sons like that? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He got sent a care package from Winnipeg, Manitoba. <laughs> the ketchup chip, right? I kind of remember that. Yep. Yep, it was ketchup chips. So fun. Yeah. Laura Ann has finished 17 total pages. Oh my gosh. Was she holding out on us too? Ah, uh, yeah, I had her down as 11. So she did six more since uh, I last wrote it down. That's awesome. Wow. I'm so proud of you guys. It's so amazing. Um, what were, what were we? Um, oh yeah. Candy. Tell me more candy. Okay. Oh, um, Val is saying pineapple plumps from Australia. Pineapple. Okay. Oh, mm. so Val, what are those amazing cookies? The name is escaping me right now. They're like crispy from Australia. Oh my gosh. I had a, um, I got a care package with some of those and it, oh, they were so good. Oh my goodness. They were kind of like a cookie and a candy all in one. It's almost like, like a Kit Kat here in the U S but better because it was a cookie. Okay. I'm drawing a blank on those names. We don't have any UK here yet, right? I don't think. And Sharon's have, oh, bacon and eggs. Yeah. I love breakfast. Oh, Pam's got another one, the Nemo bars. Get that at M&M's. And uh, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the chocolate M&M's, the store M&M. Oh. Some Glossette oh. raisins. Oh, pineapple lumps are from New Zealand. I'm, I'm like reading the chat. I want to know what all the good stuff is. Um, oh my goodness. What are those cookies Tim called? Tim Tams. Tim Tams, that's it. Tim Tams, thank you. Okay, my mind was just at a blank. Those are so good. Tim Tams. 
Darlene okay. has a total of 12 pages and oh. used a pick a book pocket for the first time. Awesome. Linda likes jujubes, her favorite for scrapbooking. Mm. So fun. I love hearing all those interesting things from other places, right? So fun. Oh, two more for me, Carrie. <clears throat> Moving on to Behringer. We're up in the wineries. So um, I also like, now I think this is just in Northern Ontario, I think, but Joe Louis are fantastic. <laughs> is that a cookie or is that a, what is it's it? It's like a cake. So it's got like red velvet cake. It's covered in milk chocolate and has a, like a, a white cream filling. <laughs> that all sounds wonderful. Yeah, and Schneider's Red Hot Hot Dogs are amazing. Now, now I yeah can't yeah, wait to get my second shot so I can cross the border again so I can go grocery shopping. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> oh, some of that sounds really fun. Well, even at that, my uh, my youngest asked why Ohio doesn't have any any uh, chip stands like French fries. Uh, They're all over Northern Ontario. Oh, really? And it's like, well, we don't have them here, honey. <laughs> it's not a normal thing here. So, you know what is kind of in, in my area, what's really popular right now is boba. Have you guys heard, you know what boba is? Boba? The tapio tea? It's tea. And there's a lot. Um, <laughs> so I down the street from me, there's kind of like a um, an area that um it, uh what am i saying it like a, a a walk street walking kind of area you know where you get out and go to shops and lots of restaurants three boba shops three tea shops within the same little you know one on one side and two on the other side all opened at the same time um all different you know of course different uh companies right but it's big here boba big deal it's good my girls actually um there's a lot of asian supermarkets around where we live too and they love going to the asian supermarkets and shopping for you know just kind of non non food thing types of food that you would find in our you know local grocery store and <clears throat> their last trip they actually bought boba you have to cook it it's a it's a tapioca pearl right so they're they're big anybody like you know <laughs> and then you put it in black tea and you know you can flavor all these different things put milk in it and so forth and they made their own boba and i tried it it was actually pretty good so they're always adventurous like that. It's kind of fun. Let's see what they're up to. No potatoes on the barbecue yet, Carrie, but <laughs> they'll make tapioca pearls. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently potatoes can burn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can see I'm getting really simple. So that's two more pages because for me to finish getting all of these put in, I am going to need to pick up the pace so that I can, um, you know, and then I'll, I'll, I think what I'll do, you know, what'd be kind of fun is to come back and just go, I, I think it's a good process to, you know, you know, if you've already got it all thought out, that's, that's wonderful. But for me, like I need to come back and do the first pass, come back and then look at it and go, okay. So, 
you know, what, what do I see with fresh eyes? What do I see that I can do differently? And sometimes you'll find, you know, those inspiration, inspiration points and find something fun to add or something to do. So this is going to get really simple. Just saying, I think I've over, <laughs> over committed myself. Yeah. You know, I just love scrapbooking. It's so fun. I got to talk about it. I got to, you know, do all the things. We have faith in you. Oh, good. <laughs> We're still talking about food, though. Oh, please do share. So a lot of apparently chip wagons or chip stands, fry stands, whatever you want to call them. They're, they're a little more, they're everywhere else, I think. So Germany has kiosks for them and Holland does too. And then of course, um, some more of the Ontario people. Mm. So they're... There's, there's stands where you just go get French fries, basically. Yes. And oh my word, they're so good. You can, a lot of them have other things too, but the main attraction is the, uh, the fries. Oh, sounds you wonderful. Get, like poutine if you want to as well, which is on fries. And, Okay, that reminds me. having broccoli red pizza for dinner. Okay, that sounds too healthy from what we've just been talking. <laughs> yeah, french fries to broccoli. I, I'm trying to figure out how that broccoli red pizza. You'll have to tell us what that is. Mm -hmm. That one of my favorite um, remembrances, not, not when I went with my family, but when I went as a college student um, to Italy. Wait, no, it was, no, I think it was France where they had, um, like, like you're saying, they have the French fries, but they have the crepe, little crepe, uh, trucks right where they have the round skillet where they cook that in front of you delicious oh my gosh so good that's another yummy yummy thing Hey, I like that gold. So I finally did bring in some of the Boho Escape and it just, boy, doesn't it, it works well with this, this layout with um, the, all those colors from the Getty. This was when we went to the Getty. Another little trip. Actually, Linda's got a point. So Linda says that, that they have something there called New York fries must come from the US. And, uh, you know, I think the only place I've seen New York fries is in Ontario is it's there too. So I don't know, is there New York fries in the US? Is that a brand name? Yeah, yeah, like in the mall food courts. I've never seen New York fries, not out here, but I'm on the other side of the coast their coast um we have had there are a few places like in the mall that popped up the french fry places but not that name not that name sounds delicious you guys sounds delicious out here California, we're we're well known for In-N-Out Burger. Have you guys 
from other parts of the country ever. Sometimes we talk about it on. on I have been to California and I've been to In-N-Out Burger once. Yep. <laughs> that's kind of a, that's kind of a thing, California thing. Actually, so Sandra likes the fries that you get at the fairs in Ohio, sprinkle them with vinegar. Oh. And wow. uh, Kathleen says that the broccoli red pizza is plain cheese pizza with broccoli topping as opposed to a broccoli white pizza with ricotta cheese instead of red sauce. New York, New Jersey has tons of great pizza types. Wow, that sounds amazing, doesn't it? I want, mm, mm. Love it. That sounds fun. So I'm still not hungry yet, but you know, all this food does sound absolutely delicious. Apparently New York fries are a Canadian thing. We now have three provinces that have New York fries and nobody else in the States has heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is really ironic. <laughs> that would be kind of fun to call it New York fries in Canada. <laughs> Right. Okay, Carrie, two more. All right, got it. Walk them and stack them. Okay. So this was, we're finally up to our second trip up to Napa because the first trip actually, John got me a hot air balloon ride for my birthday. Have you guys ever? Anybody here have done a hot air balloon? And when our first trip up to Napa, it was um, too windy. We couldn't take it. We couldn't take the ride. So we had to reschedule. And um, we went back up. So this is the second trip up. And that time, like my next couple of pages, our, our hot air balloon ride, it was really fun. John was a little scared. <laughs> he's he's six, six foot tall. So, you know, his center of gravity is a lot taller than I am. <laughs> like for me, the basket was just fine. Like I did not feel like I was going to fall out of the basket at all. Not so for him he was kind of concerned about falling out of the basket. Diane's asking if you're going to do a flip through at the end. I think you should just kind of like a victory tour. Yeah. Hmm, can't decide how I took that picture. Which way do the grapes grow? <laughs> kind of cool. Um, hmm. And I do feel like I need, I need a journaling place. So I'm gonna need what? Who is gonna tell me? Yes, a peekaboo pocket. I think I'm gonna put it right here. possibly there or I could do maybe I'll do that one do it portrait this way and this one this is an easy one where I'm just gonna we're finally up to four by six prints oh my goodness all those little Little size prints are so hard, so hard to work with. Kathleen says that the Plains Creative Memories Collection has a hot air balloon laser embellishment. Oh, it does. 
Oh, thank you, Kathleen. Okay. I'm going to go grab that. Oh, my next two pages. So fun. I loved, those were some of my favorite, um, the planes, trains, and automobiles. They just, I don't know. I don't think that they got enough airtime or playtime or whatever, but they have some really great pieces in those collections. They kind of, I, I feel like they kind of came and went really fast. I don't know why. I gotta move that down. And now I think there's only a, a few uh, I think there's a paper pack that's still available from one of the collections. And I don't think any of the laser, but Carrie, the lasers are available digitally. And Jenny thinks that I've missed some of your pages. So she's, she says we're going to need a recount. Okay. <laughs> we're keeping up. All right. That's okay. I know. I started getting up, getting on going a little faster, didn't I? I was like, whoosh, whoosh, gotta get these done. It might be, yeah, like I said, it might be just kind of fun to come back and do, you know, a final, what do we call it? Like a finishing touches. Like, here's how to put the finishing touches on your album. We've got all the, the hard work done, we've got all the pictures selected put in the book and then here's finishing touches. Cut those titles, add in little details. Yep, I think that would be fun. Okay. So, <laughs> hot air balloon. Oh yeah. So this one, I'm going to actually, that'll be for journaling. I'll save a spot there. We'll put a journal card and then kind of leave these. Yeah, hot air balloon riding. Oh, that was fun. It was it was fast. It I mean, you know, it didn't we were done quickly, but it was fun. I like that better. I can't believe this is the third one, you guys. Third one. All right, we should <laughs> we should do a tally on how many tapes we've gone through too, right? I told you, how many did I say? I think I said to get six refills. Did I say six or did I? I, I so. I think you said six. Yeah, I was guessing, but you know. Darlene finished two more pages. Woohoo! See, I have some diehards. They're going just as long as I am. How about that? You guys. We're, we're on a mission, right? We're on a mission. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be a nice place for a title up there. Yep. I think if I, if I spent any more time just, you know, contemplating all those little extras, I'd, I'd be here very late. So we'll have to come back and do that. But okay, let's see. Okay. Julie has two more finished and on the third tape refill. 
That's where I am. Oh, yeah. You were shortchanged. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're up yep. to 324. Woo Look at that. That feels good, huh, you guys? Look at all those pages done. Yay. Okay. And, you know, yeah, I know it's not 100%, but I get it. We'll get it. We'll get there. Okay. So here's the balloon ride. So much fun. I'm going to have to go grab the embellishments that go with this. Okay. I know right where that collection is. So. <clears throat> And that finished two more. Oh, wow. And Linda asked, do a lot of people use representable for everything now and not bother with the other tape runners? I, I kind of think that is the, tr the way it's going now, right? I know I do. And, you know, occasionally I'll use the, um, the regular. Oh, look. Cute. So Judy is here and she's saying, what time did you start scrapping? I think that's almost five hours ago, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Has it been? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been. So we Julie says hi. Hi. Judy. Hi. I can't talk today. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Anita has four more and Jane has two more. Woohoo, you guys. Judy, wait till you hear how many pages. Carrie, what what are what, what are we at? I know you just said. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it up with these last minute additions and I will let you know. Okay. It's so exciting to hear. I think there's another die cut. Oh, here it is. Wait. Oh my goodness. Look at, let's go on an adventure and oh, good call. Good call. Look at how cute that is. That's adorable. These would be cute. These would be cute to add in um, on some of the travel pages. So thank you for reminding me about these. Remember all these guys? So much fun. I'm, I just love lasers. Yeah. Yeah. That collection, it works well with Homestead. <clears throat> right? The colors really just all blend beautifully with Homestead. So, <clears throat> so this is one I'm going to need a, a big peekaboo pocket to add in more photos for sure. All right. So Annette had, uh, sorry, Anita had four more. Jane had two with journaling. Terry has two more. Kathleen has two more as well. So that brings us to a grand total of 336. Ah, that's so exciting. Okay, we're going to hit 500. Right, you guys? We're going to hit 500? Yeah. Say yes with me. Yes, yes, Lauren. We're going to hit 500. We're going to do it. Look at that picture. Oh my gosh. 
those memories. Woo. Yeah. Here's John not feeling too comfortable <laughs> in the basket, right? Uh, am I really going up in that thing? <laughs> okay. All right, Sue has gone through and added eight more. Wow, wonderful, Sue. Okay, so this is another six by 12 peekaboo pocket edition. We're gonna have to get, you know, this one actually might be a double peekaboo pocket layout so that I can get all these great photos on here. We're gonna do a kind of a, a double, one on each side. We're going to have one flip out on that side and one flip out on that side. I think this green is the way to go on those. Oh, food is always so much fun to talk about, you guys. Thank you for entertaining me with your food stories. Oh, so much fun. So Angela says she just got back from her son's birthday dinner and she's building a fire for s'mores. I think she needs the s'mores collection. Oh, fun. That's right. 13, I think she said. 13th birthday. Very fun. So Karen is up to 34. And Judy says for me to tell you that your book is beautiful. Oh, thank you, Judy. So fun, so fun to see it coming together. Okay, got lots of Lots of real estate. So I'm going to do a two page bringing the green on both peekaboo pockets, kind of balancing that out. And then it's going to give me all the outside of the pockets and then also the inside for photos, which is going to be really fun. So Jane's got two more layouts done with journaling. That brings us to 353. Woo! Wow. I am so impressed. I'm so impressed. Wow, I have a lot of balloon pictures. I didn't realize how many I had. So many balloon pictures. Okay, these are gonna go. Here. So 
Judy asks, is Lauren using fab pages as well as designing her own pages? Yes, both. So some of them, um, if you catch the replay, you'll see I built my own pages kind of intermingled into some of the fast to fab but I'm still pretty much keeping with the Homestead collection as uh, the design background for the whole album. Okay, so we've got that side. Now we've got to do this side. And this one, I'm just going to really load up with photos. So I get a lot of this story in here. This is kind of reminding me of how I did um, the Grand Canyon. There were just so many pictures and I just, I didn't want to let any of them not go in the album, right? And when you're like that, you, you can use these peekaboo pockets, right? And I've got two on the front and this is gonna, I'm gonna put three on the back. So that's five photos just for the peekaboo pocket. Then I've got underneath the peekaboo pocket and then I've got to the side of the peekaboo pocket. So it really does help um, those layouts when you have a lot of photos. Because it's like each photo just to me tells a little bit different story of our journey in the air. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure they're all there. Okay, so we had, these were the gift certificates. So if any, we'll have to see how I'm going to work those in, but these are more important for sure, getting the photos. We got that little hot air balloon die cut, so cute. Adding that in. We'll see, maybe we'll add that. Let me get these down. Karen must be like having some good music and just be, you know, she's, I could just see, she's probably just in her room, like rocking out to music and just going crazy, getting those pages done. <laughs> that is just so unbelievable. I love it. I love it. Love how many pages she has done. Actually, you guys are neck and neck. Both of you are at 34. Oh, oh. Okay, and I don't even, I don't have music, but isn't it fun? Do you guys like, when you scrap, oh, let's have a music conversation. Would you, do you prefer, which do you prefer? Do you prefer to scrap with music, with like lyrical music or with, you know, like non-lyric, you know, with like sing-along? <laughs> do you guys like to sing along? when you scrapbook or do you like it quiet or do you like, you know, balanced background music? Tell me, curious. Carrie, what about you? Music. I am, I like the music and because we lived so far from family when I was growing up, we listened to a lot of it. So my kids wonder if there's Songs that I don't know the words to. <laughs> <laughs> so I, tech, I I usually go with the music. And if it's just me and people that I know, I will belt it out. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh, I like the way that came out. I like that. Yeah, if I'm down here by myself, I, I will sing along. 
sometimes it's funny. Like sometimes I'm in the mood. Sometimes I'm in the mood to hear. Um, you know, hear other people's words and music. And I think like when I'm organizing, I prefer, I prefer music to kind of, you know, get me energized when I'm organizing. But sometimes when I'm scrapbooking, you know, I could take it or leave it. So we have 70s rock, we have Michael Buble, we have music. Mary is likes the quiet. Mary likes the quiet, okay. Julie does, using her Amazon device, I won't say it because mine will go nuts. She does music, YouTube, Netflix, and everything. Uh -huh. And sometimes she just video calls. And Kim likes to put on YouTube, so she likes to feel like she's scrapbooking with you. Kelly watches uh, something from her DVR and Carrie likes 90s music, born in the 80s, raised in the 90s. And Sandy does sing-alongs. Euphemy likes listening to 80s and hair bands. <laughs> oh my gosh, my gosh. I love it, you guys. Yep, I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. So fun. Yeah, I think we're just in so, so fortunate to have all of it at accessible for us, right? Like whatever you wanna listen to, you can listen to whatever you're in the mood for, uh, you know, you can find and enjoy and sing along, not sing along, have quiet, watch movies, whatever, whatever works for you guys. So fun. Yeah, we've got uh, music, some sing alongs, Netflix or sports, the oldies, 50s and 60s. I'm right there with you, Jenny. Uh, Diane likes contemporary Christian music, and Kathleen is a 70s girl. All right. Yeah. So, so fun to hear all that, right? So many, so many choices we have. Okay, so I just made a decision and these guys are going here and the photo is the trigger for the story. So, um, just like I told the story to you guys with John and how he felt in the basket and so forth, that photo is going to be kind of the trigger for my story, which is going to go under here. And um, so I'm going to have a nice big area to journal and talk all about this hot air balloon ride. But start out with this picture because he so funny. The face says it all, right? <laughs> the face says it all. So there's the front. I, have, I don't typically do an overlap, but because I have other photos, um, I kind of, I, I actually think that's, that works with this face. Doing kind of a layered look. I'm breaking some of my rules today, right? <laughs> That's okay. Tilting a photo, <gasps> layering. There's no top. rules in scrapbooking. There's no rules. Exactly. There's just 
fun. That's all. Okay, so this one is going to go down on this side. So Mona made it and says hi. Hi, Mona. Okay, welcome, welcome. See, we're still going. We are still going. I, I had big expectations for myself. Now we're in reality. We've done the reality check. And uh, we're still going. We're still going, but having fun. So I'm doing, I, I'm really, Carrie, I love this little, look, it's like a little gatefold. Woo! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's so fun. You guys are going to have to try it. Uh, new, new peekaboo. Just remember when you're, when you're putting peekaboos on this way. Um, and Julie Anderson has made her arrival. Julie, did you have a good sleep, Julie, my friend? I hope. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm glad. See, we're still at it and we're still enjoying the company. I know some people have to come and go as you need. We're scrapbooking in the comfort of 102 of our favorite friends. Oh. That's so sweet. Love it. And now you got, some of you guys got to see each other's faces this morning. Did you enjoy the Zoom? I hope you enjoyed it. I, I loved the Zoom. I thought that was so much fun. So I hope you all did too. I really enjoyed seeing everybody's face. Hearing, hearing a little bit. We had people all over, right? <laughs> so Laura Ann said, if I include pages I had to redo because the staple was on the wrong side, I've completed another additional eight pages. Otherwise, I finished another six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel for you. I understand. <laughs> Terry's done four more pages. Awesome. Terry's whipping through, whipping through. Well, there's a couple Terry's. Oh, okay. Okay. So, well, but they're both Terry. <laughs> and Kathy says that she loved the Zoom. Good. I did too. That was fun. So I think for now, I'm going to tuck in the certificates underneath there because I do have this whole space to do my journaling. And um, oh, I found another photo. Oh, oh, I found a couple photos. Hello. I was telling them, hun, I was telling them the story about the hot air balloon ride. Oh. And the photo of your face. <laughs> you were a little, little scared because the basket right the mm. basket was really low low for you <laughs> yeah it was fine for me you can see i'm a shorty but yeah yeah you remember oh, you yeah. remember <laughs> so yep more goodies i got a box of goodies today Okay, I just thought of something kind of fun I'm going to try doing is making a little pocket out of a photo and then just, I think I'll just slide the certificates in and, and tucked in. So actually, I'm just going to adhere the edges. So I'm going to go to the regular adhesive for that and just go along the edges. and kind of make a, a pocket out of this photo. Just something fun to try. That works. I, I also just 
Boy, I had a lot of photos. I probably could have done a two page spread with this pretty easily, pretty easily, but um, we're making it work. So I'm gonna get this in right here. So now I've got adhesive on three sides. So I have this little pocket and I'm just gonna tuck those certificates right in there. Why not? Something new to try, huh? What do you think? It's kind of fun. So if we wanted to get, you know, and, and pull those out, we could. Okay, and then I've got this nice area for journaling. And I don't know if I'll, I'll actually, I think I have one extra picture. I kind of like those better. So we don't need that one. We can tell the story without it. Okay, count me up for two more, Carrie. There we go. You got it. Thank you. Oh dear, San Francisco. Here we are again, back in the bay. Here's that photo that I did on the cover. So we'll see if I have room for it. I think I have room. I think I should have room. I'll add it in here. And I know this was after our balloon ride because they gave us a little pin, a little enamel pin. I wish I knew where that was, that little enamel pin. And it was a little balloon. So cute. Sailing. Oh, do we have any, any sailing fans in the group? Oh, I can tell you a story about sailing. I, I love sailing. That is that's so exhilarating. And how about this? This is, this is probably what you can only hear from <laughs> Southern California. Um, I, the, I went to Pepperdine. That was the undergrad school I went to for my degree. And um, I was, so, you know, for undergrad, you have, there's certain uh, PE classes you have to take, right? And I was like, oh, do I have to take PE? You know, you just get done with high school and you're like, oh, I don't want to take any more PE classes. And then I started looking at the roster. Well, you guys know where this is going because we started by sailing, right? And I'm like, sailing? Sailing for a PE class? Oh, yeah, sign me up. <laughs> because uh, Pepperdine was not very far from Marina Del Rey, if you've ever heard of Marina Del Rey. And that's um, where uh, a lot of people keep their, their sailboats. And that was one of, well, it probably was the funnest. No, I, I take that back. One of the funnest PE classes I took in college. The second funnest was um, equestrian. I, I did a year, uh, the year in Europe program and I spent the summer in London and, and I took my, my other PE class, which was equestrian <laughs> in Hyde Park in London. So I have to say, those are probably some of the highlights from, uh, you know, college PE classes. Can do you guys have any stories like that where completely unexpected sailing? Now I have to say there was a lot to learn. That was very tedious to learn about boats before we actually got to go sailing. But then you know, half the class, the latter half of the class, we actually got out on the boats and, oh, that was so fun. That was such a fun time. Kind of cute right there. Um, so you guys tell me, did you ever, did you have any fun, fun little outings? That was, that was definitely a highlight, I think for me. Mary finished two pages. 
Julie said she went to engineering school. They didn't have PE. Somehow they didn't want math nerds to try to exercise. <laughs> and Kelly H has 14 pages done. And Margarita says that you need to use the horse punch for an equestrian class. I know. When I get, I've got to get, that's another album. I could have picked album in a day. I could have picked um, my, my year in Europe, you know, oh, that was a fun, that was fun. I could have done that. Um, but I also, I, I felt called to do this album too, so. No, that horse punch. Oh my gosh. People have gone crazy. <laughs> I know I have a bunch. I, I know we have advisors. Have you guys seen the advisors um, who've posted? They turned it into a unicorn. Oh, so cute. And a carousel, a carousel horse, right? Carrie, have you seen those? There's like this whole subculture of people who yeah, and I think there was a, a horse punch from a while back and they're replacing the heads on, switching the heads on them. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't, I don't remember what that one was about, but yeah, they're doing quite a few creative things. Yeah, kind of like what that new, um, new product, right? The new product, the new punch, those three kind of, oh my gosh, those look like fun. They, they look more on the craft side, but oh, don't they look fun to make all those little cute um, characters? Those look yeah, like punching the eyes. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I have, a, I have a stash of small googly eyes I like to stick on things. <laughs> yep. All right, what about the new product? Talking about the new product. What do you think about that punch? That's the first thing going in my basket, that punch. Did you see the pages in the virtual crop? Um, someone, one of the gals did with that punch and then everybody went crazy and was like, where's that punch from? It was with, I think with cherry blossoms. Oh, it was a very pretty page. So we're going to see a lot of examples using um, using that. That'll be fun. Margarita is going to make zebras out of the pun the horse punch, and Diane says she needs all the punches. Yes, <laughs> Diane, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I think there's like, how many did I text you, Diane? Diane's been a trooper. She's been trying to help me find, like, I think there's three that I'm still wishing for. I'll just say that. I'm still wishing someday, someday. Um, and they're just, they're just hard to find. So Val has two pages done for the UK. All right. Oh, awesome. We've got the UK. I love it. I love it. What, what part of um, the UK are you from, Val? Let us know. Let us know. OK. And Sherry just wants the barbed wire punch. And Aww. Julie loves the horse punch. Yes. I'm with you. Bring it on. And Julie hopes that you can think of something for the barbed wire BMC. Yeah. There's some pretty cute borders already with it. Have you guys seen those? Ooh, yeah. Um, we'll have to pull it. There were a couple on um, the blog. Kim has finished her first two pages. 
she got them done in one and a half hours and she's having a ton of fun. Oh, awesome. That's great. Oh, I can't wait to hear our numbers, Ju um, Carrie. <laughs> Julie must be on my mind. Julie. So Val's from Gloucestershire, two hours west of London near the Welsh border. Oh, wonderful. So equestrian riding in Hyde Park. Ah, oh, that was a highlight. That was a highlight. I loved it. I loved, I love London. I love England. I love, okay, let's talk TV. <laughs> what, I love I love British crime dramas. I don't know what it is about it. I love British crime dramas. I think it's because they're slow burn, right? They don't give it all up in the in in a one and done episode. They really take the time to develop the story. I just I love British crime dramas. And uh, those are some of my favorite. I can't get enough of them. The problem is, I watch them and then I run out of things to watch. <laughs> I don't watch them anymore. So what do you guys like to watch? Carrie, what do you like to watch when it comes to TV? I honestly haven't watched TV and I think I may have watched two episodes of ghost hunting shows this year. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't get a chance to watch TV. Um, but what's funny is that we have more conversations going on the, on the chat. Margarita says, I don't know what I would use the barbed wire BMC for ideas. And Julie responded, me neither, Margarita, but I still had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life. I don't know either, but I want it because when it's gone, I'm going to want it even more, right? <laughs> Um, there were some cute posts from the blog. Just saying. Actually, I don't think I'm going to use that one. Uh, for the a border. You know how I love my borders, you guys. So it was a border. And they, they went crossways, the barbed wire. I think it's, it's kind of a textural to me, that is a, a textural punch, right? Yeah, it goes really well with the horse and, you know, cowboys and all that, but it's also, I think, a neat texture just to add. So I know people are going to come up with some fun, fun ways to use it. All right. So some of the shows are coming in. Uh, hmm. Darlene me. says she's in scrappy London right now. And Julie R says that she watches too many British panel shows. <laughs> and Euphemie likes Downton Abbey. Oh, yeah. We're talking British here. Uh huh. It's British, yeah. And uh, Jenny likes BBC dramas. And Val likes Downton Abbey, too. Mm -hmm. I guess I need to watch Downton Abbey. It's, it's such a great show. How about the crown? Did you guys like that one too? That was that was excellent. Um, I haven't watched the latest uh, F, uh, series, but that was that was definitely. I don't know why. I guess I'm kind of just drawn more to. I, I love suspense, you know. So when I'm done working or crafting or doing something I just I don't know it takes me maybe because it just takes me somewhere totally unrealistic right I guess in a way you could say so it's just kind of fun to go into another world those are the kind of shows I like just go into another world So many to choose from. Those are great, great shows. Okay, Carrie. Ta-da! 
So Cassie, I think I already mentioned she finished four more pages, but in case I didn't, she finished four more pages. And Ooh. Jane finished two more, and it looks like you finished two more, right? Yes. All right, let me get you up to 38. Is that the, how many pages are in the album? Um, well, these are two page spreads, right? So I'm actually one, two, three, Well, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 pages. So nice. Okay. Right. So I've got at least that. <laughs> we might have to, I don't know, you guys. Okay. I, I'm, I'm feeling I overcommitted myself, but we might have, well, we'll see. We'll see how I get going. I don't know if I'm going to finish. Are you in for it, Carrie? <laughs> I'm laying out my mat to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I have my pictures chosen. <sighs> All right, so we've got a couple more people watching The Crown, some more Downton Abbey. Um, Julie R is going to go a convention for Supernatural. Oh, Julie. And okay. Pam is watching Discovery of Witches, and Val is saying the new hot watch is Bridgerton. Oh, I absolutely adored that. Mm -hmm. And Sandy finished two more pages. Woo! Wow. Awesome, you guys. That's so fun. So, um... My daughter, my daughter, my oldest was a huge, huge supernatural fan. And you know, they go, they tour around. So what she wanted for, I think it was either Christmas or her birthday was a pic picture with Castiel. And um, so we waited, you know, we went to the, when they came to town, we, we, um, we saw them, we waited in line and, uh, that was her, her present. You should have seen the smile on that girl's face when she got a hold, you know, it was a huge line to go up and, um, and meet these stars of the show. Right. But, um, that was, that was a highlight, <laughs> highlight of the day get her picture with Castiel. So fun. What a trooper. Love that green. This green goes perfectly. This was kind of Thanksgiving. Just adding these blocks of color. These are again, just from the power blocks cut cutting guide, just miscellaneous sizes and and they just add that little extra pop of color on a page i think it looks good oh, so fun so fun One of the shows I just um, finished, I, I, you know, like I said, I, I sometimes just need to veg out and, you know, take my mind off of everything. So one of the shows I found that I had not known about um, was, uh, it's called The Split. And the reason I started watching it, it was, it was kind of a wow, you know, makes you think kind of show. But uh, Nicola Walker is in it. And she's one of my favorite 
actors like her. She's very good. And uh, so she's the main main character in it. But it's so it's such a different role from for her from what I'm used to seeing her in. Um, it was really, really good. But it was all about divorce law, lo divorce lawyers. So I don't know if anybody else has seen it. It's very interesting. I thought it was very interesting. And again, one of those were they don't give everything away in one episode, right? So it, the storyline, it's a longer storyline. And it's recent. It was, I think there's two seasons and the last one just finished. I don't know if they're bringing it back or not. Interesting. Kind of a little sad, but also interesting. Okay, so I need to find a place for the story for these. So I'm going to make a nice big spot down here. Save a little room up top. Maybe we'll do, this would be a fun Thanksgiving title here. And then I've got this nice big space for journaling. So here's a thought I had about repositionable. You know, I think for me, like going through this process right now, getting a lot of the work done, getting these pictures in the album. Uh, for the second pass, right? If I want to come back and do add more pictures, that's what's so great about having the repositionable. Like if I wanted to, you know, tuck a border underneath or add some embellishments, just being able to lift that up and not have to rip through pages. That's one thing I like about using the repositionable, like when you go back to add, I guess that would be another, another perk. Um, but if you're kind of finishing everything up all at once, you know, you can mix it up. Use the repo on delicate stuff, but you know, if you're getting things down where they need to go, then you can use your permanent. We're getting through some of these. Oh, it's like, wait a minute, that doesn't go with that. This goes with that. Cute little. Maybe we'll add a little bit of a, since we can talk a little bit about Thanksgiving there. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just keep it simple with a, a ruled box. Mm -hmm. that's a possibility might just need to do dot grid oh yeah i think or ruled ruled paper for a bit of a journaling box i think i need i need something to go in like that that's what i need so i may just have to custom cut do a custom cut. Oh, something here. There we go. For journaling. So do love my repo. And same for journaling. Like if you make a mistake and you have to pull the journaling box up. Easy enough to do. Okay. 
there's that. I think we finished. Um, hmm. This was Christmas. So our first year we had the most photos and it was just so odd when I went through to grab other photos from the, the next two years. I think I mentioned this. It was, it was like, wow, we've got, you know, we did all this our first year. And then the second two years, both of those years fit, you know, are less than the first year. So interesting, interesting just to kind of remember how, how things were way back then. I got you down for two and I got Julie down for two more as well. Working it, working it, working it, you guys love it. Okay, so this one. Make these kind of tell the story from the photos. And then over here, we're the friends. Okay, I think I've got, these are back to tiny little pictures. I don't know, I just don't like using them as much. Just don't. I think I'm gonna cut this a little bit more, this is. Here we go, that's better. When personal trimmer helps you out. Actually, yeah, do we need to see? We can just do this too. These were college buddies. We kind of just had a little friendship Christmas with them. That was fun. Okay, those are the same. Actually, let's do. I'm gonna cut this one. So Serena had one more and Darlene had two more pages and Julie asks you, do you scan all old pre-digital photos before scrapping? Um, no, well, these I actually, I had the negatives too, right? So for me, I think if you have the negatives, you don't need to worry about scanning before you put your, your photos in, right? Because you've got, you've got the negatives to help you out with that. Um, if you don't have the negatives, you know, yeah, I guess it would be easier to put, run these through the scanner if you just have prints. So maybe in that case, yeah, I would say to run it. I, I don't know. I, I feel like part of, part of what I want to do is at some point, you know, have my entire, I, I, at some point I would like my entire um, photo library to be digital, right? And I guess the way to do that is <clears throat> by scanning. So yeah, we had a little chat about film scanners a bit a while ago. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> fun process to have to learn about. All right, so um, Darlene, I mentioned had two more pages. Debbie has three finished pages and Sue now has a grand total of 36 pages. So do you know what that means? 
We have 413 pages. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You know what? You know what? I think, Carrie, we're going to have to just do, remember? I don't know if you remember. We had a use, we had a terminology way back way back we had this this terminology it was called crop crop till you do you remember crop till you drop <laughs> that's what we used to call them you got to come and crop till you drop so maybe that's just what we got to do today is crop till we drop we're going to keep going i i don't know it's exciting hearing everybody share all their pages. Although I'm going to have to run to the little girl's room very soon. So if we are going to crop till we drop, I'm going to have to go take care of some business and then maybe refresh my ice for my tea and then come back and we're gonna keep going. How does that sound? We'll, we'll just keep it rolling. We'll, we'll just go till we drop. My son brought me apparently the last Twinkie, so I feel loved. Oh, <laughs> all that talk about all those yummy things, huh? You know you're loved when you're given the last Twinkie. Absolutely. So that's some good old U.S. Uh, Twinkies, Ding Dongs. That reminds me of my junior high days. I don't know why. Maybe because back then you could get those in the food lines. You know, there's a big health push for our, our kids nowadays. But back then... You could get Twinkies and Ding Dongs <laughs> for lunch, right? And enjoy it. All right. Someone with the name of Public Defender finished 18 pages. And uh, Mona says she was wondering if you had taken a break in the last seven hours. You better go or risk an accident. <laughs> No more laughing for me. I know. I'm going to go. As soon as I'm done with this one, I'm so close. Let me just finish this up. And I will definitely go take a break. So I think what I'm going to do here is leave this nice big space right here for the drill box. And I thought this might be kind of some that might be too much there. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the round shape. So Jenny was asking what a Twinkie was, and it's like I would show if you did, I would show you if I didn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that makes me have Twinkie and Ding Dong, right? What else? <laughs> what, what were those those fuzzy coconut ones called? What were those? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> those weren't ho hos, were they? There was something like snowballs. I think they were called snowballs. <laughs> Oh, so some people are dropping. Okay. We've been going a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand. You all do. You can always come back and rewatch the stream. Um, whenever you feel like it. Whenever you feel like having some company.
Yeah, people are saying it snowballs. Snowballs. Okay. Now Jenny's asking, what the heck is a ding dong? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I know. And we might still have some of those left. <laughs> But no Twinkies. Sorry, I can't see what a Twinkie is. All right, Carrie, I'm going to have to run, but I'll be back because I just finished. Oh, I'm going to have to up you to another couple. You're up to 42. Woohoo! All right. Well, then what I will do then is switch to my camera. You have all the controls. You should have all the controls, Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got it to the right camera start my video all right i don't know do i have both of us now you should be able to um pin too i like a spotlight for everyone were you able to do that oh look not, at you. not sure maybe i let me see uh, my camera's frozen again figures <laughs> Let me go and freeze my camera. You're going to see a blink. I think the Mevo does that. Yeah. That is the current. <laughs> I see you're talking about the messages. Yes. Yeah. One thing, though, is I miscalculated my uh, my green text here, so I'm going to have to recut that part. But at least I cut my borders, right? Oh, fun. You okay. go do what you need to do, and I will cut the edges off of my border. Because like I mentioned earlier, the, um, the, the cutters don't go all the way to the edge. So you can see here, if I can get directionally done here, that there's probably uh, maybe a quarter of an inch on either side. So to help this border come out, I'm actually going to take some scissors and trim to where the cut line ended. So of course I'm reaching over a camera here, so pardon me. So I'm gonna cut here and cut there. So this is just releasing that paper. Oop, I already cut that one. Oh, I missed there. Oh, no, I guess I kind of got it. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to need to do the same thing to the other side because, oh, no, I don't. This one actually cut all the way to the end. I must have must have shifted it when I loaded my mat a little bit. So I thought it was closer to um, an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch on either side. But now that I cut those out, I should be able just to pull this up. So... And of course, I've got let me make sure. Oh, I don't want to rip her leg off. So that was probably a good thing. I stopped to take a look before I tugged. So I am pulling up this border very slowly. There's got a lot of little details in it. So I want to be careful because the way that they're hanging on to the border, if you remember, was just by... Um, me connecting it with that ground that I put that wave cut on many, many hours ago. <laughs> yes, it took me this long. So here's a 12 inch border now that is cut from my paper. So I guess it'll probably be easier to show you if I put it on my actual page. So I'm gonna pull this the right way and See if I can get this into, there we go. So there's a full 12 inch border now cut on the Silhouette Cameo. 
So now I have a two page spread, so I'm actually going to pull the second one up too. So let me go ahead and do that. And try not to rip any legs off again. I started yanking on that one on that first border. <laughs> and I thought for sure, oof, that's not gonna end well if I pull her leg off right now. But mind you, nothing a little glue can't solve. It is paper at the end of the day. So there is two of them now. We could, uh, we could totally have done that in two different colors and did like Lauren's shifting technique, right? <laughs> so Ruthie, yes, I actually designed this inside of Silhouette Studio. So I started out, I have my pictures chosen and it's going to be a two page spread. And I think I have something like 18 pictures. Was there 18? I don't know, I'll have to count it again. There's a lot of pictures but I wanted to design a title. Now I kind of did a mistake, so you can see I, I make mistakes too. So here's my, uh, my mat and you'll notice that I didn't make it long enough. So I probably measured it and forgot immediately um, how big that was. And actually I need to show something with letters. I don't know if I'm backwards. You guys are going to have to tell me. So I'm grabbing something. Is this text forward or backward? Let me know. <laughs> um, okay, Kimberly, you said uh, you're looking to purchase a cutting system. Do you recommend Silhouette 2? Well, I think they're at Silhouette 4. So the one I have right next to me is a Silhouette 4, but I do have a Silhouette 2. Um, those one, that one's getting a little old, so I would recommend just for, you know, future proofing and drivers and things like that, that you go with the Cameo, the Silhouette Cameo 4. All right, so this, I can use that background, and um, this is the same font that Ant Antonelli, oh, I'm good. Woohoo, thank you. Thank you for telling me I wasn't backwards. I was backwards a little earlier today in my screen sharing. So I wanted to make sure that uh, things were coming out the right way. Now, I don't recommend taking it off the mat in this way because you can bend it. So I have, I have other things to do that, but I only have two hands, but yeah. Let's see if I can get this layered. So what I did was I created a script font here and then I'm going to layer it. So the title for this two page spread is can I have this dance for the rest of my life. So I am working on an album for my parents 50th anniversary and this is actually the couples dance where all of um, the people that were there as a couple got up and danced. So I have quite a few pictures of that. So that is why I named it this way. And I was off screen again. <laughs> I'm not used to crafting on screen. Ah. So do use tweezers. Don't use your fingers. Um, so Laura Ann asks, um, I know you and Lauren were talking early about CM elements. Do they download as SVG files or can you use for designs? So Laura Ann, you'd actually bring them in as graphics. So they are PNG files, but very easy to trace um, using Cricut Design Space. So you're good. All right, so I am going to pull this off now. No, all right, which one was the eye? Oh, there's the eye. Okay, so what I need to do now is go back and because I cut off the bottom of this, I need to actually go back and cut 
my my green paper and just the green section for the my life. So those were the only two parts that I cut off. So I'm going to switch to my screen sharing. And that's probably not the right one. But I will go and share this one. Okay. And of course, it's not showing updated here. So I'm going to stop share and try this again. Sometimes Zoom gives me a little bit of problems. So I am going to try sharing again. And I want this screen and share. Hmm. Okay, that looks better now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting confused because I'm looking at YouTube at the same time. All right, so what I'm going to do is because I've actually cut a lot of this stuff out, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to take out the stuff that cut right. So I'm going to take that out and take these out and take these out and that out and that out. And then I only need to cut my life now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I cut a piece of cardstock large enough for this. So this is one, two by one, two, three, four, five. So I need a two by five piece of that cardstock, which I need to actually search for because I think I used a scrap on this. So, but that's fine. And then, of course, I need to clean my mat as well. And then on my second page, one that I haven't done yet, I've actually got a, a print and cut. So instead of actually spending all the time in, you know, welding different individual letters, I've just gone ahead and I've created a print and cut. And I use the pattern paper, and this is the Little Dreamer collection, the same collection that I'm using for the album. And I have it saying, could I have... And then this dances in that cursive for the wrist of, and then my life is uh, in the cursive as well. So I'm just going to print those out and this will print and cut. And as you can see, I'm using some of the little dreamer pattern paper behind it. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see here. I think I do do do. I'm trying to see if I missed it. So what, what font did you end up using for uh, this dance? Oh, I, it was that Antonelli again. Okay. <laughs> it's always it's either it. that one or authentic is usually the two scripts are my go-tos. Those are my favorites. Ah, Nan Nancy finished her second page. Woohoo! That's what I was looking for. All right. I'm going to switch it back to you because I got to go in search of cardstock. Okay. And Carol's... Carol, are you leaving? Just sent the order to the photo processor. Oh, good. Oh, yes, I know. The scanned, scanning is a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Okay. Are you sending, let me see. I might have to, um, what do I have to do? Do I have to remove a spotlight somewhere? <laughs> I think I already did that. Did you? Okay. Okay. I just don't know why it's still showing that my screen is sharing because I'm definitely not. There we go. I spotlighted my, my table now. <laughs> okay. How are we doing, everybody? Yay! Page is done. We're getting negative scanned. We're getting photo folders organized. Woo! Well, Jane's going to bed and... Yeah, good night, Jane. Okay. okay. I'll be here so for you tomorrow, good. the next day, and the next day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, keep going. You can keep doing it. And Debbie, did you say Debbie had to go too? Yep, Debbie had to go. Yes. National Scrapbook Day. So fun. We're definitely making it count. Yeah.
Yeah. Well, you know, we'll do some other fun stuff, you know, crafty stuff too, but um, yeah, I just, I just really wanted to make this <clears throat> a day where we, we did more than just worked on, you know, a, a few cut, a few um, layouts or borders, you know, border designs and really get down to the nitty gritty, getting, getting our album finished. Okay, I am looking for a five by seven peekaboo pocket. There we go. No, that's not gonna work. That's not what I need. I think this was such a cute little postcard, but John wrote on it. So I think I need a four by six. That's what I need for the black bears. Oh, isn't that cute? Postcards fit perfectly in the peekaboo pockets. Well, some postcards. <laughs> so that's, that's fun. That's a fun little. Little addition there. Okay, so I'm just gonna add in. <clears throat> this was when we were together but apart where I did some business trips and John had scheduled a uh, well Jenny says that with people saying good night it sounds like we're in the Waltons so is John John boy and Mary <laughs> Ellen and grandma and grandpa <laughs> <laughs> yeah we probably have some night owls like myself though too right carrie are you oh, probably you just i've been up since four o'clock this morning so that would have been one o'clock your morning <laughs> not on purpose my dog had to go out because my husband got up <laughs> yeah yeah okay well whenever you need to go you just let me know because You've been awesome here today, helping us out. Oh, I'm good. I, I just need to find my my green minty cardstock that I had. Mm. And I may or may not have cried cutting into another full piece of cloud cardstock. <laughs> because we can't get it anymore. Isn't that the one? We can't get? Yeah, that's the one you can't get anymore. Oh, Carrie. Well, might have to send you a little care package. I think I've got some, a few, a few sheets of that left. Actually, I've, I've got a whole extra unopened package. Oh. But oh, it doesn't mean it's any less precious. Right. <laughs> I get it. I know some colors. Well, you never know, right? They brought back cranberry. So how about that? I was kind of not thinking we'd see cranberry again, but now we have it. The field has spoken. And that's so true, right? You guys with, if you want something, the more you email, how does the email go? Uh, Customer service at creativememories.com. No. Product suggestion. Product suggestion? I think it's product suggestion. And you you let them know what, what products you want to have come back. What I heard, what I heard is that they collect all those emails and they stack them up on Sherry uh, Reland's desk. And they go through them and they go, oh, okay. So we have so many requests for cranberry cardstock, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, so they do count, they do tally. And that's why I say, if, you know, if you are serious about trying to get something, the more of us that can say, we want something, the better. Well, at least that's what I've heard the way it goes possibility. 
So your voice matters. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> What did I just do with, oh, here it is. Left elbow, Lauren, left elbow. What's my left, my left elbow? You said, where did that go? Where is it? <laughs> left <laughs> elbow. <laughs> yep. So I've got this nice little space to journal. I've got a nice little space here for a title. And then um, can move on over here. Where I was able to Go visit some friends and take a, and this was a business trip. So pop these in there. We're all asking what that address was again. I think it was product suggestions at creativememories.com. I think it was, I think it is product suggestions. I'll have to, I'll have to look that up. Oh, I missed uh, Scrapper Mav has 17 pages so far. Almost done with marching band. Still have to journal, but at least the pictures are in the album. Edita, that is amazing. Amazing. That's awesome. I, oh, wow. Your daughter's going to be, I think she'll look forward to seeing that book put all together. It's good for the kids, right? Woohoo! I think Edita must have been saving up too. Yeah, I think I added like, uh, I think 10. Okay. Woohoo! And Sandy has another double page spread done. heard from Karen. Is Karen still busy? She's probably going to go, oh, just add 50. <laughs> it seems like that way, huh? <laughs> add a five zero to my stack. She's we're at 446. Oh, we're going to get to 500. I can feel it. I can feel it, you guys. That's exciting. So I know I still have, a, I have a lot, but you know, journaling, I definitely, I've got to come back, got to come back and do that. But it does feel good even just to get this far. It really does. It feels so good. I'm looking for a pretty border strip to go maybe along this side. Ooh, that blue is pretty. I think I'm gonna use that one. Yeah, I'll just plop it right down, right down. This would be a pretty cut file to do in different things. Like that. Oh yeah, that one's there. Oh, I wasn't on mute. So you probably heard me rifling through my picker. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> actually good Carrie not to worry <laughs> going on at all <laughs> awesome <laughs> well see Terry the the Terry I used to work with she is amazing organizer as well so I I know I told you last that last night I decided that I was going to start rearranging furniture and I was taking down shelves and putting up cubes and all sorts of things I could have really used Terry <laughs> 
but Terry M has finished two more layouts. So that brings us to 448. Wow. Amazing. this in for a different kind of journal box in there. So yeah, I'll have to come back and add my tabs in too. Although I might want to do something different for that one. <clears throat> That blue that blue is the same blue as the border strip there's that little rounded tab we all know and love and look at how cute that is with the peekaboo pocket dina oh. has finished another page and terry says she's going to come and help me <laughs> oh yay <laughs> And you guys are only what, 20 minutes, did you say, apart? Uh, probably, well, she's on the north side, I'm on the south side. So it really depends on the time of day. But uh, yeah, but it's been a while, that's for sure. That's fun. But uh, May 4th is when I get my second vaccine and then my kids are the week following. So it might be a reality here, here soon. Oh, right, yeah. My husband's gotten his, he, he got his vaccine. I was on the fence for a while. I was a little, I was being a fraidy cat. I'll tell you the truth. I was, I was being a fraidy cat. And um, my husband got it. Then my son, my son just like, I'm just going to go search and see where I can get my vaccine. And um, so he went, he's already, he got his second dose already. And then I'm like, okay. This is, this is a thing. And then we got, you know, this, we started getting notifications here in California. Like my daughter is required to go back to school to have a vaccine. So, um, so then we, you know, anyhow, all four of us, the rest of the other four in the family, we're all going to go on Monday. Nice. Well, my youngest isn't eligible yet. He's still under 16. So we're hoping that it opens up. They've tested Pfizer and Pfizer apparently is safe for 12 to 16. So just waiting right now for that one. And then uh, all of us will be done. Wow. Then everyone. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of a thing we just have to get through, right? And just, of course, my husband took the one, the single dose that then later they recalled. <laughs> But he's okay. I guess it was just a small percentage of people. So um, that it was a, the blood clotting issue for him. Okay, so I'm, I got to a point here where um, I had, this was kind of the end of the year and the beginning. And so I thought I'm going to, kind of do a memorabilia pocket. And you can add these at the end of the album, but for me, since this is kind of a story, I decided I'm gonna put it right here in the middle of, um, of for, for these pages. And uh, let me see, kind of work, work through the next ones. So, here, uh, I, I haven't quite decided, but I, I ended up kind of with these last bits and pieces 
um, of notes and cards and just different things that we had and ticket stubs and brochures. So that was going to be my solution is I just kind of popped this in here. So I'll probably come back and take another look at, you know, exactly how I'm going to display this in here, but that's what the pocket is for. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put this in, but I just wanted to let you know that's, that's happening here and it's going right in between. So then what we're going to do is we're going to slide these photos kind of in that story. So again, memorabilia is always one of those things that, um, you know, you have to just figure out how, how you're going to stick that in there, how you're going to, especially these big items can add in the story. So just going to set that aside for now so I can work on these two pages. And Kathy added five more pages, but she thinks she's done. Brain fog has set in. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Well, I am so happy you guys who have been here and, and scrapped with me have had a chance to get some pages done and you'll check back. We'll, we'll put the tally up at the end, right? And see where we are. This is, I'm gonna be curious. Curious, curious. What are grand, grand total? Well, with Kathleen headed two more, we are now at 4.53. I, I think we've got some diehards that are going to keep up. Keep going. I'm trying to find a four by six that's going to work in this peekaboo pocket. Oh, here we go. We're going to use a little plaid one. That looks good. Okay, culture shock, there you go. There's, there's John and one, two, three, four, five sisters and brother. So seven, he was right in the middle and his mom, his dad was not in this photo. This was his sister's Berna's house. That's where we could use the horse punch. She's the one who has the ranch and um, they have horses. We haven't been out to their place in oh so long, but definitely when you think of cowboys, that that's Burns husband, cowboy, cow boy, 100%. I mean, he doesn't wear the hat, but he is a cowboy. He shoots rattlesnakes. <laughs> And then he skin, skins them, he shoots them, then he skins them, and then he puts them, he built a saloon, he's a contractor, he built a saloon 
on his property. And so he's got rattlesnakes hanging on the wall in his saloon. So does that sound like California cowboy? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> He's a fun guy. He, yeah, very fun. So. And then his son, oh gosh, where was his son? Right here, this little guy. He's, um, he now uh, has started helping well he's take kind of taking over the family business i guess we could say working on that he's he's got his own company going now but um getting getting all that done out there so fun Oh, such memories looking back all these photos. That was fun. So Carrie, did you find your paper stash? Are you recutting? You're probably off doing that while we speak, huh? <laughs> Cutting away. Can't wait to see all that good stuff. Annette has done another four pages and is at the end of the day. She's been up since 3 a.m. Brisbane Australian time and is so tired. <laughs> I give you so much credit, Annette. Thank you for joining. Woohoo! So what was Annette's total? Do you have that or do you? I'm do you still searching in the list. <laughs> I, I should have organized it by alphabetical. Do, 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 do. Awesome job. No worries. <laughs> I know, but it would, I would find her faster. Here's the thing, you know, something, I mean, it would be nothing if it were up to me myself or a little chicken scratch tally list. Not, not too good with that. So that's so fun. All right. I know she's in this list. There she is. All right. So she did 16. Wow. Woohoo! We're up to 461 now. You guys are making me proud. So, so proud. So proud. So much fun. More peekaboos. I need more peekaboos. What, what would I do without peekaboo? <laughs> I so love that wood paper. Just saying, just saying. Did you get the advisor shiplap yet? I did. Those are beautiful. Yeah. I could pull those in, make everybody jealous. Well, if you're an advisor, you would have it, but 
so pretty those. So Linda says she couldn't watch this without doing any scrapbooking. So even though I didn't fully get prepared, I just completed a two page spread. All right. I like to hear it. I like to hear it. It's kind of contagious, isn't it? You're like, oh, that looks easy. I could do that. You can do it, absolutely. Oh, these little photos again. I've had my fill of these little three and a half. How big are these? Three and a half. Oh, I'm just so used to four by six. So used to that format. They do give you a chance to mat though. Kathy asks, I know you've mentioned this before, Lauren, but what company is the tab punch you just used from? It is Stampin' Up, but it is retired. I will say here and now, it is retired. So you're going to have to go to, um, you know, eBay or Mercari and try not to choke on how much they sell that tab punch for. Because it's a lot. I, I want to say they're, they're usually, they sell around... $70, $80 for that retired one. It's so funny. Lori, you may have heard me talk about Lori. She was at a craft fair. She found one for $5. She thought she hit the, I mean, she had to text me. She was so excited. <laughs> and um, she thought she hit the, it was like hitting the lottery. That's so um. That's a good deal. So if you can find it for less, grab it. But you'll have to get it aftermarket or you'll just wait and Carrie and I will give you some fun, easy alternatives if you have an electronic cutter. Hey, hun. Should I pick something up for dinner? Yeah. What should I get though? I don't know. Have you talked to dad? No. We're talking food. We've been talking food on the live. All yeah. kinds of fun things on the live. Mm -hmm. All kinds of food. Mm -hmm. Types of candy. They have different places. Australia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Pizza is always good. Mm -hmm. uh, Alitalia? Mm -hmm. No? I had like a pizza thing yesterday. Oh, you had some of that. Okay. Yeah. Check. Find dad. See what, what he's in the mood. My boys, my boys love coming to find me when there's food involved. You guys, you guys understand that, right? <laughs> Whenever there's food involved, I get to see my boys. Mary's finished two more pages. Woohoo, Mary. Awesome. Mary's done a lot of organizing and that's a hair working on a heritage project. So that always, ooh, that takes a little more planning and thought, right? Research. All that good stuff. How can I put pictures down crooked when there's dots on the pages, Carrie? You might not be able to see it, but <laughs> dots on the pages. You would think I could line them up straight. I think you might be getting tired. <laughs> no. Julie yeah. R has a comment here. Um, I've been working fast to fab and sometimes need to wallpaper and have been frustrated that they are a little wider than 12 by 12. 
I wallpapered a white one and it fits fine. Is Fasta Fab always wide? The Fasta Fab? There, that that doesn't sound right. This is Fasta Fab. You mean the actual page was wider? So, yeah, I'm not sure whether. Maybe a smidgy smidge smidge. Yeah, that would bug me. But on mine, Julie, you can see that's almost, well, it's pretty close. Just, just that little hairline. I'm wondering if you got, now I don't want you to do anything rash, but <laughs> I wonder if you got a set that the jeeping didn't go on quite where it should. That would be kind of a bummer. But I think typically they should be pretty close. The inside from inside of the jeeping should be close to the 12. All right, Carrie, there we go. Ta -da! We're getting it. I got myself a little. Um, and now I'll catch up to my order. But I'm coming to kind of shift things just a smidge. So when I got to the memorabilia page, I decided just to add that page in there. Okay, so. And Julie says it's about an eighth of an inch every time. It's a little bigger than what it should be. I hate to say that, but maybe that's just something to keep an eye out for in the future and make sure that, um, yeah, you don't have that, that large of a gap. And if it, if it comes that way, yeah, send them. Send it back. That just seems a little too much. I was asking if you know Lido. Lido Pizza Restaurant at 15232 Victory Boulevard in Van Nuys. I, I do not. I'm a little ways away from Van Nuys, but it sounds good. <laughs> Pizza sound good tonight? <clears throat> now, what is the, oh, that is, yep, okay. There was another new fun technique I saw recently. I want to say it was from an advisor named Joan Marceau, I, if I'm right, if there's another advisor here. She was showing how to use um, the custom cutting system and circles, right? Like I'm looking at this page and, you know, I cut a circle. Well, there's a way to use the cutting system to create circles for evenly spaced circles. So cute. I thought, you know, I might try that and share that technique next Friday night scrapbooking because... Carrie, did you see that on the advisor page? It was really, really fun. I wasn't sure if it was the advisor or CCI. I must have been the advisor page. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? And then yes. you put little cute things in those circles, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I loved that technique. That was so clever. 
So Nancy finished another page and she says, Aubrey finished seven in her scrapbook. Oh, how fun. How fun, how fun. And how old is Aubrey? Is she, is she like scrap buddy? A little, little scrap buddy. She counts, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's in the total so with Aubrey's pages that brings us to 475 wow I'm all over that that is so great Okay, we're definitely hitting 500. Definitely. All right. Well, it looks like we've still got folks joining, Carrie. So joining in the fun. But if you're ready to collapse, you let me know. <laughs> Angela finished a two page spread. And I am gluing my titles together. Well, I haven't done the print and cut part. Okay. So I did just discover that two of these, you know, these old size prints, if anybody's working with the old size, two of these fit perfectly in a five by seven peekaboo pocket. How about that? You have to put them right, right together, but you could do a little double photo and then you've got the back. Right, you can add in some more photos on the back. Okay, Aubrey is Nancy's eight and a half year old granddaughter. And yes, my scrapbook buddy. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's which Nancy? Oh, okay. Nancy, Nancy Fitch. How fun. All oh, right. Broccoli seems to be a thing tonight. So Bro Nancy also ate ranch burgers and steamed broccoli. Okay. And Julie A has finished eight pages. And Annetta's back. She's watching on her TV and eating lunch. Okay. Isn't that fun? We're just, I'm, we're getting late, getting into evening here, California time. And some others are enjoying lunch. I love it. Okay. So it's funny, I'm looking at these photos and I'm thinking, so John had, you know, a bunch of 
family, you know, he came from a big family, but I'm looking, this was a party for myself and one of my friends. And he probably felt the same, like, wow, she's got a lot of friends <laughs> because, you know, that was, that was after college. We were all still really close, hanging out, enjoying, um, you know, meeting up and doing all the things that you can do. Well, you know, before I kind of classify that as before kids, right? When you, once you have kids, things change. I know at least for me, that's when a lot of my friendships changed because um, you just don't, you know, you've got so many people, little people to take care of. That's just the way it goes. So I had all these silly little photos and I thought it might be kind of fun to just do like a, a little collage of three by three squares. I was going to just pick a few and then I thought, oh, it's kind of fun. It tells a story when you kind of have all these silly little pictures. And then doesn't take up a whole lot of room either because you've got kind of these fun little doodads over here. Let's see. That is a lot of photos on a page, but we're going to go with it. Because I have over here underneath, I left that whole spot there for telling the story. I could actually, maybe I'll move one of these in here. That works. I think I might even just tuck that in there too. And then I've got that area that gives me a little more room to do something a little more fun with this area. Since this was a birthday party, I can see another title going on around here too. Jeanette has two more pages done. Woo. Woo, woo. I haven't heard from Karen lately. Did she have to take a break? Maybe. Maybe. I can't remember if she said she had to go or not. So. <laughs> All right. Who's, who's, who's hot on my tails then, Carrie? Who's got a, a ton? Right. Let's see. Well, you're at 44. I have Karen down at 34. Laura Ann has 23. Uh, Sue has 36. Ew, Sue's been rocking it. Oh, yeah. You guys. <laughs> so, but plenty of people have like double digits. So everyone is doing fantastic. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're up to 487. So fun. Four eighty nine because Sandy just finished two more. Woohoo! I 
love hearing those numbers. That is just so exciting. So exciting. I'm trying to find a little. What am I wanting to do here? Sue just added eight more. Oh my goodness. Who was that? Sue Floyd. Sue, Sue. <laughs> Laura Ann adds six more. My goodness. Guys, woohoo! I love it. See, they're stockpiling. They're busy. They're not chatting. That's what happens when, when we don't get them chatting. They work. They work, 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 work. And then they're like, oh, by the way, here's my bajillion. My bajillion pages I have been. I think I'm struggling too much with this. Okay. Oh, I know. Where am I? Oh, here we go. I'm missing all my little pieces of goodies. I think I'm going to keep it simple. Simple, simple, but I do want to check in with the laser cuts. Okay. Oof. Are you sitting down? Yes. All right. So as we know, Jeanette had two, Sandy had two more, Sue added eight more. Chris came in and lost, said he first, they lost track and have 20 pages so far. Wow. And Karen has come back and she has 46 pages so far. So guess what? Uh -uh. We're at 400 or sorry, 527. Oh my gosh. You guys pushed us over the top. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get somebody to take a picture of you with a sign that, you know, has our total on it. I like that idea. That is so amazing. That's why everybody's been quiet on the chat. They've been working, right? <laughs> working. Well, I glued my uh, my script letters together on the mat, but I'm feeling lazy to go down and put sticker paper in my printer. <laughs> 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 it's almost 11 o'clock here, so I'm like, oh, do I want to go down to the printer? It's in the basement. Oh, no. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah. I'll, I'll debate with that. In the meantime, I'm going to see what I can fill my sticker sheet with. Okay. Sounds good. So Carrie, I'm finished up on this one. All right, I'll mark it down. The pile is getting much smaller, you guys. So maybe. More birthday. This one. So people are, are surprised you're still going, Lauren. Are they? Did, yeah. Have they come back and like, oh, here we are. <laughs> I can't believe you're still going. I'm like, I, I just have, I'm picturing John coming in with one of those water bottles full of coffee and, you know, bringing you out into the corner and like a boxer or something and giving <laughs> you the coffee from the 
the water bottles and <laughs> I know right you can do it we're in your corner it's okay you can make it happen <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen is going to add four more and she is going to sign off for the night too awesome Well, I think I think I'm I'm in the last stretch, Carrie. Truly. We'll see how how quick I can get these done, but my pile is not I don't have that many room, you know, kind of what I was saying is we took less and less photos kind of towards the end. So But Karen's my hero. Oh my goodness. Her pages must have just been lying, flying together. So fun. Well, you're tied with Karen again. Okay. <laughs> oh, it, it is neck and neck. Neck and neck. <laughs> okay. Hey, it feels good. I have a pacing partner. That's what I'm calling you, Karen. You're my pacing partner. We're going. We're going. We're doing this thing. Everybody needs one, huh? Right? To keep going. Mind you, I just noticed that we have Sue Floyd down with 44, so she's not all that far behind you. Ah, Sue, woohoo! Go Sue. With her eye surgery and everything, right? So. No kidding. I think we need to design a certificate for her. Mm -hmm. Trooper, Trooper 101. Oh yes. <laughs> Is that like the MVP? Uh -huh. Yeah. There we go. Okay, John's birthday, done. I think if I had just from the beginning realized I needed to hang, hang off, hold off on, you know, all the fancy stuff, the embellishments and all that. I don't know, that just takes, sometimes it just takes too long to make all those decisions. Oh, Darlene is also an East Coaster, and she has 20 total pages done and is calling it a night. Woohoo! Do you feel good? I hope you guys feel so good. I hope you feel good. I really do. I love every number, every page number. It's been awesome. Awesome hearing those. Oh, did I need to add another two to yours? You look like you flipped a page. Oh, I did. Sweet. <laughs> and Lauren takes the lead. Oh, not for long. Not for long, right? 
Oh, wait till I get to the next two pages. Okay, I gotta finish this fast. You guys will laugh when you see this. Do we have another embarrassing story coming up? Uh, um, no, just kind of something funny. <laughs> it's, um, I'm gonna tuck that right there. Like I was, I was trying to, this was a part in the album that I was trying to um, figure out how to kind of tell this part of the story too, where we were, um, we were doing different things, but I think I'm, I, I guess I'm gonna, yeah. Anyhow. I'll come, I'll come to it in just a second. I'm, I am gonna finish this up first. The fun thing, I think going back in time and looking at all of these is, is yeah, embarrassing hairdos, right? Like really, that's a lot of girls. <laughs> Why so many girls? Um, but, you know, just just trying to remember that the stories in that part of your your life to kind of make things challenge yourself to remember everything. I think now, you know, this this of course was prior to when I knew about scrapbooking these photos. Now, hopefully we're so much better at trying to document a little more what we're doing. So Allison says that she's happy she got started with organizing photos and the power sort process. It's more than I've done in forever. Oh, that's awesome. And Mona says that you have beautiful hair. <laughs> Very curly. <laughs> that was back in perm days, guys. Remember perms? Spiral perms. Oh, it would take me forever to get my hair done. It would really take me forever. <clears throat> much, much hair. And Terry C has finished another two page layout done. Woohoo! And I think also when we um, I know, you know, some of you, you're spending more time on your layouts, and I think that's excellent. And, and just having gone through the process, you're going to, I think you'll feel so much more prepared for the next time you, you know, even whatever you get done today is a, is a win. And then whatever you come back to do, you're going to feel so on top of things. You're going to know where, where you left off. You know, that we used to drive me nuts when I would scrapbook is if I left it for, sometimes I had to leave it for a month or two, right? And then I'd come back and I, I just, I couldn't even, it would take me so much time to figure out where I left off and, you know, kind of what my thought process was before I quit or stopped for a little while. And then now it makes so much more sense. I, you know, have my album map. I, I had already made all those decisions. I think a lot, sometimes scrapbooking is all about decision-making and when we can make those decisions and, and keep track of them, then we don't have to make them again. And I'm all for that. Not having to make remake decisions. Here you go, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you? Where I'm are you? Central Ohio. I'm Columbus, Where's Pickerington. Columbus? I don't think Pickerington's probably not on that map, but Columbus, Ohio. Here's Columbus. Columbus. 
Indian mound. Yep. We Circle, have mounds. Circleville is on here. So I, nope. did a, I did a training class in Ohio. And so I sent this, sent this to John while I was there. All right, so I'm going to up you for another two layouts. So you're at 50, Lauren. Woo! And Pamela is up to 17, about halfway done, and she's calling it a night. She's hoping for rain and snow tomorrow so she can continue on. Oh my gosh, how wonderful. I hope for you rain and snow too. As we're boiling with air conditioning here in Southern <laughs> <laughs> Mona says that one of her daughter's hair is, is like that, but without a perm. Instead, she pays to have it straightened. It looks pretty, but I love her national ringlet, natural ringlet curls. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that the truth? Because I've got a, a, a natural wave, so I have like one big, huge curl if I just leave my hair alone. Right. And uh, I straighten it. <laughs> I can't stand it. <laughs> My, um, my younger daughter has beautiful, like she could get this hair with no perm. And I love her hair. And even when it was this long, it was still ringlet curls like that. I love it. Love it. Linda Johnston saying thank you for the fun day. And she's checking out too. All right. Thank you, Linda, for joining. I'm so glad all of you who've had a chance to start the day with me and keep going and make some progress, have some fun, have some laughs. It looks like we have some of the UK joining us. Linda Richard from the UK is here. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. And Irma, you're using the chat perfectly. I see your message. So she just says her, her first time on the chat, not sure what she's doing. Okay. Well, she's doing it right. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Okay. Okay, that picture needs to be cut straight. <laughs> I was just looking at it. Wow, I think I took scissors to that one. That was funny. Oh, I forgot to mention we're at 550. What? That's I never would have thought there would be this big of a number. This is quite the community. Mm -hmm. We take, we take our scrapbooking seriously here at Craft Some Joy, don't we? We do. So the little Ohio postcard doesn't want to play as nice. I'm going to have to trim just a smidge off. But I love that you can put them in the four by six sleeves and then you can write. I mean, because, right, that's almost a little piece of history when you wrote um you know what you were doing and the whole thing you get to add that right to your album kind of fun embarrassing embarrassing uh story i remember i you know time change i was young i was young i didn't you know this is before we had phones that had alarm clocks and everything. So for this, I do remember for this um, training, uh, time change and other factors. And I, I didn't set my alarm right. And I was late. That was embarrassing walking in. Right. And not only if you guys notice, not only <laughs> and I'm the only girl in the room, right? A bunch of men. And here comes this young little girl <laughs> forgot to set her alarm. Oh dear. That was embarrassing. 
There's another embarrassing story for you, Carrie. <laughs> but you know, you learn from that. And did I ever, did I ever learn? I, I oh, I don't like being late. <clears throat> Not fun. So Allison's asking, how many more pages do you have to do? It looks, I, I do have maybe one, two, three, six or seven. That is amazing. Yeah. And Sandy, she used a peekaboo pocket for the first time. All right. She's in love with them. <laughs> I am too. Isn't that fun? Postcards, guys. New use. New use. I love them. Okay. So this is just uh, memorabilia I need to find a place for in here when I'm ready. <clears throat> okay, so I'm moving on, Carrie. I'm going to move over to my next two. And we are at the San Diego Zoo. How about that? How fun. We might have to do a recount when you're done. I can't remember if I got your previous two. I think I did. I think you're at 52 now. I lost it. It is a good thing. That is one disapproving gorilla. <laughs> he looks mad, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I need a big, a big journal box for this one here. So Irma's joining us. She just signed up for the class. Oh, greetings. greetings from North Dakota. North Dakota. I think I think Irma might be the first one from North Dakota here. And uh, Mona asks, so, so how soon after this will you take to add embellishments, journaling, and page protectors to complete the album? I'm on a mission. I really want to. I really want to get this one done. Um. So. Let me think about that because I, I think I'd like to do it live again. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, totally. And Terry C, she says she's working on her San Diego Zoo right now from 2015. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's synchronicity. Is that what they call it? Right? Synchronicity. Yeah. Serendipity. 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 That's what I meant. Yeah so so funny love it and diane says she's heading out there for the san diego zoo this summer okay a san diego okay all right well san diego is like three hours from me so you're just gonna have to pop your little self up here when you're done with the zoo <laughs> I was telling um, Diane Lampert from Home Office, Diane, I was telling Diane Lampert about how you had this idea of kind of scrapbooking on the go. You guys think of this. This is, sounds so fun, doesn't it? Um, scrapbooking from the RV, right? Like what, what, how could we make a clever name for that? <laughs> scrapbooking from my camper wouldn't that be fun because diane she wants to do that she wants to take her scrapping supplies on the road right diane and scrapping road trip scrapping road trip yeah we got to think of a clever name for her wouldn't that be fun it just you could check in 
I, it sounds like a YouTube channel to me. It really does. Check in, see what Diane's working on, see where Diane is on, in the country. See your little RV set up with your little scrap table. <laughs> scrap where in the world is Diane's, or not Diane. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Where in the world? Oh, it is Diane. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, where in the world is Diane scrapping instead of Carmen San Diego, right? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> no pressure, Diane. Nope. <laughs> so Mary's done two more pages. Woohoo! It's really nice to see where everything is ending up in this in this uh, album. So I have a spot here for journaling. So there's San Diego Zoo. Like normally nowadays, right? You guys, you wouldn't just take five pictures <laughs> at the San Diego Zoo, right? Nowadays, we would have five zero pictures at least at the zoo. But that's the way it was when you had a roll of film. And look at, there's the camera. Look at that old camera. Yep, all film. We've got trailer cropping. We've got camping oh. scrapper. <laughs> and uh, Diane says it's a little table and her punches won't fit in the van. Oh, well, we might have to do modifications. We might have to be one of those modification vans. I think we've got a question here. Kelly asks, how did you and Lauren meet? I'm guessing that's me and you. We can honestly say we've never met. <laughs> Not in real life, anyhow. Yeah. Carrie found me through YouTube. You didn't get to tell your story on no. Zoom. No, I, I found you through YouTube. And I think it was, uh, oh my, last summer. And um, I had watched a live on YouTube and um, I can't remember what you were working on at the time, but you were using the project uh, folders and I was just amazed by those things. I had to have them. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> of yeah. course, you know, I have to have a discount on everything. So I signed up to be uh, an advisor on Lauren's team and I have uh, plenty of project folders now. <laughs> and the other half of that story is that Carrie took pity on me. When you think of like, why you and Carrie? Well, Carrie took pity on me because as you know, Carrie's techie. And as you know, I've had my share of struggles with tech. <laughs> so um she graciously offered, so graciously offered to help, you know, with all the, there's a lot behind the scenes. You've heard me say this many times. There's a lot behind the scenes to setting up your computer, to setting up your camera, to setting up, you know, the bandwidth and the, oh, Carrie, you've helped me so much, so much. Um, Bring better, bring better uh, streaming content to you guys. So that's the other part of that story is Carrie's been very gracious with her time. And we probably wouldn't have connected that way if you didn't have the team crops that you have on mm -hmm. Zoom. Right. Yeah. I think that's where we first Zoomed together were my team crops. For sure. Yep. I remember even back then you were wording, working with your cut files. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I was stamping yeah. some uh, academic numbers 
with ink and then throwing it in my scanning cut. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it started. <laughs> and also, um, Carrie was, uh, did you, I don't think we've talked about how you were, you got one of your layouts. Did we ever say that? I think we told the, the, oh, did we not do that on YouTube? I don't know if they know. I, I can always go and grab that. Carrie's famous. She has a layout. Oh, not really famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so exciting. I remember when she told me that she was picked, her layout was picked. That was fun to hear. All right. Uh, Jeanette has four more pages done. Woohoo! She's up to 10. Awesome. All right, I'm going to steal the camera for a second if I can find. There we go. And I'm going to spotlight. There we are. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay. So. This is the, the magazine. Oh, sorry. I've got light movement sensors and somebody's either in the backyard in the front yard and it could be a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so on, of course, my favorite number on page 42. So fun. Look at your little dancing border there too. I saw that in the background. There you have it on the left side, on the left. Right here, right here. that's my boy. The one yeah. that graduated last year, I got another one graduating this year. So this was one of my, probably was my first creative memories layout. Yeah. So, uh, I ordered the graduation theme pack and I was working on this actually during one of our team crops. I remember, yeah. Yep, so that, uh, Oop, there it is. And of course, what I like the best out of this is that, uh, of course, it's in the fine print, but uh, my middle son, he's an aspiring photographer. That's what he want to do, wants to do. He's graduating in a couple weeks and uh, he wants to pursue photography. And it says photos by Reese Payette. And I'm like, well, look, you're already published. <laughs> That's so exciting. But anyway, this uh, embellishment is created on the silhouette so I put that together and I think I shared that on our crop too so yeah really cool <laughs> all so fast there you have it right out the get-go Carrie you were you were published also well that was the first time I ever submitted for that too so I was pretty floored yeah but uh yeah there's the oops the wrong direction well, there's dancing borders. Like I said, I glued my, my letters on. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love that font. You've got me hooked on that font now, too. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And it's so easy, too, because you just start typing it. It's already got the, what is it, letter kerning appropriate, so the closeness of the letter. So it's really, really easily. All right, so a very, very important question came up. Julie R. asked, do pirates say R or ARG? <laughs> <laughs> very important question, Julie. I think that that's a question for Google. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would think it's just R because ARG is more like a oof, you know? Uh, if uh, yeah apparently I... all right i'm spotlighting you again 
you. I think I am getting, I'm getting tired because decision-making is slowing down for me too. So let's see. So Sue said the phone and iPad are dead. Eyes need drops. Time to go. We'll finish tomorrow. Thank you too. It was the longest I've ever scrapped in a day. Woohoo! You cropped till you dropped. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's the whole, that's the key. Crop till you drop. Oh, Sandy says it is with the G and H at the end because she Googled it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I created a border and I have a, a print and cut that I'm setting up right now. So I'll probably finish mine tomorrow. But I love the border that I made. The dancing one? Oh, yeah. I should send that to you. Yeah. So fun. Oh, Edita is actually up to 34. I am going to update that. We're at 575. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to hit 600 then. Oh, I never thought I'd say that. That's exciting. Okay. And Dina said that she has 14 total pages done. But I did get the rest of my album re reading ready to finish in a day, just not today. Yeah. So she's off to bed too. I understand. I understand. You know, it's late over there, right, you guys? So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up here really soon, and um, we'll do we'll come back again we'll do it we'll do another live and kind of come back in and i think like i said it's always good take a little break get another perspective on you know what you want your pages the feel of them to come out and uh and sandy finished two more pages her eyes are getting blurry I think she's still hanging in there, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think you froze. Lauren, you froze. You're going to have to restart. OBS. Anita, thanks for two more. Okay, I'll put you down for that while we wait for Lauren to come back. Anita, hopefully you can still hear me. Of course, I have to find you in this long list of people. <laughs> Anita, 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 I know you're in this list. Oh, and Julie, you got two more pages, pirate journaling and all. all. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Mona, she's uh, working on coming back. I saw her, her screen change on Zoom, so we're working on it. All right, so Anita has, actually, maybe what I should do is share my screen until she comes back. What do you say? So I'm going to spotlight my video. I don't know what I'm going to show yet. But uh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, well, I know she's frozen. Hopefully this is still going. Okay. All right. So I have a couple print and cuts that I want to do, but I want to make them stickers. So... Um, I'm going to message. I'm, I'm back. Messaging. Oh, you're back. I was just messaging you on YouTube. So, <laughs> mind you. My Zoom decided to quit unexpectedly is what it told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I was trying to do, like, 
some uh, some filling in the the blanks, and I'm like, I had done nothing additional, so I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a, a print and cut, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm uh, so I was actually going to go back to my screen and start filling up my sticker sheet because I wanted those two things on a sticker, but I don't, you know, I have a full sheet that I got to fill up. I don't want to, you know, put a full sheet in and right, right, and, <laughs> and cut two little things. <laughs> All right, I will switch it back over to you. I'm going to spotlight your. Uh, I'm guessing that's... yeah, unexpected Zoom. Decided... <laughs> well, now we know that it actually stays streaming, so you were able to go out and come back in, and I kept it going. You kept it going, I think, because you're a co-host, right? Do Maybe, think... yeah, yeah. That was that was good to know. And Kristen, the font that I love is the Antonelli. That's the script one. So I will, I will type that into the chat too. That is a beautiful font for sure. Good to know. Carrie, save the day. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, Julie R., I don't remember if I got your last two with the pirate journaling before everything happened. So, are you currently at, I mean, I just had you, are you at 14 or 16? just let me know. And Beth has 13 pages done and time for bed for her. Woohoo! Ah, so nice to hear these numbers and that you're, you're finishing. Okay. We're almost there, Sherry. Almost there. Oh no, I'm I'm going through and uh, making sure that I get all the the pages in. Jessica, did you did you get my last eight pages? So Jessica, I have you currently down. Let me find you in the list here. I've got a lot of people in the list. I currently have you down at twenty. So let me know, Jessica, if you are at twenty or twenty eight. Uh, Terry M, two more pages. Going to bed. Good night and thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining. We might have to just start, you know, people can watch us in bed and fall asleep <laughs> <laughs> as we're scrapbooking and chit chatting. All right, Julie R is at 16. Woo, Julie, way to go, way to go. Julie has also struggled with taking long, long time on her pages. So that that's a big number, right, Julie? Right, right, right. Let me see, oh, let me see, I have to go over here. Okay, yes. Big number. Margarita just finished two pages. Woo! That's so much fun. This these pages are kind of kind of fun. I didn't even realize we had so many pictures. These were in my Nisha file, my my pets, the pets we love. But then I remembered, I, I saw, I found the negatives and I'm like, oh, this really is part of John and I's story too. Even though she is a pet we, we loved, we've got we've to share her story, share these in here too. All right. So Kim has 14 done and Jessica has 20. And Julie says, yes, she's slow. This is way more than I've ever accomplished in a day. So great. 
Yeah, she's at 16. So we're at 604. Wow, we hit 600. Woo, that's so great. So Julie asked, is Misha named after Castile? Oh, I know. And no, this was um, before, before he uh, started that role. Um, so the name actually, my roommate Jackie, who I told you about, um, her, uh, her um, ancestry was, uh, she was part Russian and it was a uh, Russian some part of it it was close Misha bear means bear and she looked like a little didn't she look like a little fuzzy bear <laughs> so yeah and then uh we found out about Castiel Misha right so that was fun. So maybe he's a little bear. Maybe he was named after a little bear too. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? <clears throat> yeah, Jackie helped me pick a name for her. Anybody who knows Russian can help me out with that. If I got that that close. It was M-E-I-S-H-A. Okay, there we have that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am off. My pages are off. How did I do that? That's not good. Oh, here. Okay. I have this one. Kelly has 10 more pages for a total of 24. Woohoo! Okay, so should we take a vote and Carrie, you get to vote. Do we keep going or should we call it, call it here? You guys tell me. I'm almost done, almost. You guys will take a quick vote. Do you want to just, are you dropped yet? Have you dropped? <laughs> well, I'm laughing because uh, Julia A's husband said, if I had done a half a page, you two would still be as excited. And he's listening and thinks that <laughs> I've done a sterling effort. <laughs> we truly are excited. <laughs> no, I, it's like, oh my gosh. Yes, I know. Truly excited. <clears throat> Karen says that she has 55 pages, but is too tired to finish and thanks us for a great day. Jessica says, keep going. Okay. <laughs> Terry says, keep going. keep going. Diane says, keep going. Julie says, go to the end. Okay. <laughs> but only if you're up for it. <laughs> I better keep dropping. I better keep cutting. <laughs> Maybe I should try to get one done, right? That's <laughs> Terry. Put those a little dan can you can are you ready to put the dancing order down on your page or not yet? I'm not sure. My brain stopped working probably three hours ago. <laughs> Do you not have anything tomorrow? Please tell me you don't have. Uh, do well, I have uh it'll be in the afternoon, but I have a knit and crochet date. Oh, right, right. Well, that's fun. But you can yeah. start in an end. Yeah, I, I will finish this probably tomorrow, but I, I think I'd like to have a clear mind when I do it. So I'm looking at this border and I'm absolutely in love with it. 
So I want to make sure that the page yeah. fits well. Like obviously my photos, I have more photos than I can count on these two pages, but uh, I want to make sure that I balance it appropriately because I, I really like what I designed there. <laughs> Peekaboo pockets, peekaboo pockets. Oh yes, yeah. I, I think I'm going to probably have at least you know two to four of those. Yeah. Laura Ann says she's got 20 minutes and she's calling it a night. She's going to midnight. Ooh. Um, Ruthie says keep going, finish the album. Lauren, we're cheering you on. We're doing it. We can do it. <laughs> Laura Ann says she only has 12 two-page spreads left. Yvette says, you can do it. We believe in you. Okay. Okay. And Sherry says, keep going. The faithful mom, mom says, I'm getting a second win. And Carrie, I'm in the same place you are, still working on my fr first two pages. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's me. Yeah. And, uh, Nancy says, I'm still going for another 15 minutes. And uh, Sherry's cheering me on now. She's telling me I can do it. <laughs> Good. You can. Do I should it. load that sticker paper. I should get <laughs> off my butt and go downstairs. <laughs> go, go do it. Well, okay. you know that after I print, I have to go back downstairs again. <laughs> <laughs> Truth comes out. Truth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All right. I I will I will print then cut. Whew. All right. Oh, All right. Carrie. She's got to do it. Okay. <laughs> go go get your printer paper. We can handle the chat. Okay, okay. You go do that. Go find it, go find it. Well, I've, I've got it. I just got a, my sticker paper's up here. My printer's in the basement. So I gotta go load the paper, come back up, hit print, go back down, grab it, put it through the cutter. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna have a little bit of exercise at quarter to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I think I need a new map pack. I think I've used up all the... <clears throat> oh, you guys, you, you, if you think my place was a mess when I showed it to you last, it's a double mess now. It's a double, double, triple, double, triple map mess now truly truly double triple mess mess and at least though i can maybe find a few pieces of paper ah these papers were hiding from me i love that wood paper Okay. But I am going to throw a few stars on this sticker sheet before I print. Ooh, stars. Yes. I like how the faithful one thinks. It's like messy means you're doing it right. Yes. <laughs> I was telling them when you went downstairs, boy, when I showed the first picture of my space, okay, it that looks neat compared to my mess that I have now. <laughs> it's a mess over here. Okay. I think I'm going to have to, I don't know where my mat pack is. I'm going to have to come back and find them. Well, then, while, while you do that, I can actually share and put some stars on my sticker sheet. Yeah. So if you want to take a little bit of a, a breather and find what you need to find. Oh, there we go. That's good. Go for it, Gary. Do you need uh, me to, un can you nope, do it? Nope, I'll do it. Okay, I want this screen share. And I think I'm already spotlighted. Look at that. You are. Looks huh. from my side. Cool. All right. 
So this is the, the two labels that I've created. So this is actually going to print. So you can see that I have the um, pattern paper behind it from the little dreamer. And then I chose this font. I can't remember what it was, but let's see here. Uh, Casteller apparently was that one. And Mona saying, check underneath your left elbow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was it the left elbow or the other left? <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> other left yeah <laughs> all right embarrassing stories right there you go <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to go into merge again and i'm going to go into the little dreamer and the elements and i want some of the stars so they have quite a few available here so i'm going to pull some blue green, like the mint green and probably the yellow so I want to go ahead and do that. So I want like the more solid one. So I'm going to bring this one in and I'm going to say, okay, obviously that's a little bit big for what I want. So I'm going to make this small, but you can see, even though it's a PNG file, it already has the cut line around it. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it imports, you know, pretty, pretty good. So this one is um, three quarters of an inch squared almost and then I'm going to go ahead and merge in a few more so what I'm planning on doing right now is just setting up a sheet um, to print so that I uh, maybe I'll go with stripes should I do stripes too sure because um, I'm going to be using a sticker sheet so I can cheat though, of course, and use the same sticker sheet. I can load it twice, but you know, I'm going up and down the stairs. So <laughs> I'm gonna make this <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so I'm just adding in a few more stickers that I think I could use on this layout. Of course, I haven't planned this far. So, you know, whatever it turns out to be. So I have three different types of stars here, three different colors. I think that's pretty cool. But again, there's very little that I have to do because the, the files are already made transparent. So that really is the key to having the outline. So I'm going to just copy and paste this and I'm just using control C or command C and control V. And uh, of course I want to set up my mat though. I wanna make sure that this is set up. So I selected this uh, setup panel here and I am going to turn on the registration marks. What this does is it shows you um, where you can stick your stuff. So I had, I had it too far up. Um, but what happens is the cutter will actually detect these lines that it prints. So I need to make sure that I keep it within this red box here. And then obviously within like the, like the outside of the hash marks, I guess you could say. So I could put this one here. Oop. Of course, when you move your labels, make sure you actually have them grouped. So I'm actually going to take both of these and group them together because I didn't have my cut lines actually attached. <laughs> So it was going to print and then I left my cut lines in the, the, the other area. All right, now I'm going to move these over. But anyway, I can cut as many of these as I want. And that's like a whole inch. That's a little bit big, I think. Well, the other one's three quarters of an inch. I don't know, maybe I'll do a few different sizes. Or go with the same ones, but you always have to have like the rule of threes, right? I do like threes. All right. So Sharon's saying that she wants to see the page finish and give Oh, she wants inspiration for her mom and dad's last dance. Aww. Um, and she asked about my dancing border. I actually designed that earlier today. So that's like the biggest thing I accomplished today. <laughs> that and my title. 
which is why I said I might finish two pages. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been such a big help, Carrie. I mean, you know, if you didn't have to deal with all my shenanigans and chat and everything, you could have you could have gotten a lot more done. So uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to add another star just for good measure. You can never have too many stars. Well, there's a <laughs> lot of stars and a lot of hearts inside of my uh, my layouts for this album. Mm -hmm. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print this one. Or should I add some green too? Hmm. Nah, I think I'll just keep it this way. All right. Are you ready for me to pass it right on back to you? I'm ready. And are you ready to run up and down the stairs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why I was doing it. Oh, thank you, Carrie. All right. I think you're already you there. So. We will wait. We can't wait to see it. It'll be worth it. All right. Sending the print job. Maybe if I had set my printer paper to be eight and a half by 11. <laughs> so I'm rearranging again. <laughs> oh. I didn't change it to be eight and a half by 11, but that's okay. That's an easy fix. Did it let you know, Carrie? No, I just saw it right before I hit, went to go to the printer settings. Good thing now. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's okay. So I'm changing my media size to letter. Now I have to move things again. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still, you know, the, it, it does take uh, longer when, when you slow down your thoughts. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Why is, oh, right. Okay. All right. Okay, how come I lost my photos for this page? Where'd they go? They're not under my left elbow. <laughs> <laughs> they should be, maybe I didn't take them out. All right, Judy's back in here saying our Judy Hasman says, are you still going? Awesome. Are you at 500 pages yet? We are at 616 pages. I, can still, you it? I cannot. That is, oh my goodness. Maybe I should recruit this group to do my albums. <laughs> They've got some serious page mojo going on for sure. All right. I'm running to the basement. Okay. That'll be fun to see the finished product. So fun. Judy, we are still going. But I know it's getting late for a lot of people. So some people have said good night and signed off, but we took a little poll. Should we keep going? I only have a few more pages to do, or we could call it, call it a night. And everybody's like, keep going. So we got some definite crop till you droppers right here among us. And um, yep, now I know, you know, I've never, I never, I thought, okay, I've, I've never truly sat down to create an entire album in one day. Like I've, I've done it over, you know, 
hours, a few hours here, a few hours there, but never all in one day. So I don't know what I was thinking four to six hours. That was quite a low ball estimate. <laughs> so um, yeah, but it can be, it looks like we're gonna finish in a day. I'm gonna finish in a day. So it can be done in a day, but not in a four hour day. I mean, maybe, maybe if I was even more organized, um, I could have done it in one day. Okay, so I need to figure out, <laughs> I really did, I really did lose pictures here. Because I think these don't have to come back. I want to say these are here and then this is going to go in here with these. I think and then on the back of that Okay. Hmm. I did, I misplaced some photos. I'm not quite sure what I did with them. They're going to come back to light because this, this is definitely this two page spread because then the next one is a totally different subject. So there we have it, guys. Not under my left elbow, but somewhere around here are my missing photos. So I, I, I think I've got too much of a mess going on here right now. So I'm just gonna have to come back to that one page and find, find what I was supposed to do there. Okay, so we've got these, as is what happens sometimes. Let's see, we've got green going on here. Let's see about adding some green for the family photo there. It's on the other side, oh, some wood. Okay, are you guys, you're laughing at me. I can hear you guys laughing at me that I lost it. I can hear you laughing. <laughs> I lost my photos. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a nice texture for that photo. I think we'll add that on there. I'm going to definitely need a recount of your stuff again. I know. I, I, I've misplaced my photos, Carrie. I don't know. They got a little jumbled. <laughs> Yvette wants to know if we can see the mess again. I see the mess again. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's kind of scary. But the fun part is you should see my box, you guys. Let me get these down. It's empty, so empty. Makes me feel good. Look at my big pile. This is all done right here. How'd it turn out, Carrie? I'm glad that was muted. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> my cables are all twisted around. So I was trying to find my mouse to turn off the mute button. I was dropping the mouse and getting it yanked from me. And <laughs> I just pulled the sticker sheet off the cutter. So I've already cut my stickers. So wow. I'm about to uh, layer my... Uh, 
my already cut mats for the the um, the text labels, and uh, I have stars. <laughs> and you have stars. <laughs> so it looks good. Now I'm untangling my mouse. <laughs> All right, so Judy asks, how many tape runners has Lauren used today? Sherry says three. Yeah, and, and I've kind of switched back. My regular one is almost out. And actually, yeah, I can see the red on my fourth one of repo. So we're close. Okay, so this is just. All right, it's one minute after midnight for me. So it's oh. no longer National Scrapbook Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to sign off, Carrie? Oh, no, you have to show us. You have to show us your picture first. Well, I've got a sticker on my finger right now. Oh. <laughs> Is it a star? There's stars on the pattern paper that it printed on. Now I'm trying to figure out, did I throw out that mat? All right, something's not adding up here. <laughs> it's midnight. It is midnight. <laughs> and you've been up since four. Four, yeah. Well, for some reason, I think I resized the label and I didn't resize the mat. So I'm going to have to chop a little bit off the end. That's okay. That's doable. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not measuring it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I like eyeballs. I think that's the way to go. Eyeball, eyeball it. That's for what sure. those guides are for in the cutter, right? Yeah. Oh, I missed uh, Mary finished two more pages. So I'm going to add that to the list. Yeah, and she says that that's it for her for the night. I think she did quite well too. So let me, <laughs> let me find her in my non-alphabetized list. Mary B. She has 18 for the day. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh my goodness, I love those guides. On the trimmer, on the 12 inch trimmer. Yep. <laughs> Makes eyeballing so much easier. <laughs> Mona says that she'd trust my eyeball over her eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trusting the Creative Memories Trimmer Guide. If you have not seen that or used that, you are missing out. This two page spread, this was kind of fun because I've, I've worked on, you've probably seen me work on my uh, Kauai album, which has all the scenery photos and everything, but I ended up scanning. So these are all scanned photos. Um, I found the negatives. And then I thought, well, this for this two page layout, this was something we did together. So, you know, sometimes I get asked that question, do you scrapbook things twice and there might be some occasions where well I actually found some photos that I hadn't had printed 
and then, you know, edited them and, and they came out better. But yeah, for some, some instances, you would probably see this photo in that album as well as here. But for me, I think that's okay because this is telling a really different story than what my original um, photos were telling. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah, maybe there are occasions where you want to reprint <clears throat> or re, 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 use, re, use the same photos again. Oh. Because I think what happens too is when you are going through an album, right? I wouldn't want to have to stop and go, you know, add a note. Oh, go get Kauai album here. <laughs> Insert Kauai album because this was, um, anyhow, you might have a different story to tell than what you do in your travel album too. So anyhow, food for thought. There we go. So this one, I'm gonna do the journaling underneath the peekaboo pocket. There's a spot there to tell the story. It's fun seeing these, seeing these pictures again once they were scanned too. All right, let me check in on the chat. Okay, we're still going. Yep. <laughs> All right, I got to find my scrap piece of paper and I'm going to break out the adhesive. All right, so guys, you know what these two pages are? I mean, I don't know what I did with the that one, maybe when I clean up, but these two, these two are my last two pages. Ta-da! Yay! Can you what? You did it. We did it. So Carrie, you've got to show us what you're working on. Yeah, right. yeah. I'll, I'll uh, once, once you're finished there, I'll, I'll share mine. But I'll have one page done. Good. A good start for my second page. <laughs> good. Are you ready? You can share it. Do you want to share? Want oh, to you want me to share now? Okay. Um, Up to you. Okay. I'll clear my messy table as soon as I, I finish. <laughs> you guys can see what happened over here. Oh, Nancy finished a two-page layout. Let me get that added. That's Nancy G. She's up to 12. Woo! Nancy's in my time zone, so we're good, right, Nancy? <laughs> All right. East Coasters, woo, you are. So here we go. This is uh, my godmother and her youngest son, and this is my next door neighbors when they were, when I was growing up. So this was the, the couple's dance. So these are the ones that I've got close up. The rest of them are um, like further out group shots with a bunch of couples in them. So I decided to put these down on this side. So what I need to do now 
is um, put the border down. So I'm going to put the border down here. So the first thing I need to do is a smidge, Carrie, move it down just a smidge down the other way. This way? No, we can't see the words. We can't see your cut titles. Let me see that way. Like the stars. Oh, look at that, you guys. No, well, this is a fast of fab, right? So um, this is already there. there. Could I have this dance? We couldn't even see that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not used to scrapbooking on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I am terrible. Oh, I just bent my border. That's okay. Oh. Um, so I am going to put adhesive on the back of this border and I am going to use my repositionable all right what did I do with my repositionable <laughs> it's there it's under your your left elbow <laughs> I'm funny now I'm funny here's what I found yeah, Siri. No. No. <laughs> all right, I found it. It was <clears throat> all the way back in my organizer. <laughs> all right. Your left elbow? I could have could have guessed it was your left elbow. No. Nope. <laughs> on my right side. Okay. Look at that is gorgeous. How fun. And then the purpose of this backing here is because I tend to get repositionable adhesive all over everything. So I do my adhering, <laughs> especially with these intricate yes. things on, uh, on here so I don't make a mess in my photos. Okay. <laughs> all right so I'm going to bring these here I had thought at first putting it up on the top but that seems to bring them up a little too high so I'm going to pull these down pull this down a little bit and of course it's repositionable because I have a fear of commitment I'm just going to line it up with this line here. I think I'm kind of in, kind of in focus, not really. You can move it up once you're, you've got it down. Yeah, I'm so directionally challenged. <laughs> I have like the smallest little space I'm working on right now. All right, so there is the dancing border. I think I might add something still down below, like, uh, maybe a portion of the basket weave or something. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I like it. I like that idea. And as you can see, I have both of these doubled up. So what I'm going to do is I have some peekaboo, or sorry, this one's not doubled up. This one is. And what I'm going to do is after I get the page protector on, I'm one of those page um, peekaboo pockets on top people. So I haven't gotten as creative as going over the edge and all that stuff. <laughs> I'll get there though, eventually. Yeah. All right, so now, of course, I just defeated the purpose of having my scratch pad down here. This is, a, the other side is a layout and I can see I have a lot of dimension there is because I've got some flowers. Okay, so let me go ahead and hear this. Now I have to play. There's that. Where did my this go? <laughs> I'm losing things. Okay. The faithful mom just ran out of adhesive. That's such a good sign, isn't it? Oh, I might just. It wasn't under my left elbow. 
I'm just under my right side photos. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this as well. I'm going to adhere the, the this this. <laughs> yes, I'm really tired. <laughs> I think that's funny, but it's really not. <laughs> we're going to we're going to add your two pages we're going to put your name on the list okay well, i'm going to have one page at least one page we're going to i'll see what i can do about the second one i haven't really ventured over there yet and this is all repositionable so when i look at it tomorrow and everything's crooked right <laughs> back up again <laughs> i do that i do that I go, what was I thinking? Why is that picture crooked? And then I'll have to let my godmother know that, you know, she's, she's in the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Mm -hmm. I have to go back and figure out what happened to that one right hand side. I might have saved that for memorabilia. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So I'm probably going to add stars, but I want to do the second page before I add any stars. So there is it up and to your right a little bit up into your yeah like right where your tape runner is move it over there yeah, so see, where you, see where your repositionable is yes oh there you go perfect right there stop <laughs> no oh there okay yeah there's the title so pretty yay <laughs> one <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Carrie, you did it. But a custom cut, custom made title, well, there you go. How about that? So, all right, and Kristen's so excited. She just, I know she's bursting for the lessons and all, all things cut, right? Someone a long time ago is under a page in your book. Someone a long time ago, Judy, I'm not sure what you mean. A long time ago, maybe a long time ago. Oh, maybe, oh, a long time, maybe someone, okay. Well, here we go. Should I, um, I'm done you guys. Well, I mean, I, ha I have to finish. I didn't, I didn't commit to my ending page yet because I'm not quite sure. Have, if you remember, uh, Pam likes to end an album with pinning the page. And so, um, Carrie, I'm going to come back and spotlight. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. I, I think I'm going to have to give more thought to this, and that might be tomorrow. But I got one done. I did half of my goal. <laughs> I love it. But you got both borders cut. I did. I love it, too. So fun. Okay, I'm going to bring my, my book back. So, okay, maybe we'll do a quick flip through and then I'll find those photos I'm missing. <laughs> I was kind of in, in midst doing this, right? So I was thinking uh, what I was mentioning at the end, Pam has that great um, series on pinning the page where you write a letter. So maybe it might be kind of appropriate for each of us to write a letter to each other. And maybe that's, what I'll put back here and do a pinning the page. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm gonna flip it, oh my gosh, <laughs> all the way over. And what I'll have to do is put the, um, put all the pages in the album. That'll make it a little easier to flip through too. But let me see if I can get this somewhat in frame for you. We'll do a quick flip through. So as we're wrapping up. I was the 625th one. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> Actually,
actually, we'll have to do a final count. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, that means 60, 31, 32. Okay, maybe I wasn't, uh... <laughs> maybe I wasn't that one. That's fine. 35, 36. 37 pages thick. So that pages thick. So it's actually 36 because I haven't done the, the title or the um All right, so how many is that total? I put you down at 60. That's not 60. Six. So that is 72. 72. Holy 72 smoke. 72 pages. Woohoo. All right, we're at 645. I was the 45th one. 645th one. <laughs> Blah, blah. And right. I did get Chris's and Julie's last two. Awesome. Oh, and I was adding two more for a total of four. Beautiful. So we okay. are up to six, four, Quick. seven. Okay. Okay. We're going to get, we're going to go till the very end and then do a quick total. So here's, you know, I kind of started, yeah, thinking way too much doing decorative and all that. So, ooh, this is kind of hard to flip. But again, my, my, my goal is to come back and add the journaling and add the embellishments and the titles and do all that fun stuff when we get a chance, right? So some lots and lots of peekaboo pockets were done in this layout, many, many peekaboo pockets, cards to flip up. This actually feels really good. And we're gonna come back and, and learn how to do a custom peekaboo pocket with that. That's on the, a list. We've got that. Monterey, so there's a white page thrown in for good measure. I didn't even count this one. That's a freebie. I didn't even count it because I just slipped those pages in. So there. There, I hope we find those photos. You guys said they're in here somewhere, right? Ta -da. Oh, I've got to adhere that down. Some of some of the peekaboo pockets I've got to keep going with. More peekaboos. Oh, I love this one. My double double gate. Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> I think that's my favorite layout. And the sailing, another peekaboo. And this was fast. This was called simple, fast, no fuss scrapbooking. But right, 72 pages, guys. I know I need to come back and finish up, but still, right? That's what you can do when you're organized. And Karen, see, I'm not the only one. Karen did it too. So it's it's definitely a plan okay more more oh hi my ohio postcard more um laura ann finished at 38 pages with only five to go oh my gosh okay you might just have to stay up <laughs> and do it you said she's calling it a night <laughs> okay there I haven't found those. So here's my missing. <laughs> what did I have to go here? Okay. You guys, it's late. I'm going to have to figure out what I, what I meant to do there. More memorabilia. So that goes with that page. Memorabilia is falling out. So definitely a few things to finish up. There is Maui. And our last two, so this ended up getting us right up until uh, we got married. And then we took one little last vacation before we were officially married. And then we've got the end. So, okay, there we have it. You guys wanna see the mess? It's, it's kind of scary. 
<laughs> Congratulations, Lauren, though. That is amazing. Woo! You did it. There's my empty box. Look at my mess. So I've got the whole, I've, and I almost number four, almost my four three po. That one's just got a little bit left. That one's just got it. So I would say total four repositionable, two regular, and a load of peekaboo pockets. So look at my mess. <laughs> wow, a tornado went through that one. <laughs> all the boards that I was you know when I was finishing I'd put those over there I ended up all my little cutting scraps and everything they're all still here so my journal boxes I've got a lot to do Judy, but, Judy thinks that your your photos are in there <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I agree I agree so there's the aftermath from album in a day and from what that looks like, not bad, 72 pages. Okay. That's awesome. So you're ready for your grand, grand total for the group? Yes. Yeah. We are at 656. Wow. Anybody else? Pop oh, it in the chat. Minute. I think Pops. Sharon just came in with more. I'm updating. <laughs> and a total so far. She's up to 10. So... We are now up to 665. Oh, 665. Okay. Judy thinks my photos are up here in the top. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> now, we're going to have a, this is, this is a brochure. I, I, I decided to mix at the last minute. And these, these were, this little pile, these were photos that didn't make it into the album. So those were extras that I thought I was going to use, but ended up not using. So yeah. Thank you, Judy. Maybe if not, you know, I'm sure I can find something to put on that page. That might have been, I, I did set, um, I'll tell you what, I did set this page aside because Here's something that happened kind of in our relationship. And I was kind of trying to figure out whether to include this or not, but um, my, my dad passed away um, in this time period. And that was, so this was a, a little memorial service that we had at my house for him afterwards. And this was something that he um, had given me early on in uh you know, just to kind of put up at, at my desk at work. So I, I might come back in and tell the story that as part of this journey, but I haven't, I haven't committed to it. So it's not with permanent adhesive, Carrie, but that could be, I did set that aside. That could be what actually <laughs> needs to go on that one page. Um, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you up, up to date with that. All right, so Terry added two more and Kelly added five. So we're up to 672. 672, do I hear 678? Anybody, anybody? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting punchy, you guys. Oh my word, I am so thrilled. All of you have been here to join and we still have 71 people on right now, Carrie. You guys are troopers, so... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Judy's got lots of fun little hats and um, smiley faces and laughs. So I feel the same. And I feel so blessed to have shared this day with you. Let me let me write that down, Carrie, one more time. Six hundred seventy two. Six hundred. And seventy two pages. I'm one of those. Yes. <laughs> wow. Look at that, you guys. That's what I'm going to end my video on. 672 pages today. I want to cry. <laughs> I want to cry because that is just that is just that good. 672 pages. We've made some beautiful memories for people. And um you know, you just take off the last bit. That's 600 pages from all of you out there. 
Woo, I can't, I, I just can't express how excited I am for that. So, all right. <laughs> yes, I have the right to be punchy. You can tell I am a little punchy now, Mona. So you guys keep up the good work. Pop back into Album in a Day Facebook group if you're in there. If you're brand new to the class, say hello in the group and um, introduce yourself. I, I've got to check and see if anybody else has requested to join the group. I have more people who have signed up that are not in the group, but that's your choice whether you want to join or not. Everything is in the classroom, and um, but I'm just so excited to have shared this day with you. So thank you, Kathy, for all your, your support and sweet words. Thank you, thank you. And um, Carrie, super duper huge gratitude, super duper. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for including me. Thank you so much for all, all your help. So uh, let's say good night and thank you again for joining us. We did a lot and we were on a long time, but hey, why not have some fun? So we'll see you next time. Until we meet again, make sure you take time to craft your joy and have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are watching this. Thank you again. Bye for now. You're still alive.